my god. <laughs> the kisses. <laughs> oi, oi. How's everybody doing? I... This stream is a mistake. This was a horrible idea. It only sunk in once I started to actually make the list. Once I started to actually upload the pictures, I knew. I knew I'd messed up. I'd messed up. It, this is not not a good idea. This is a horrible idea. I barely know any of these characters. I've had to do research for like two hours to try to figure out where, where all these characters are from. I've been watching clips from like 10 different shows like on on repeat. Look at all these. Look at all these options. Why just submit so many? What is happening? Why? <laughs> My body is ready. Bring on the cuties. Listen, these are these are the Asbandos and waifus that y'all chose. One of them is literally a chicken. One of them is literally just a picture of a cock. It is ridiculous. <gasps> Pretty hair. Who? 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 Me? Nope. <laughs> I look like a mad scientist with my hair back like this. Look at this. Look at this. I look like I'm about to say, Marty, we have to get back to the flux capacitor. Marty, I've got my hair back. This is all that I've got. <laughs> this is all the hair that, be that belongs to me now. I need to put it into a bun or something at all times. <laughs> Look at my husbando bean first. Look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rate it in order exactly. Okay, I'm not gonna, not gonna rate it in order that they were that they were submitted because I think that this is just image. I think that these are just the images that I uploaded in what order? The hair collector. <laughs> come on, come on, Marty. If you if you put the chicken on the top tier, I'm calling the cops. The cops. Listen, there's a lot of ways to interpret this, all right? There's a lot that's what you're going to learn is that you can is that you can write things for different reasons and I will explain everything and there will be there will be no problems. Boku's here. Hey, Boku. You picked a waifu that doesn't have any information about them. I had to go I had to go and search. I have a bunch of information pulled up about like each one of these characters, but there is no information about this character. There's no if if I look at the I googled it and then I tried to look at the at the like the wiki and the wiki just literally says, next to nothing is known about this character. <laughs> next to nothing is known. Fantastic, amazing. Thanks a lot, <laughs> thanks a lot. I'm just gonna have to go off of aesthetics alone. Okay, okay, I can do that. <laughs> More platonic kisses, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, okay. Well, listen, besides the tier list, which we're going to do in a minute, uh, is, well, because I'm thinking that there's probably going to be somebody that tries to submit something late. Y'all better not. You better not, because I don't know if I can edit this thing. Oi! How's everybody doing? Happy Monday. Happy week. I hope that, you're, hope that your day was lovely. I hope that you had a fantastic, uh, fantastic day. Man! Yeah, Boku. Boku ain't no man. Boku ain't no man. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, smash. That's all you need to know? What? Erica Donut, what did you just say to me? What did you just say to me? Um. What you have done has made God very unhappy. <laughs> that clip. I found a bunch of new clips that I love. That clip is so appropriate. It's from VeggieTales. Uh, you put the thread to read only? I mean, I may sub I, I may accept submissions, but I might not put them in the official board, okay? I might not I might not actually upload a picture because I had to look for almost all these pictures. Almost all of these are not what y'all submitted because, because I needed to get a better picture. Uh, but what's up? How are you doing, Nesmi? You've rolled into chat? Oh, snap. I'm also wondering what all of y'all's usernames are on on Discord because it doesn't it doesn't all match. So I'm I'm just gonna assume that that this person's that person, blah blah. Coco Puffs, what's up? Erica, by the way, I hope you're doing well. Where's Philbo? What do you what? What do you mean, Phil Who? Who are you talk did did you submit two? There were three people that submitted two people, and that's cheating. That's cheating. You can't do that. Okay, you said uh, Phil Blackbeard and Jim. Okay, no, that was that was one double. What do you mean? What? Who's Philbo? Did I miss one? Did I miss one? Who's a? Oh, yeah, you put two. You put Dan. You put Danny and 
fiddle pie. Oh, Philbo. Yeah, you put two of them. That's cheating. I said one. I said one. I'm going to do the first one because that's the order that you submitted them. I told you it was only going to be one. Do you want me to rate Philbo or do you want me to... I mean, it, I think it's too late. Yeah, you did. You said, wait, Danny and Philbo Fiddle Pie, and you posted two of them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can only do one at a time. I did do like one couple because it made sense because I'm not going to watch enough of this show. So I don't know. Like most of these people, I do not know. So I had to I had to watch like a bunch of clips and read a bunch of things. <laughs> OK, uh, VeggieTales has some smashable characters. What? What? what oh, my God. Has made God very unhappy. Yeah, don't, don't talk about my veggie tales like that. Who are you talking about, Archibald? What's happening? Just a little bit of research. And thank you so much for the sub. Uh, oh, wait, that's a gift sub. Thank you so much for being here, Anne. Oi, oi, oi. And thanks again, Alchemic, for the gifted sub. Oh, snap. Why did no one submit Geralt of Rivia? That sounds like it's your husband. Why didn't you submit it, Mama Mystery? Huh? I pinged everybody on discord i pinged everybody you didn't submit you're here to you're you're here to learn from others do we have more submissions that we want to make is there like do mama mystery do you want to submit one because i can do research right now but it would be it would be goofy any funny any funny come out of your research there's some pretty funny clips out there i have like a few of them pulled up so that i can <laughs> so that I can remember who these characters are because I, I won't I won't remember because I have no clue because I've been having a quarter life crisis. Listen, there's no better time to think about husbandos and waifus. There's no better time to just go into your thoughts and imagine yourself with these fictional characters than a, than a quarter life crisis. It's the perfect time. Uh, you want yours to change, but you don't want to, okay. Is Danny not good enough for you? Okay. All right. I guess Danny's F tier, huh? I don't... Can I change this to F? There you go. All right. So, you, so you're so saying you don't like Danny. Is that what's happening? Okay. Because I'll put, I'll put him here. I'll put him right here. If that's what you're asking for. Bonehead, what's up? How are you doing, Pedro? It is it is ratings time. It is it is time to rate your waifus and husbandos and possibly give some context about these characters because I don't freaking know them and I want to hear y'all's excuses for liking some of these because <laughs> some of these are not great. Some of these are stinky. Some of these are stinky characters. Don't shade the ghost boy. Oh, okay. I thought the, I thought that Teehee was saying that that Danny was a garbage character. So should I start the 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 only question that I can't that I haven't answered for myself is do I start with the characters that I know or do I start with the characters that I don't know because I'm not sure which one's better. <laughs> One of those characters is from an anime that I wanted to show you sometime. Which one? Wh which one? An anime care? Oh, it's probably the house husband, right? We've talked about that show. I, I want to watch that show. Actually, a lot of these shows, y'all have made me want to watch them now, and I'm super mad. Which list is shorter? Okay, wait a second. Let me count them. I know. One, uh, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Eight. I know eight of these characters. I had to research the rest of them. <laughs> With the flowers in her hair? Yeah, she's like a, she's like an evil she's like an evil lady. She's she's a monster. Can I submit one real quick? Okay, Lobby. What what is it? Who is it? Who are you trying to add to this list, Blast at all? Give me okay, if you can give me a headshot like really fast, I'll add them to the list. But no promises, because I'm not doing any extra research. So I'm going to have to go off of purely aesthetics, okay? If you can give me... It, okay, if y'all can give me headshots of these characters and tell me what their name is as fast as possible, put them in the tier list. They're on Discord, current tier list. Give me a headshot and give me their name. And if you want, you can put the show, okay? Just, just, just try to make the headshot, like, easy to see. If you can do that really fast, then I'll add them to this list, okay? Uh, it depends. Start comfy or end comfy? Wait, what? Which one's going to be comfy? Is it is it more comfy to talk about characters that you know or don't know? Because I think rating characters you don't know is going to be so much easier. Because y'all get invested into all these characters that I've never seen before. And I can just look at a couple of clips on YouTube and bing, bang, boom. I know exactly what they're all about. 
Uh, F F Philbo Fiddle Pie is a nice grumpus. <laughs> You're not speak. That's not English. That's not English. That doesn't mean anything. It's a nice grumpus. That's that's not a thing. That's not. A, a, not <laughs> you 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 were making up your own language, and you know what? I'm totally here for it. Innocent Alex, what's up? Hey, I should have put. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next. The next tier list that I want to make is of streamers. I want to I want to make one about streamers and Innocent Alex is going to be on that list. I'm just saying Innocent Alex and Boku are definitely going to be on that list. Maybe maybe I'll put Anne on the list. I don't know. And probably <laughs> just so long as Anne is uncomfortable. Uh, but I've got a, I've got a lot of streamers. I could rate them. I could rate them on hotness. OK, we've got more. Ca oh, my God. There's more characters. Oh, my God. Here they come. Here they come. There's more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. My, my tier list, it was incomplete. No. Maybe I should have mentioned it a couple more times. Okay, wait a second. Now, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this character that was sent by by Lobby. Who is this? What is this character from? It looks like they're from Hayaku or something. I, I can't tell. <gasps> oh, Marsmud put a different... Marsmud put a different one. Marsmud put two. Marsmud's cheating. Marsmud's cheating. Everybody, look out for Marsmud. Uh, unknown PNG already exists. I'm just going to say Mars cheating is what I'm going to save this one as. Okay, the next one is <gasps> Zero Escape. I want to finish that, Frulio. I want to finish that. I bought the I bought the full collection on PS4. I haven't watched it yet. I mean, played it. I mean, it's, pre it's pretty much just watching it. Okay, let's be honest. Let's be honest. There's, there's no game there. That's just a visual novel, but I want to I want to play it because I've played a little bit on the 3ds and I really loved it. Okay, this character is June from Zero Escape. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a different gonna grab a different picture if you don't mind. I'm gonna get one that's a a little bit closer to their face. A little bit closer. Okay, so we got Geralt. We got some character from Boku no Hero no something. Okay, there we go. I found her. I found her. I found her. June! June is still alive! They've let June live for too long! Wait, the, is this a web P image? That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable! We need PNG format! PNG formats, please! Oh my gosh, okay, I can see why you were struggling. I can't see any- I'm- I, I'm not finding a lot of pictures of her. Okay, I feel- I feel your pain, Frulio. I feel your pain! They're all web P pictures, why? Can I not save them as? Can I not save this as a as a PNG? What if I what if I just put dot PNG? That that won't convert it, will it? <laughs> can I convert images by saving them off of Google? Okay, is this one? Okay, give me a PNG, please. Okay. Oh my God, I finally found one. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We got June from Zero thing. Okay, here's another. Okay, <laughs> what is this guy? D d d Hee hee, I am not rating another character, no. No, no, I got it. I got it, Frulio. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna slap him onto this list. Okay, what's the let's let's slap him on here. Okay, so we've got let's see, we got a character from this. We got a who else? Who else? Who else is new here? We got one more there. Then we got one more Mars cheating is what I call that. Geralt. Alright, boom, we got four four more images. Boom, submit it. Get out of here, ads. Why do I have an ad blocker? You don't work. You don't work anymore. What's the point? What's the point of having something that's broken? Okay, poof. All right, have I gotten them all? Hmm. I... <laughs> Danny stayed on F tier. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. All right, we added this character from Mushishi, I think. Mushishi? I have not seen it. Okay, let me see if there was an answer. Also, Slimy Raccoon Gaming, what's up? We're rating, we're rating waifus and husbandos. Uh, so are we rating on total package one pure looks because that makes all the difference. Oh, it's all pure looks <laughs> We could we could champion of the Raven Queen. What's up? Oi, 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 oi. Shh, I'm not cheating. I gave PNG. No, I don't want to rate a bug snacks character No, Vel Velma from Scooby-Doo. That's a waifu That's a what? That's a waifu moment. Okay. Also D David Sim. What's up? How are you doing? And Haka? Oi, oi, oi. Welcome. 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 What? <sighs> Are you saying that? What? What's her name? Velma? Velma Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doop. Doobie Scoop. Scoop to the whoop. This character? What? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Hang on, let me let me take care of this this googling for a second really quick. Let me let me get this out of the way. Okay, we got Velma. Let's add Velma in. Come on, Velma. You've been solving mysteries for years. You didn't think that you'd be included? Come on now. Come on now, sis. Now get in this list or else. Or else! Velma is great. Okay, no, I definitely agree. Have you played multiverses, by the way, uh, Ego? Uh, she's in multiverses as a real person. As a real gamer? What the heck is happening? It's Silver! Oh my god! Interrupting stream for a moment? Yo, Silver drew this amazing freaking picture of me! Silver! Thank you for the raid! How was your how was your stream? Oh my god, you made what? Silver broke their mic? What happened? Silver, you drew the coolest fucking picture of me I've ever seen. This is the coolest image that I've ever received. What the heck? Gotta fix it? Oh, fix the mic? Okay. <laughs> I was like, this image is perfect. What are you talking about? We are raiding waifus and husbandos today. I am I am uh, putting myself on the line. Oi, thank you for the follow. Show ya. Show yo, pardon. And uh, Blue Spring, it's nice to meet y'all. Hi, my name's Zerla Suds. I play variety content, but today I'm not even necessarily playing anything. We may play Cuphead. We may play Cuphead, we shall see, we shall see, okay? I waggle my finger in your general direction. Uh, thank you for the follow, Costor. Oi, oi, welcome in. I hope that you enjoyed this stream. What the heck were y'all doing? Oh, you're playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Is that is that what the kids are playing these days? Is that what? <laughs> I, I'm a child, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> JK, Linz doesn't want to add her husband or waifu because she's too afraid or shamed? Where is she? Where is Linz? Where is Linz? Is it too late to add one? No, it's not. Especially not since I get to show off this freaking picture that Silver made of me. Look at this! I am so sexy. Oh my god. This makes me want to dye my hair, put stars in my hair, and get more muscular. Look how hot I am! What the heck? This is so cool. I showed this, as soon as I saw this, I showed it off to like everybody that I know. I, I immediately was, I immediately was like, oi, you, you should look at this picture. I went up to my uh, to my roommates and I was like, look how hot I am. <laughs> they were both like, you're, you're normally hot. <laughs> but this is so fucking cool. Thank you so much. I wanna pay you to make something. I wanna pay you to make art of me because this is incredible. This is incredible. I cannot believe that you did this. You are in big trouble. I am upset and so happy. Thank this this makes me so happy. <laughs> so, it's it's too cool. It's too cool and you've made me into a way cooler person than I thought that I could be. This is like this is like the kind of art that raises your uh, raises your self-confidence legitimately. It's so freaking cool. I I it means the world to me. Thank you thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, can I I mean, shucks, I'm gonna talk to you because that is, that's like profile picture material. Like I wanna talk to you about maybe doing, maybe doing some art, cause it's too cool. It's too cool. Uh, did we get more tier list stuff? Oh boy, we got one. It's per per Percival Frederick Stein von Muscle, Claw Whiskey, De Rollo the Third from Critical, what? From Critical Role, that's not a real character. That's just people playing D&D, &D. that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I'm gonna write fake character. Okay. Saved image. Let me let me include this uh, questionable character really quick. Okay. We'll we'll add we'll add two more pictures. Velma, Velma, and this fake character. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Is it because I named them? Why can't I? Oh, there they are. Okay. Velma, Velma, and uh, Frederick Stein. Oh my god, yes! No, they do have a cartoon now. Oh. <laughs> Allow me to roll my eyes back into my head as far as possible. I'm just kidding. It's, it's pretty cool what they're doing. I, I think the critical role is super cool, and so is uh, Dan Harmon's quest. Both both of those are really neat. I like that they're I like that they're reusing, remixing D D content into like actual content. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be honest. And also, I like um, what's it called? The the when, whenever you do comedy and you don't have like a plan, it's called improv. So I think it's actually pretty cool. I'm just teasing. Uh, you'd love to do some silly little scribbles? Yeah, right. Silly scribbles, my butt. There's nothing silly about those scribbles. There's not a joke within that entire image. Uh, okay, so do do we have any more submissions? Are there any more? I'm I'm giving y'all like a few more moments. 
this dude is so hot. What? That that is not a <laughs> lobby. That does not count. That does not count. You just sent me like a generated image. That's a, just a randomly generated picture of a mountain, and it looks like a it looks like a baby. It looks like a baby doll. Okay. Um, so D and D content into actual content, <laughs> but died. Didn't you? Didn't you see how I how I said that I that Critical Role was cool? Didn't you see how I sidestepped it and went into a different controversy? <laughs> Can you wait, my my wifey Henri? Henri. Okay, let's let's look up this. Is that an actual character? Are you joking me? That's not a thing. That's not a character. Who who is that? Where? They can't, they can't be a real person. No, no real people allowed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They have to be a character. Give me your, give me your, give me your character. Oh, there we go. Okay, now that looks like a character. Now that's the name of a character. What's up, Johnny? How are you doing? Oi, oi, oi. Um, excuse me? Is this a character from, is this a horror? That, are you kidding me? Is this real? It's Japanese beliefs of vengeful spirit. Johnny, you must think you're awful funny. You must think you're pretty freaking funny, huh? The ring girl, really, really? Johnny, this is who you want? This is who you want as a wife? She will kill you. She will kill you! Uh, by the way, I'm showing my partner the development sketches of you drawing. He's refraining from simping Oh No, 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 no compliments. No compliments, unacceptable. Your image alone was too much of a compliment. You're already in jail. Uh, it's it's so good. Wait a second. People are making good art. Motivates me to make art. Nezumi, you should draw stuff. Whatever you draw, just uh, just go for it. Just go for it. Anything that inspires you. If you want to draw a character that you've seen, I just I just encourage you to draw. Please do. Uh, I just what I want in women. A murderer. Okay, what image am I supposed to pick of this? Okay, great. All right, I guess we're I guess we're we're including. We're including the ring girl. All right. <laughs> All right, bet. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll add it in just because Johnny is the one that asked for it, I guess. <laughs> okay, what is what is Lin's what is Lin's husband slash waifu? Do you know? Do you know Alchemic? Can you can you sucker it out of them? Also, Anne sent a submission. Okay, let's let's see what Anne, what Anne what did you send? D Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Anne. This is heinous. This is heinous. No. No. Unacceptable. Disgusting. I'm gonna need more information on this character, okay? Or am I supposed to go on aesthetics and alone? Because I don't think you're gonna like this. <laughs> okay, last... We've got another submission. My lord. My lord! Did y'all... Did any of y'all read my, my ping? Hello? This one is called Ass Assassin. All right, assass assassination classroom or something like that. Uh, okay. Now, now, hopefully, I can just include all these images. Okay, we got we got mango. We <laughs> got mango. <laughs> and this is this is this is all wrong. It's all wrong. What you've submitted to me. Okay. I I I I I I I. I. Uh, what? Who else was I supposed to add? Oh yes, this random assassin character. Random assassin character of Vidrick von Stimbelheimer. Okay, this this should be it. This should be it. Okay, I think we have the I think we have the list. We're about to how do I send submissions? <laughs> okay, if Silver wants to submit something, that's okay. Yeah, I'll show y'all the list so far. I'll show y'all the list so far. Silver, you can you can put it in the you can put it in the tier list. In the tier Oh my god! <laughs> actually, actually. Uh, listen, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything, but actually, okay, let me save this uh, as unknown character. I'm gonna say cat. This is a cat. There's actually several cat, cat girls slash cat boys on this list. Y'all are all degenerates. You're all in big trouble. Okay, let me go back to normal view. Add a couple more pictures, and then we are done. We're done. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just, uh, just stop the submissions. Uh. Could a mod, uh, I was gonna ask if a mod could, could shut off that list, but I'm not sure if y'all can. Okay, I'm just gonna, permissions, member, uh, manage, manage, send messages, nope, okay. No more messages, y'all are done, y'all are done. The tier list is ready. The tier list has been completed. 
I'm gonna add Jess Silver's Silver's person and we're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. Orca Taco, what's up? How are you doing? Yours is technically a wolf boy. Okay, we should we should have the list. And I'm gonna need information on my sidebar. And I'm also gonna still have to do some research like during this, okay? All right, go away. I know that I'm being tracked on the internet, okay? So we have added, we've added, get off of there. We've added Velma. We've added Mango. Can I make this bigger? Slightly. Okay, we've, we've added Mango. We've added Tiger. We've added Ghost Girl. And we've added this character from Assassination Classroom. I have not watched enough of Assassination Classroom. Wh which character is this? Is this just the main one that's not blue haired? Is that who this is? Okay, let me let me see. This is uh, due to his violent behavior? Oh my. He's well known throughout the school for his violent behavior and troublesome attitude. He's quite cunning, mischievous, and somewhat sadistic. He uses foul. He, he usually plays foul, tricking, and at times manipulative. Ah, is that true? Yay, Ofsi's here. Ofsi, do you have a do you have a waifu or husbando that I should put on here? All right, we're we're gonna have to start with characters that I know because otherwise I'm gonna get too bogged down. I think. Okay, so we have let's see. S S is perfect. A is good. B is okay. C is slightly questionable, and then F is bad. But I don't think any of these are F tier, so I might have to change this to something else. Something just fell in the background, but I don't know what it was, and it didn't sound too bad. Okay, so characters, characters that I know. We're gonna get started. Oi, oi, <laughs> Oopsie, I hope you're doing good. Wait, why is it Wind Waker? You could have, oh, did you specifically say Twilight Princess Orca? Well, I've played, I've played both of the games. So I, I, I only put this picture because I thought it was funny. I just thought it was, it was funny, ha ha, he he. Uh, but I remember, I, I, I remember all the links, okay? I'll, I'll put all the links. In fact, should I, should I rate Link right now? So Link doesn't talk. Link doesn't talk. Is pretty cute. Is, is, let's see. He never argues with Zelda. He's got no, he's got, okay. He can, I don't think that he can be S. Not a chance. Not a chance. All he says is, <laughs> like he doesn't even, He's not an S. He's a good listener. That's true. That's true. He's wholesome. He takes, he's very protective, very protective, very funny. I, I'm thinking I'm just going to put him on A and we'll, we'll adjust. He's very obedient. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to put it at A just for starters. Okay. Good, good husbando. I'm going to say Z we need, we'll make a Z tier. No, <laughs> there's no, none of these are that bad. I don't think. Okay. So, ch do I know this character? Do I know this chicken character? This is just a chicken. This is a chicken. As far as now, listen. I just want to tell y'all. I put I put the chicken on F tier. I don't know if y'all are aware, but if you if you put chicken into a pin of chickens, they will eat that chicken. Like if you put if you put like cooked chicken into there, the chickens will eat it. And chickens also, if they see that one of the other chickens is sick, they will peck them. That's that's what the term henpecked comes from. They will attack. They will attack sick members of their of their group, and they'll kill them and maybe eat them. Chickens are scary. Chickens are scary. They're savages. They're savages. I I think that they would make a horrible a horrible husbando slash waifu. This is a husbando because it's a because it's a cock. Okay, this is this is unacceptable. Chickens, chickens, frightening beasts. The only reason that we have them is because they're tasty and they have eggs. Okay, I've got uh let's see, Velma. Velma has a waifu? She's very sassy. She's very she's very sassy, she's very troublesome. She's kind of a she's kind of a a, a, a smart uh I it's tough to say. She's she, she's got the drip though. She does have she does have very good drip. She has a good figure. Uh, I like her haircut, actually. I like her haircut a lot more than her glasses. And I think that the, I think that her, um, I think that her freckles are pretty cute. I think that she's a pretty cute character, but that voice, but that voice, she's, <laughs> she sounds, she sounds so snotty all the time. I'm thinking, I'm thinking A tier. Is there honestly any time that you would want to date? Like, it, it, do y'all actually think that, that, uh, 
that like Link or or Velma is better? Do y'all think that like one of these is actually better? I think that they're about even. Maybe if I can't come up with any S tiers, they'll get moved up. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking that these are pretty similar material right here. Okay, what characters that I? This is an Among Us character. I tried to, I reverse image search this image. I do not know if this is a YouTuber or if this is a if this is a TikToker. This is literally just it came up as aesthetic orange among us. Okay? This is not this is not a character. This is not a character. This is this is spam. This is spam. That being said, kind of aesthetic. Got to say I do like the hat. So they're not that bad. They're not bad. Is that Link in general or Toon Link? That's uh, that's Link in general. If it was just Toon Link, that'd be S tier, okay? This is all the links. Oh, it's Twilight Princess? Okay, then definitely not going into S. Apologies. Edgelord Link just doesn't do it for me. I like it whenever Link is either sassy or Link is sweet. I don't like Link being all Edgelord and all shadowy and like uh, mysterious, ooh, Link. No. No, 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 no. That's A tier. That's an A tier for, for Twilight Princess. Very, very handsome. Very handsome. Young Link? No, not Young Link. Young Link is a troublemaker. Young Link's going in the trash. Uh, okay, another character that I know. Ooh, Okarin. Okarin from, uh, this is Steins Gate. Steins Gate. I don't actually see Taiyaki here. I'll wait, I'll wait for Okarin. Uh, Howl from Owl's Movie Castle S tier. Sorry. Done. No discussion necessary. Actually, no, no points to make. No points to make. No, um, uh, no notes. No notes for me. Uh, Howl, absolutely S tier. Makes me cry every single time. Such a good movie. So good. So freaking good. His transformation, getting his heart back. Man, I, I cry every time. I was just describing the story the other night, and I started crying. Okay, Howl's, Howl's god tier. God tier. Amazing. Uh, but Tayaki's here! Hey, Tayaki! I have Okarin! Okarin! This is, this is the, the famed mad scientist Hoin Kyoma. <laughs> but I already, I already know this character. He's kind of, he's a ditzy scientist that's also pretty smart, and he accidentally makes a microwave that can send messages through time and turns bananas into goo. He's very de he's very defensive of the ones that he loves. He has um, he has a lot of intelligence, but he's very he's very clumsy. But he really cares about he really cares about his uh, his waifus and husbandos. So I don't I don't know. It's hard to say. Okarin, I don't think that they're S tier. I don't think that they're like the best material for a boyfriend. Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking A. Very defensive. Very, 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 uh, very good man. Good man, good man. B for rebound fun. Hmm? What? Are you saying put him in B and then I get in big trouble? <laughs> okay, let's let's do another character that I know. Uh, let's see. I wish I'd watch more of The Walking Dead. I really don't barely know this character. I don't even know his name. I think that his name's Christopher. This is, this is below Velma though. No, not below Velma. I'm gonna say, I forgot that these are also ranked. I forgot that these are ranked. I'm gonna say Link's behind Velma. Uh, let's see, so we got Steve. He's the guy that yells, Carl! Yeah, he's he's the one that says, Larry, Carl, walkers! He's a pretty good, he's a, Rick, Rick, that's his name. Rick and Zombie. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he's B tier. He's B tier, not bad, not bad, but he's really, he's really chaotic. I don't trust this man. I don't trust this man at all. I don't, I don't like his attitude, but he's, but he's also wholesome. He's also wholesome. B is good. B is good. F is bad. F is bad. C is okay. All right. This is like, okay. So S tier is fantastic. A is pretty much perfect. B is somewhere in the middle. C is like, eh. You know, like, eh, I could take it or leave it. And then F is just like, come on, is this a joke? F is, F is joke. C is like, eh, I'm starting to feel a little iffy. B is like, you know, I could see it. I could see it. It's average. It's average. It's in the middle. Just not for me, okay? He's, he's a dangerous man. I would definitely pick other characters from that show above Rick, I think. I'm trying to think of which one I would, though. What, who would, who would I rank above Rick, though? I, I do like Daryl, but he's a real piece of work. Like, I, I don't think that Daryl's actually a nice guy. 
I like the old man from season one. The old man. I like the old man. Glenn. Is Glenn the is is Glenn the Asian guy? I really like Glenn. I really like him. He's super smart and he reacts to situations the way that I would. So I can I can relate with Glenn. Uh, he's killed too. He's killed far too many for too few reasons. <laughs> He's murderous? <laughs> I haven't seen all of them. <gasps> Johnny, spoilers. Okay, I gotta continue. Um, Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna say who, who someone else that I know. Okay, Loki. Loki. Uh, now, am I supposed to, am I supposed to be, am I supposed to be rating Loki? I guess I have to rate Loki themselves rather than, rather than the, the character, the, I mean the actor. Because the actor would be S tier. Actor would be S tier. Trying to think about, I'm trying to think about this character though, Loki, troublemaking brother of Thor, that's actually just like a stepbrother, not even blood related. Very dubious, very devious, but also, but also turns kind of good in some of them. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say top of A. I'm gonna say very top of A, like as close to S as I can get. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Cause Loki, Loki's great, but Tom Hiddleston's even better. Okay. Hiddleston would be S. But since it's Loki, I'm gonna say like top of A. They're a little, they're a little sussy. They're a little sussy. Ragnarok made him way better. Yeah, I see. I do love, I do love the stuff with Loki not being just a villain. I like him not being a villain. Also, Linz, which which one did you um Linz, did you pick a husbando or waifu? Did you pick one? I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Where'd it go? Uh, okay. Another character that I know. I, I, I feel pretty good about this. I think that this is fair. You don't have one? Okay. Okay, that's legit. Now, some people just don't think along those lines. I'm gonna say... Okay, so Ghost... Ghost? Do I have to rate this based on whether or not I'd date him? Because, uh, Ghost Girl? Ghost Girl from, um, from Spooky Time The Ring. So the ring ghost. I, I'm I'm gonna have to. I, I'm I'm too scared. I'm too. I I'm thinking C. I'm feeling kind of C a little bit. I'd say I'd date I date a ghost girl before an Among Us character. That's what I'm thinking. That this this is not a good character. This is an evil character. Wait, no. I've watched one of the rings. She's like a sad girl, right? She's a sad girl that that had her heart thrown down a well or something, right? Right? Doesn't she have a wholesome backstory? And she's and she's just like a sad little girl that grew up as a ghost. Is that is that her story? I could have swore that I watched one of the remakes and it's bad. Chicken level, chicken level. Oh my god! <laughs> You're passing up on a good woman. <laughs> hey, lobby, lobby. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. I I don't remember what uh what lobby posted, but I'm sure that this will turn into a clip. All right, so another what's what's another character that I know? I, I am gonna say both of these characters would kill me, but I'm kind of attracted to them. <laughs> okay, so Danny Phantom. I think that I've watched enough Danny. So I'll show you I'll show you one of the clips that I was looking at trying to figure out what Danny Phantom is all about because I've never seen the show. I've never seen the show, but I'm looking at I'm I'm using different different criteria for Danny a little bit. I want you to just see this one clip. She surrendered her individuality for a boy. I'm so Not proud this one, of her. the next one. Nice going, matey. You just got your butt kicked by short John Silver. Hey, considering you just took my dad's ghost shield, you think maybe you could be a little sympathetic like Tucker? <laughs> Listen to this whiny little Anakin sounded character. Do you think you could blah 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 blah? Kind of whiny little uh kind of whiny little Anakin looking character and this character is way better. I like her way better. She kind of sassy. She's really she's really reading Danny the news. I like I like this character way better. Danny's like, uh, could you stop picking on me? I Nah, Danny. Nah, 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 nah. She's better than Danny. I'm sorry, but this is one of the clips I saw. That I saw these two characters. Uh, my bad, but uh, I'm just saying that Danny kind of a whiny little boy. Uh, I'm gonna say low B. I'm gonna say low B. I'm sorry. Innocent Alex, the silver hair though. It's true, but his hair is not actually silver. It's actually black. But whenever he transforms into Danny, it does turn silver, which is dope as heck. But you know what? Listen, I'm gonna tell you this as well, and it's an Alex. People don't just love you for your hair, okay? A hair is just a bonus. 
Here's a bonus. I do, I do like the art style, uh, but I, but this character kind of whiny. This character kind of whiny. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna put him at B for now. Maybe I'll adjust him. Maybe I'll adjust him. Now, all my, I kind of. Oh wait, no. I'll put, I'll put a. Uh, oh dang, what is his name? Something Briar. Why, why can I not remember his name? It's, is it? It's not Yuri. What, what is his name? Something Briar. He's from, he's from uh, Spy Family. It is Yuri. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yuri Briar. Okay, so Yuri, I don't get, I don't get why this is a husbando though. He never even, he doesn't even have a romantic interest in the show. He's just very, he's very defensive of his sister. He, he's working, he's working for the government as an evil agent. That's not really a spoiler. They make it pretty obvious. He's in the opening, but he's, I mean, he's very, he has a lot of emotional damage. He he seems he seems a little too defensive of his sister. Kind of creepy, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's actually I, I'd say it's pretty wholesome. I I'm not sure. Yeah, he's a government worker. He's a government worker, but he is a hottie. He is a hottie, and he's very grumpy. He's very grumpy. He's got he's got black hair. This is a tough one. This one's a tough one. He just needs therapy. <laughs> That's all that he needs, just a little bit of therapy. I'm, I'm... Could I put him at A? Is that, is that right? Is that right? We don't... Okay, let me, let me just look him up really quick. It's Yuri Bri uh, Briar. Okay, let's, let's see if there's any information that I haven't heard. Uh, Yuri has a sister complex. What? Okay. Uh, doing everything that he could to get Yoru to praise him for affection. Though this could ca this could be caused by his mother dying at a very early stage. When on the job, Yuri is a has a very appealing demeanor, calmly interrogating people. Uh, he possesses a person, witness screen. Okay, there's not a lot of information here. Not a lot of talk here. I... But he, he kind of a hottie. Not gonna lie. Also, does he have red eyes? Shucks. All right, that's enough for me. That's enough for me. That's A tier. We're, we can fix him! <laughs> he will cut your hands off if you don't pay taxes. No! I'm gonna say bottom of A. I'm gonna say bottom of A. I do like Yuri a lot. Uh, okay, Fat Gum. Fat Gum is a character from Boku no Hero Academia. I have not seen this character at all. Did I, did I leave a, a clip of him up? I did not. I did not, but I watched clips enough for me to understand who this character is. This is a very, very dad character. Very, he, he likes to say obvious, wholesome things that other people aren't saying where he's like, well, we have to save somebody. Or like, well, they didn't mean to. That's, that's like his character talks like that all the time. I think if we band together, then we should be able to de defeat this character that we're fighting. That, that's the kind of vibes that he's given off. Very, very daddy vibes. Very like literal father vibes. Like, I, that's what I, I'd say. He has gives more father vibes than daddy vibes. For that reason, I'm gonna say C. Listen, I, I don't need a father. I don't need a father that's that's walking around and being wholesome. Okay, that's that's just not it's just not that interesting to me. I'm sorry. It doesn't it doesn't excite my interest. I don't see I don't see why I would be like, ooh ooh, I love this kid. Am I sure? Should is there some clip that I need to watch of Fat Gum? This is father vibes. This is not daddy vibes. Am I sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'd rather have all of these characters as a husband or wife rather than Fat Gum. I'm sorry. Uh, Kenny doesn't have daddy issues. Mm hmm. Yeah. No. Sure. Sure. No. Da no daddy issues. Listen. He's just. He's wholesome. He's very wholesome. Very nice. But that's literally what I think of him. Very wholesome. Very nice. Like he's nice. He's a nice guy. I don't. I don't like nice guys that much. Okay. I'm not I'm not here for I'm not here for nice boys. Okay? I want I want hot troublesome men. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of which, who is this character? What is this character from? I I'm going to show y'all like a clip of him being a dubious creature. Let me pause the music. Listen to this dubious Look, I am him. Here, I'll destroy you right What now. is this show? Fine, but you're not going to like it. <laughs> I had long grown tired of my mediocrity in point. 
You always told me I should be content with the powers I already had. What? How could you He's got superpowers? I actually love the, the art here. you wielded was so vastly superior. Just so he's transformed? Any point would never have been. <laughs> that walk? What was that walk? I love that. Oh, bloop, 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 bloop. All right, there he goes then. Bark, bark, bark! <laughs> no barking. Sir, this helmet belonged to my Look at this man. The famous hero, Laser and this little, This little goblin. It's pushing your minds to the... Look at that pose. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Look at that absolute pose of dominance. Breaking point. Much easier to dissect you that way. Professor. <sighs> Much easier to dissect you that way? Bruh. Bruh. Oh. SS tier. <laughs> This guy is so hot. What the heck? What the heck is this show? I want to watch this show now. Oh, uh, I, I'm just going to leave him here. I'm going to leave him here. That's what what a hot character. What the heck? Um, Amazing. Amazing. Play that clip. Play that clip right now. I did. I did. To be fair, his voice is on point. I kind of love it. Spiky hair. What? That spiky hair? Is that true? Is that true? Nah, it's flowing. It's fl look, it's flowing. He doesn't have spiky hair. It's not going upward. That doesn't count. That doesn't count as spiky hair. Let me see. Let me see. Where's some more images here? Look, that's that's whenever he was a loser. Now he's not a loser anymore. Now he's a look at him. See, sharp teeth. Yes, yes, sharp teeth. That's what we like here. We like we like shark teeth in this chat. Absolutely. I I'm saying S. I'm saying S. The voice. The pose. My God. <laughs> I hope you're going to be okay. Uh, wait, which which one's my alert sound? Is it? There it is. <laughs> you love drawing sharp teeth? I'm going to, whenever I make a, uh, whenever I make a version of myself, I def, like a digital version, I definitely want one of them to have sharp teeth. Yeah, we're a fan of teeth here. Uh, sharp ones. Where the heck is Marceline? Lily, you didn't, you didn't submit them. You didn't submit them. This isn't my, I didn't pick a single one on here. This is all y'all. This is all y'all. Okay, I'm gonna move on to uh, Mango. Mango the shark. And can you give me information on Mango? Is there anything else that we know except for Mango is a, Mango is a friend of Clicky that bites on his boat and is a little troublemaker, but you specifically gave me the one with human legs and human arms. You didn't send me a cute version of, sh of, of, this, of this mango. You sent a, a spider version. He's someone who would treat you right? He literally bites boats for a living. He's also, he's also got human arms and legs. I guess that does make him more human-like. So if he stands up, this is what I don't understand about this picture. If he stands up, Will his eyes be pointing to the sky? Like, will his eyes be looking up if he stands up? How do, how does the, how does his, can he stand up? Can he stand up on two legs? Or, or do, do his eyes go to the sky? Mango can wipe me up any day. <laughs> Those are also just hands? No, he's got, oh, they are! You're right! They do have hands in the bag. The human arms are there to hold you through the night? Through the night, all four of them? <laughs> all four of them wrapped around you? Mango will stand up for you. Mango! I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know. It's four arms. Four arms for hugging. You can't argue with that. I'm gonna say... I feel like there's only there's only two answers. There's, on, there's only S tier and F tier for this one. And that's that this this character's right on the line. They're right on the line between S or F. They're either disgusting or they're so disgusting that they're perfect. I'm going to say so disgusting that they're perfect. I they're they're so gross, but if this existed, I don't know if I could look away. I don't know if I, could, I if they were a VTuber or if they were if they were a tuber, I'd be watching them 24/7. Uh, they, they would be the ones that I want to meet at TwitchCon. Um, 
Ethan has a little bow tie for you. What does that mean? What do you mean for me? Is that a gift? <laughs> is that a bow tie is a gift for me? Thanks a lot. More hands to bring in the groceries. What? How? You mean like has one in each arm and rolls? He has to walk on at least one of them. <laughs> That's a maximum of one extra hand, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's 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 get to something a little more serious, okay? Let's get to something a little more serious. A serious character. I'm gonna say, oh, Wait a second. Okay, Black Blackbeard. Have y'all seen have y'all seen any of this show? This show's called like Our Flag Means Death. We could watch like a quick clip of it. I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna get like copyright struck for just watching a couple of clips. But it's Taika Watiti, which if it was if it was Taika Watiti, ABS, period. ABS. But I we'll have to we'll have to put other things into consideration. Otherwise, uh where I think I don't actually know any of these clips. Do you want to live? That's a tough question. I said, do you want to live? Also this character, I think. So, I think. Probably. Jim's the kind of person where if they stab me, I'd be like, yeah, probably deserved it. Maybe they understand ecclesiastical Latin. You're a fucking lunatic and I like it. I would love to be stabbed by Jim. I see you didn't put any of that yummy lavender soap in there. <laughs> yummy lavender soap! <laughs> You just put it near that lovely lavender soap. The lovely lavender soap. Oh. <laughs> yep. I see you didn't put any of that yummy lavender soap in there. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. I have to watch a show now. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Now I've got another show. It's hitting all the right notes for me. I'm saying S tier. I'm saying S tier. That's so. Taika Waititi would be an S tier anyway, but this this man, he's got giant beard, long hair. Wow. 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 I love him. <laughs> Your friend loves that show. It's it looks like it's freaking hilarious. I watched even more clips of it and it is very funny uh, it, It's on HBO. I think which I have okay. I'm gonna move on to Okay, that's S tier. That's that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. Everybody loves Taika Waititi um, We have the house husband Blackbeard is canon gay really is that true? He has a boyfriend. Oh my god, and what did you send? And are you interrupt? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that, Anne. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see what you just sent me. Absolutely not. This... <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. A no. No. This is not going on the list. What's with the bulge? Anne! Anne! What? What? And, and, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> wait, no, wrong button. <laughs> wrong button. No, no, I don't want to see. Can I do it again? There we go. That's, that's better. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get it off my screen. <laughs> Get it off my screen. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> You're so distracting. Okay. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's do. Let's do a uh, Bokus. Bokus is uh, just a character that literally has no information about them. I have to go off of purely aesthetics. It's giving me vampire vibes, vampire vibes, demon vibes, devil vibes, bad girl vibes, violent, dangerous girl vibes. Um, got a mask on. This is all like. This is all like. They actually made. They made a figure of this character. Is this actually, is this actually the character? Okay, this character, I, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I, I don't, uh, uh, lost, lost for words. S tier, number one, absolute, uh, number one, number one. It's such a cool, it's such a good design. I'm I'm putting that maximum right there. I'm sorry. That's it's it's too hot. I I can't describe. It. I cannot describe it. it. It's literally it's literally pushing all of my buttons. It's 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 following like all of my it's following all of my my requirements. Red eyes, red eyes, vampire vibes, huge weapons, kill out kill outfit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's going to the top. Let's do another. Let's do another character that gives me similar vibes. Uh, Geralt. Ger Wait a second. Geralt of Rivera. Wait. If I look up Geralt, am I gonna get like images of of Henry Cavill's 
of Henry Cavill's self. I I'm scared. I'm, I'm not Googling it. I'm not Googling it. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Geralt. Geralt of Riv Riviera. How do I... Okay, no. I can definitely... I can definitely gamble it, right? Okay, I'm going to say Geralt. Because I want to go to a wiki page. Okay, we're good. It's a fictional character from the... I played, like, part of the first... I played part of the first game, okay? He doesn't actually even hail from Riv Rivia biography. I want to learn about his personality because I haven't played too much of the game. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this man. He's he's uh he's got a good aesthetic. Where the heck is the? Oh my God! What is this absolute novel? What is this novel? How my? Oh my God! That was just one book. The Witcher Adventure. <sighs> I want to learn about what this man is all about. He's all about killing monsters. Is he doing it on vengeance? Okay, he he does. After being left by the, after being left with the Witchers by his mother Vicenna, he tried to go to keep something to the realm of something in interest of appearing more trustworthy. Ah, so he's deceptive, very tricky. Young Witchers were encouraged to make up surnames. Okay, uh, th is this all about his title? Is that all about his title? He's, he's, he's got parents. Let's see. He's got superhuman abilities. Very vague. I like that. Very vague. Alchemy, signs, uh, partners. The list goes on. The list continues to go on. Eye color, dark, unspecified color. Okay. So are we rating the Henry Cavill version or the game version? Which, which one am I doing, right? He would not hug you when you cried. <laughs> Die, is that the is that what we're considering here? Why are we looking at a hot white haired man? Because mmm oh lupus. You shouldn't you shouldn't talk about that like uh, uh, talk talk to me like that. Unbelievable. Lupus, my goodness. What you have done has made God very unhappy. Oh, were you talking about Geralt? Oh my bad, my bad. Um, okay. <laughs> also, what's up, Lupus? <laughs> what's up? I'm gonna say okay. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say S tier. I mean, he's he's a handsome man. He's a dangerous man. He's he, but he's well, but he's also he seems a little stoic. He seems a little well. He does seem a little sto. Mm, I don't know. He's a little. I don't think he's fully in touch with his emotions. I don't think that he's fully in touch with his emotions. I think that he's gonna have real problems going forward. I don't think that he has the 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 mental cap uh, capabilities to be able to deal with the dangerous scenarios. I I'm putting him in A. I'm putting him in A. I'm sorry. We're gonna we're gonna put him above. We'll put him <laughs> above Link and Velma. I'll, I'll put him up here. I'll put him up here. All right. He's pretty great. They all need therapy. Uh, you've been summoned to do yard work. Oh, unbelievable. All right. We'll, we'll see you later, Linz. You are all the real husbandos waifus. Oh, Lupus, what'd you say? He can't feel emotions. Leaves. What? I'm going to put, I'm going to put him up here. I, he's behind Loki. I, I would, ra I would rather, I would rather Loki. Okay. Let's let's do another character. This is the tiger, the tigeress from Kung Fu Panda. This is the Kung Fu Panda tiger, and she's played by Angelina Jolie, and is 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 very is is very hot. Is a very hot character. My poor little like, my poor little mind as a child, tigeress. My poor child mind was absolutely, absolutely destroyed by this character. I... Ah, they were so cute when they were a baby. What the heck? It's... They... <sighs> Dang. I'm gonna say S tier. I'm gonna say S tier. This character tore me to shreds as a child. I can't help it. She's just too hot. She's too hot, and she acts exactly like a human being. F tier it says die. I'm gonna say S. This is this. She, she's she's too hot. She's too hot and too capable. She's so capable. She honestly should be the dragon. She should have been the uh, the, the the dragon heir or whatever it's called. She should have gotten those powers, just because Poe has like he has. He has like le less confidence in himself. I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that message. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say cat girl at the top. Sorry. Um. 
Okay, I don't, I don't know the character from Mushishi. Let's let's move on to Doki Doki Literature Club's uh, Monica. Okay, I have not played this game, so this is a this is a bad choice for you to give me this character. Uh, but but how could you have known? How could you have known? Truly, you you didn't. But I've looked up I've looked up some videos of this character. And sh Mo okay, so wait a second, wait a second. Okay, this is this is gonna help me out. Let me look up Doki Doki characters. Let me let me just. Let me just get eyes on these characters really quick and see. Okay, there's four of them. There's four of them. There's Yuri, who's like the shy, shy character. Sayori, I saw a video of them puking. Uh, so Monica is probably like, she's like the leader of the group. She's like the, the school council. Is Monica, is Monica's like the school council member. Yuri's like her helper that, that's, that's super quiet and kind of simpy. Uh, and then there's another, there's two of these characters that look exactly the same. One of them's probably like, pu this one's puffing out their cheeks all the time, I can tell. Uh, Kenny, important question, what color are your, are your eyes? Um, I don't know. I don't know what color my eyes are. <laughs> I've got pictures on Instagram. Does anybody know what color my eyes are? Just Monica. What does that mean? <laughs> what does just Monica mean? Let's let's read it like tiny bit about I don't want to read. Yeah, she's angry Exactly exactly that face for Leo. Yes, I think she makes that face all the time. She's like Humph. Look at her. look at that sass. Look at the absolute sass. She's like Humph. How dare you? You're not giving me enough t attention. And she's like, oh, I I don't want to bother you. I, I'm, I'm so sorry I didn't know that you were in here working. I, I just wanted to ask you if you would marry me uh, this one is just like a ditzy, loud character that pukes all the time. It's just like, Tee -hee, can I kill you? Ha 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 ha! What fun! I love school! And what about Monica, though? What, what character is this? Is she just like a normal character? She's like, everyone should be included. I, I love everyone! Yeah, she's the president. I knew it! I knew she was the president. The president. She has an extensive long coral brown hair. Noted to be smart, confident, and athletic. Oh, smart, confident, and athletic. Those are the three most dangerous, most dangerous personality traits. I'm pretty sure that if I met Monica, I would be extremely, I'd be extremely, what, what is it called? Uh, I'd be scared. I'd be scared. She's, she would scare me. She would scare me. She's she's too she's too smart, confident, and athletic. I I would be nervous. I I would be too nervous. This character would make me really uncomfortable. I, I'm gonna say B. I'm gonna say B. They make me they they would make me feel inadequate. I feel inadequate. Just look, look at that smug face. Look at her smug face. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say B for now. She's definitely better than Gum Man. Uh, Gum Gum Boy Gumball. Okay, next one, next one. We're, we're really getting through this. This is good. I want to look at I want to look at these two characters that were submitted by Alchemic and by Rosera. These are both characters from Final Fantasy. And so it's really, really hard for me to figure out what, what these characters are all about. I'm I'm I did watch this video. I want y'all to hear this voice. I want you to hear this man talk. The conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones, a difficult feat to achieve. I love this voice. I love his voice. He's also like super vampiric vibes. Is there is there a point when he like gets like emotional or something? Let me see here. What does this man say? Disparity. He seems Our pretty calm all the time. Paled into insignificance next to all. He sounds like a TTS guy. <laughs> a vote to go. That's not the voice you imagined. I kind of I kind of like the voice a little bit though. I kind of like it. Kind of like he's kind of evil. Uh, you want to hate him, but secretly you also love him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that his voice is not made to make him the best ever. But you gotta, you gotta kind of, you gotta kind of love him. He's got a little white hair going on here with very, very. Also, how cold is it where they are? That's a big coat. 
So there's that character, and then the character that Alchemic sent was uh I could have could have swore that I kept it open. Yes. Okay. It's like a cat boy. It's a cat boy that's eccentric and very and very like I don't know. I, I'd say I'd say emotional. I think this character mm, this this character, yeah, lots of crying. Seemingly lots of crying. They are very they have a very good heart though. They have a very good heart and they seem they seem like a really nice friend to have. They seem they seem like a really good friend. I I would love to have Gira Raha Giraha. I'd love to have them as a friend, but I don't know I don't know about a partner though. I don't I don't know about that. He wants to go on an adventure and he and he just <laughs> go on an adventure with you and he loves you without telling you. He definitely definitely has a little bit of sad vibes. Also <laughs> Silver, we'll see you later. Thank you so much for the raid. Oi, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for bringing your friends over here. And quadruple thank you for the amazing art that you made. Oh my goodness. Could we get one more shout out for Silver as they're headed out? The G is silent. Okay, so it's just Raha. 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 Giraha. Giraffe. <laughs> the G is not silent. What? Giraha. Giraha. So... I don't know. I, I I'm I'm just not thinking. I'm just not thinking that they're really super husbando material. I, I'm having to compare the two of them because I don't know enough of these characters that I, I'm gonna have to rank them based somewhat on on other factors. So between these two, I'm thinking Vampire Daddy a B. I'm thinking Vampire Daddy a B. I. Which ones would I rather have a relationship with? I might need to do some adjustment. I think Ghost Girl's actually gonna move up. I'm gonna think Ghost Girl's gonna move up. Danny's moving down. Yeah, this is more how I feel. No, no, Ghost Girl's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this feels way better. This feels way better. So now I've changed it so that Rick, it'd be Rick, uh, Doki Doki, uh, Evil, Evil Boy, Ghost Girl. I'll put, I'll put this character above fat gum this is like real real relationship stuff all right this is this is real talk this is real talk i want to put these in at the actual order that i would date them okay is this the actual order i'm gonna put oh no how's definitely how's definitely oh i don't know i don't know about how i'll put i'm gonna put blackbeard behind tigress I'm gonna put, let's see, let's see. Okay, I think that the rest of this is fine. I think this is all good. There's no way that Graha is above, is below. I'm just saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I like him more. He's He, he does more for me, I'm so sorry. Also, Ripsy, what's up? Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Ripsy, did you submit one? Okay, I wanna move on to Moy's. Moy submitted this character from the, the Dark Magus Bride, I think is the name of the show. And uh, did, I, did I leave one of those open? I did not. I, I appear to have not. No, oh, I did. Okay, a, a do-gooder. A do-gooder. So this is like a skull, this is like a skull boy who is a husband of a human being and he's like kind of evil but not. Like he's, he's more like a child. That's what some of this was described as. It says he lacks human emotions, but after some time caring for this person, he's slowly developed a true fondness for her. So he's very, he's very distant. He's very, he's very distant, and you can't get a very good read on him, but he's wholesome. He's seemingly very wholesome. Despite his appearance, he is gentle and polite with humans and shows great interest in them. He understands why humans feel the emotion that they do, but he's never experienced them himself. I, he's super creepy. He's very creepy. Uh, you feel a little sick? Oh no, I'm sorry that you're feeling bad. That sucks. This tier list is gonna make me feel even more sick. Now listen, none of these are set in stone. None of these are set in stone. As I get through the rest of these, they'll get adjusted, okay? They're gonna get adjusted because I just moved them. I just moved them and I might I might move them again, but right now my brain is focusing on, on adding these new characters. Okay, so Elias, I really like this character. I really like, yes, literally creepy. Yes, he literally looks creepy. Like, like, just, just not, not an opinion. Not an opinion. He does look creepy. He's got a giant skull on his head. He's got a giant skull for a head, Moy. He's creepy. He absolutely is. But, but he seems like he's extremely wholesome. 
I'm honestly, I'm honestly liking this character a lot. I want to watch this show really bad. I want to watch it really bad. Yeah, creepy in an oo-woo way. Yeah, creepy and like, in he looks like a dubious creature. Okay, it's just his, it's his looks. But this is how he actually looks? What the heck is this? He's wonderful. Listen, he has a skull on his head. He has a skull on his head. That's creepy. I'm sorry. Listen, he does not. I'm not saying that he acts creepy. I'm saying that he looks creepy. But I would definitely want to date him before Link. And definitely before... These, this is going to need some serious adjustment. I'm saying Velma's better. I, I'd date Velma. In fact, I want to put Velma a little bit higher a little bit later. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to realize that I might have to date some of these characters and I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared just thinking about it. All right, now I put two versions. Should I have two versions of All Might on here? <laughs> because it's the same character. Okay, All Might is like the, he's like the Superman of the Hero Squad, but he can't be super all the time of the day. He turns into this skinny gremlin character that I love even more than the normal one. <laughs> but he's a, he's a little gremlin, but he defends the main character, the green haired boy. I really like this character. He's probably, let me see. Boku no hero. Let, let, let me look at these characters really quick. Academia fandom, okay. You'll take two versions? I'll take two, Don't you, if you don't mind. Okay, of all these, are these the main ones? Anime, oh my God, how many characters are in this show? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ah! Ah! Keep going. What's happening? Wait, are these different shows? Okay, some of these are different shows. Holy crap. What the heck? Okay, uh, 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 I know some of these characters. I, I would say I like All Might so much. All Might is great. Eraserhead's amazing. I would have picked Eraserhead above All Might, not gonna lie. Uh, Really, really love where, where are they? Where's Toga? Where's Toga? Toga Evil. Okay, evil character. The big three? I don't even know. I don't know where she even lands in the show because I've never seen that far into the show. I, I'm going to say definitely best character. I'm thinking Eraserhead. I'm thinking Eraserhead's the best. He's a, he's a mummy. He's a mummy boy. Look at, the, look at this man. Look at this man. I can't believe nobody submitted this. I can't believe nobody submitted this man. He's so goofy. So goofy and handsome. What the heck? Long black hair. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No submission there, but I guess we can go with the with the good second second best All Might. But where's his where's his where's his like baby version? Okay, well, All Might is pretty wholesome. All Might is pretty wholesome. He gives he gives off daddy vibes. I'm gonna say. Okay, well, Daddy D Daddy All Might is gonna go. Ooh. Okay, let me think about actually dating All Might. Definitely above Fat Gum. Maybe... He's really wholesome. I'm thinking he's better than Rick. Rick is gonna probably shoot me if he catches, if he thinks that I'm being a walker. <laughs> if he, if I like breathe heavily, he's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. If you can't handle him at his worst, you don't deserve him at his best. What? Uh, listen, I like the, I like the scrawny All Might better. I like this. I like the scrawny version better. He's just in front of the normal All Might, but that that bumps him up a tier. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say better, and he just went. He just went. He just went up. You should have submitted All Might's buff mentor. What? Isn't this his? Isn't this his buff mentor? I thought that this is All Might is the one that gives him powers, right? Oh, All Might's mentor. I see. I I misread that. He has a mentor. Let me see, birthplace, Tokyo, manga debut. Where's the, what's their name? I, I don't know, I don't know if they, I don't know if they have any information on this character. He is the eighth holder of the one for all quirk from Nana Shimura. What? Is this his trainer? Oh, okay, this is too distracting. Too distracting, Mars Mud, how dare you? How dare you? I'm still not through these, okay. The House Husband, The Way of the House Husband. I love this character a lot. I have not watched a show yet. Thank you for the follow. What's up, Kids V? Uh, I want I want to just look at like a quick clip, a quick clip from this show. <laughs> this guy is hilarious and he takes being a, a house husband very seriously. So if you don't know what the show is, this guy, um, 
I forget his name, but he's he's a house husband. He's a former Yakuza that's turned into a, a, a stay-at-home uh, husband. <laughs> so he does cooking and cleaning. He does cooking and cleaning, but he's very, very frightening. Super quiet. <laughs> He's just cooking. <laughs> he's he's just like a surprisingly wholesome wholesome character that cooks food and is very thoughtful it is a really really strange show but i not he's literally a house husband it is cheating He's like extremely hardcore, super cool guy with like, with giant tattoos all over his back. But he, he takes everything so seriously, including all of his like house chores. It It's too wholesome. It's so good. It's so good. He's literally already a husband. He's literally already a husband. That's like husband material, dude. I'm put I'm putting him up here. I think that he'd make a better husband than this dubious creature that is also an S. I I think house husband house husband's got to be like got to be top tier cuz he's he's fantastic and he's such a stinker. <laughs> hey, what's up John? How are you doing? I am rating um I am I'm rating husbandos and waifus at the moment. I hope you're doing well. What's up? <laughs> I I'm putting him up here. Amazing. Already a husband. Uh I'm going to say okay, this character's from Bleach. Did I, did I keep it up? This is a character from Bleach that was submitted by... Who submitted the Bleach character into the tier list? Watching the classics. I have not watched too much of Bleach, but I've seen a little bit. It was submitted by... Whoa, did Sunny Solis submit three characters? Did I get suckered? I got suckered into putting three characters on this list from Sunny. Oh my god, unbelievable. Can you see the shirt? The shirt that I'm wearing? Yeah. It's Kabi. Kabi. <laughs> I love this shirt. It's so cute. Uh, they submitted like six. Oh my god, I actually got suckered into it. Well, this... Okay, then I'm going to go through them relatively quickly. This is a character from Bleach that is super, like, super capable, extremely strong female absolute absolute mommy vibes i'm putting i'm put definitely above velma let's see let's see let's see powerful woman powerful woman behind geralt yeah she would protect me she would keep me safe she would keep me safe and she would tease me whenever i'm being nervous about things very very adorable very adorable love this character okay now what also what sunny put in here is two both both of the characters from Yuri on Ice. Now that show, I cannot show you any clips from it because I will get freaking banned because I was watching clips on YouTube and that they, they, they it is not censored. That show is not very censored. There there were there were bare human butt cheeks that I saw. I saw with my with my own two eyes. Somebody drew them and then somebody uploaded them onto YouTube and I saw them there. I but they're very but they're very cute. They're very cute together. I really one of the one on the left is like kind of nervous, kind of nervous. Uh like, "Oh my, oh dear." And then the other one's like, "Hey, what are you so worried about?" "Hey, we're just we're just practicing ice skating." And the other one's like, "Oh golly. Huh? Do you really like me?" And he's like, "Of course I like you, loser." I I don't know. Not the butt cheeks against TOS, but they're both they're both pretty adorable. They're both pretty adorable, and I don't know what their ages are, but I don't know. This seems seems like ideal, seems like an ideal partner for me, honestly. Both of them seem very sweet. Uh, I definitely think that Opes is more like the one on the left. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I don't know for husbands, for husbands. Mm, I'm gonna say. Hey, what's up, Kiv? Uh, nice to meet you. I'm a musician. I have a favorite... <laughs> I have a favorite musician. Stage named Co Tokyo Machine. He has a bunny friend named Robo-chan. Would you and your mascot squirrel be like that if you were a musician? Ooh, I wonder what... Maybe y'all can weigh in. Who Who would... Or what... Well, what um, instrument would squirrel play? That's a good question. That's a good question, Kiz. I'm thinking... 
I don't know, maybe Squirrel on the drums? Do you think that Squirrel would be like really small on the drums, hopping around? Hopping around with two drumsticks? That'd be adorable. Aw, a kazoo? A kazoo. What does a kazoo go with? What would I be playing? <laughs> it's just me singing and Squirrel on the kazoo. Uh, I'm gonna say, mm, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that Squirrel would play the, oh, play the bongos. Aw, Squirrel on the mic, he'd be like, me mop, me mop, oh, mop, mop, me mop, mop, me mop, mop. And the tambourine would be so cute. Aw, that would be adorable. I think Squirrel would play the tambourine. That's so cute. Squirrel would suit a classic 80s guitar. It's the, is that the, it's the guitar that has like keys on the end of it that you play like a piano? Aw, those are all so cute. But Squirrel, Squirrel's maybe a little bit lazy. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of him in the corner with a little like colon three face holding a tambourine, waiting for his one moment to hit it in the song. Cause I, I include the tambourine in every song that we ever play. He always, he always gets to hit the tambourine once. Some of the, some of the songs he gets very excited about. He starts shaking and hopping up inside, uh, upside, <laughs> upside, up and down, because he's excited about, about the big tambourine solo that happens in one of our songs. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a tambourine. That would be adorable. Uh, oh, that was, that was a very derailing thought. Okay, we got a character from, let's, let's look at this character next, Maria Campbell. This one was submitted by whom? This is an actual waifu. Stormy Waffles sent this one. This is an actual waifu. Okay, some some of these some of these are not legitimate waifus or husbandos, okay? This is an actual waifu and is and is a villain. She's actually a villain. She's she's very sweet, a kind-hearted and positive girl. She acts like somewhat of a doormat, never wanting to get in the way of other people, never defending herself until later parts of the series. She's caring and thoughtful to her friends and desires to gain strength to protect them. Smart and hardworking, blah, 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 blah. But isn't she like a villain? Doesn't she turn into a villain or something? Special girl. <laughs> That's one of her names. Special girl. The one chosen by fate. Wow, what a what a show sometimes. She's not a villain. Oh, I thought that this show was about, was about my next life as a villainess. Okay, well, I guess she's not the villainess. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Well, she's a special girl. Um, I'm gonna say also Kim, what's up? How are you doing? We're uh raiding raiding waifus and those pandas. Uh a commoner and yet a wielder of light, Maria Campbell was without a doubt the most special girl in the academy. Nice. Okay. A special girl Maria. Hmm. Definitely better, definitely better than Doki Doki. I have to like compare these different art styles or styles of characters. It is so hard for me to rank video game characters, anime characters, American cartoon characters, and human being characters all at the same time. This is very difficult. This is very difficult. So mostly these are just ranked. I'm gonna try to rank them based on like the most valid comparisons. So I'm gonna compare Maria mostly to these anime characters, and I think that she's absolutely sweet and adorable. Seems very, very adorable. I'm thinking S tier waifu. I'm thinking S tier waifu. Uh, I don't know why I'm learning this from this list, but Kenny likes a villain? Of course I do. They're much more interesting. They're much more interesting. I want some villainous troublemaker to drag me along. I'm, I'm saying S tier, actual waifu, just adorable. Just adorable, sweet person, special girl. Special girl deserves a special placement up there. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, these two characters look exactly the same. Are these different characters? Oh yeah, one of them, one of them's from Ripsy. One of them's from Ripsy from a video game, I think. I was having trouble researching that character. I don't know too, I don't know too much about him. But the other one was sent to me by... Uh, by Dai. Dai sent me a character from Fruits Basket that I have not seen, but I did watch some clips of Fruit Basket. I watched like, I'd say like, like five, ten minutes of it. And this character, this character is like, oh God, what the heck just happened? Okay, well, it just went backward for no reason. Great. Uh, this character turns into a cat. This character turns into a cat. I think this one here? Or wait, no, is it this one? Oh no, they look exactly the same. 
All, all boys look the same. What? They're both cat boys. They're both cat boys. What the heck? Okay, Kyo from Fruit Basket. That's one that. Okay, this is Kyo. This is Kyo. He turns into a cat. He turns into a cat, and he's kind of a little stinker. He has like, he has like a bad attitude. He has a bad attitude, but a good heart, you know? Like he's, he's one of those characters. He's like, he'll, he'll like fuss at you for being too emotional, but then he'll also hold your hand while you're upset. Like he, he is a tsundere, like to the core, as far as I can tell. Like very, very tsundere, uh, cat boy. What, uh, do I want somebody to be my dad or do I want somebody to be my boyfriend? This is hard to say because these both, it's like these two are dad characters. These are both dad characters. Which one would I rather date? Would I rather date like a dangerous grown man or would I rather date like a boy that's closer to my age? I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say. I'm, I'm saying that also Howl. Also, Howl, who is, like, somewhere in the middle. Mm. I, I'm thinking... I'm thinking he belongs right here. I'm saying S tier. I'm saying S tier. He's barely better than a, a literal feline. <laughs> I've got to put all the cat characters together. Ripsy, can you explain to me who this character is? Can you explain me this Beelzebub character? I read a little bit about them, but I, I wasn't understanding. It seems like the game is not voiced. I was looking for I was looking for clips, but I couldn't find any. I couldn't I couldn't find any any voice acting, so I was having to go so I would have had to like read a bunch of read a bunch of dialogue to be able to understand this character. It's voiced in this anime? Why couldn't I find any of the clips? I'm dumb. What the heck? Okay, well, for some reason it was only pulling up the game, and I, I clearly just don't know how to look for things. It's the avatar of gluttony? This is what gluttony looks like? What? He's a demon. He's a demon, a former angel, a Pisces. He likes delicious food and dislikes unappetizing food. <laughs> that is the silliest. That is the silliest. What? He's a fly? What? He's a... He's a fly? What? He's got wings? Who... What? Also, Origination, what's up? Ripsy's here? You bet Ripsy's here. This is the character... This is Ripsy's husbando. This is Ripsy's husbando, and I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where they go on my list. How are you doing, Origination? What's up? Oi, 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 oi! And thank you for the shout out. Actually, okay, can I, I guess that we can announce this? I'm sure that you already did, but I'm actually going to be playing games with Origination on Wednesday. On Wednesday, it's a collabo. It's a Harvest collab. The first Harvest collab that I know of. I don't think that there's been any other members of the Harvest team that have collabed together. We're going to be playing games on Wednesday. We're going to play Fall Guys together. It's going to be it's going to be super hype. And if y'all haven't checked out Origination's uh channel, which you should, if you haven't, then you'll be able to meet them here. You'll be able to meet them here and hang out with them and then undoubtedly you will be beguiled by their by their voice and personality and you will undoubtedly follow them. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. So so oh, I didn't read anything about them. I got too stuck on the fact that they're a bug. I got too stuck. I got too stuck on the aesthetics. Gotta say, love the love the nail polish, sassy belt, all the all the ropes and chains and spikes and belts. Oh my! And horns. He looks like a character from. He looks like a character from what's it called? From Hades. This looks like a Hades character. Uh, personality, avatar. You were saying that he's Ripsy. Was saying that he's like. And Beelzebub is like uh, an angry brother who's obsessed with food. Sort of a himbo of the group. Mmm. Hey, a little bit of a himbo. I love food. Beals boot camp. He has an interest in sports. Okay, let's see. Student council. Person Not a lot of this is about personality. He doesn't like specific people's cooking. Okay, well, as a husband, as a husband, what do I feel about Beelzebub? About Bullzabib. I'm thinking. Wait, did I put them on here? Where'd they go? 
Oh, they're this one. They're this one. I like him with horns better. So he loves so he loves food. He dresses incredibly well. He's evil. He has horns. But very particular about cooking. But I did put, I did put Emmett on here. I did put this guy in here. He's literally evil. He's literally a villain. Like he, he's actually evil, like concerningly evil. Um, your, your Yuri, I think could definitely be turned to the, to the light side. Like, like Yuri seems like a, like a decent guy in a bad job that needs redemption, needs redemption. He's too obsessed with his sister. It's kind of, it's kind of cringe. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna, so definitely, Beelzebub needs to be above Emmett. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But I can't now. Now he's evil. And and I feel like I'd get killed by the Doki Doki character first. I think that she's gonna murder me. I think I'm gonna find a knife in my back while I'm sleeping. Um You know, Rick, maybe isn't as bad as I was thinking. Maybe, maybe with all the with all of this context, would I put Rick, I would not put Rick above all my all my weak but i'm gonna say all my weak definitely above i think yuri's actually getting moved i think yuri's getting moved he's he's been he's been sitting on his high horse for too long but he's truly villainous he's truly villainous and he's also really petty and i don't think that he'd ever love me i think that he would only love i think he only loves his sister i think he only wants to marry his sister i'm gonna put him i'm gonna put him above a ghost Also, do y'all want to hear a sound clip that I made the other day that I haven't decided if I'm going to include it as an actual sound effect yet? I made a I made a sound effect that that is about the um Okay, let me let me see. Wait, where did I put this thing? It's it's from the show. I don't know how loud this is going to be. Let me see. It's uh it's an Anya sound effect that I'm thinking about adding to the stream but I'm not 100% sure about. Okay, let me see where where is this? This, this is so stupid. <laughs> Why did I make this stupid sound effect? What the heck is this? <laughs> That's her finding Lloyd's bomb, bomb collection. That's Anya like picking up all these different different items from their trunk going like wak 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 and then picks up a bomb. <laughs> I might I might make that optional. <laughs> I couldn't help it. it. I just heard the music in the background and I was like this needs to be wak 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 wak. <sighs> okay, okay, refocus. I've only got five more left. Five more left. We're on the we're on the, the, the home stretch. Home stretch. Home stretch. Okay, Mushishi. Uh, Mushishi. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What, what is this character's uh, description? This was a late. This was a late submission. I can't help that I don't know this character. Uh, I I I just don't know him because I haven't because I haven't watched a show and it just got submitted. I literally looked up all these characters so that I could understand them. Uh, it's about M Mushi, the person that has the ability to see Mushi. Who? The Mushi Master? Oh, Ginko. Ginko, Ginko. All right, Ginko has white hair, pale skin, and an unearthly green right eye. Hmm? Does he have heterochromia? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's got heterochromia. Now that's one of my favorite things that a character can ever have. It's either red eyes or heterochromia. Either one. I thought you knew all of them. I do know this character a bit. I have seen some clips, but not enough for me to rank them against all these other characters. I was gonna like, I was gonna brush up. Comes off as a rather laid back, but, but can be serious when the need arises. Okay, let me just ask, for everybody that's seen this show, for every, everybody that's seen Mushishi, is this character a little bit like the character in Spice and Wolf? Is he a little bit like the Spice and Wolf guy? He seems more shy than the Spice and Wolf guy, but I'm just saying like laid back, be serious when the need arises. He could be carrying to people and Mushi, 
He constantly stresses that mushy are not evil. He's so wholesome. He's so sweet. I wish that I was one of his mushies. Mushies. I want to be one of Ginkgo's mushies. I I I want to be I want to be his mushy. I'm I'm putting him on the top. I'm putting him in S tier. I want to be a mushy of this boy. I'm putting him above. Oh, oh. I'm saying. From what I know of him, from what I see of him, from what I hear of him, I'm putting him up here. I'm putting him up here. He seems like an extremely wholesome, adorable, shy boy. And I love it. He's cooler and he knows how to handle situations. Um, excuse me? Is that a little bit of shade that I hear coming from Anne? Okay. I'm putting him up there. All right, we're almost done. The Zero... This this character is from Zero. Uh, What is it called? People, 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 people. I have seen zero escape so i is that the first one or is which which one is zero escape is that the first one because i have played some of the first ones so i may know this character zero escape i played i played 999 are they in 999 they're all in the same one okay they're all in each one of them what so none of them die uh-oh spoiler alert um Wait, so is the ma oh the main character is this guy. Who's the Okay, I'm looking I'm looking for not that character. I'm looking for uh June. June is is actually a really close uh really close name to this. Okay. B -b 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 okay, where's 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 June? How do I how do I find June? I'll go to uh, 999 characters. Wait, what? Is that is this June? What the heck? This is the same image. Is this not the same person? I think that this is the same person. I cannot tell. This this looks like the same design. I, I think that this is the design. Maybe they just misspelled it. Um, Akane. Akane. Uh, codename June. I'm dumb. It's literally written right here. It's literally... Or her nickname, Canny. Canny, Canny, and Kenny. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. Wait a second. Canny, Kenny. Okay, I think I remember her just being adorable. Isn't she just adorable? Oh my god, Canny. Canny, what are you doing? Canny White. I think I remember her just being adorable. Oh shoot, dude. What the heck is going on here? Okay, appearance. I don't. Uh, personality. Uh, for the bulk, she acts cheerful and upbeat. She's optimistic, kind, intuitive, and helps around. I remember her. I remember, though she can be somewhat quirky. Oh my, a little bit quirky and naive. She also appears to trust and believe in everyone. Okay, so she's a hopeless type. She's a adorable and more. Adorable and more? She has a sense of humor. She's act mater as a maternal figure for kindly Klim. Uh, okay. Though she can be a proper young woman, she's introduced as the girl next door, but her true personality is Machiavellian, while her character is defined by its ambiguous nature that varies by player interpretation. As such, she's a somewhat controversial character. What? She's controversial? In truth, she's very ambitious, intelligent, and goal-oriented, and she's the queen of random knowledge. She's a bit of a philosopher. She pre she is not an ordinary damsel in distress. Okay, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm I'm kind of loving this character. Where do I put him on S tier? <laughs> Where are they going? <gasps> definitely, definitely better than this typical sweet waifu. The typical sweet waifu's got to go below. She's got to go down. She's got to go down. Definitely above Velma. Velma's a little. Uh, I, listen, Velma's very capable, but I'm. I'm putting this this like normal looking waifu down here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They just got replaced by Canny. Canny has let. Oh, she's so smart. She's so smart. It's so sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna put her just below the dads. I think she's going just below the dads. If you finish the first 99 game, you will know. Ooh, I I have all three of them on PS4. Maybe I'll play them. Maybe I will play them. Could I play them on stream? Maybe. Um, okay, so this character is from Assassination Classroom. I, I'm And I'm going to do a final adjustment, and then they will be officially locked in. Okay, I'm going to look up Assassination Classroom, if that's how you spell it. It's not. I put an extra S in there. Oops. 
Uh, assassination classroom. I don't want to. I want to go to the wiki. Where's the wiki? What? Do I have to? Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. We gotta say. We gotta say the wiki. Let me see. Hey, zombie food. What's up? How are you doing? Oi, oi, oi. We're doing. We're doing rankings right now. Hello. Hello. Google. Hello. Hello. Oh, it already loaded. Wait. Wiki fandom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Manga. Blah, 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 blah. Number episodes. Where's the list of chapters? Where's the characters? Main characters. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Which? Oh my God! There's so many characters in this show. Okay. I I remember Koro Sensei. I remember uh Na Na Nagisa Shi Shiota. Nagisa Na Nagisa Nagisa Shiota. This is Karma, Karma Aka Akabane Akabane <laughs> Akabane. Okay, this this is like a super confident like troublemaking uh, boy. I'm pretty sure because I I remember him. He's known for his violent behavior. Okay, so he's dangerous. He's cunning, mischievous, and somewhat sadistic. Did I not already read this? I could have swore that I already read a a, a version of this character. Quite relaxed, most of the time occasionally skips on things that he finds boring, like school assembly. He's a car he's a fan of superhero movies like Sonic Ninja. I did? There's literally another character that we read that was quite cunning, mischievous, and somewhat sadistic. I'm pretty sure that we've already read this. I'm pretty sure that we already know them. You read it before starting tier tearing. Oh, because oh yeah, because they were submitted late. They were submitted late. Okay, they they're they're like a standard troublemaking boy. It definitely has to be a, above Yuri. Has to be above all murderers. Okay, murderers don't get on the top of this list unless I like them a lot. Like uh like <laughs> like the house husband. Okay, the house husband goes on top. Okay, Anne sent me something. Thank hey, thanks Anne. Thank you. What what is that? What is this? What is are you you're interrupting you're interrupting our class meeting with this? What is this? And why did you send this to me? What is is that her beating me up because I took her off of S tier? Just because of taking her off of S tier? She is a villain. It's proof. It's proof. I knew she was a villain all along and you proved it. This is why she's on A. That's an S tier? I think not. I think not. I will not be bullied. Also, Lalalas, how are you doing? Uh, so S tier, just given the previous S tiers up there. I I have to move. I have to move some of the. I have to move some of the S's. I, some of them are getting schmooved. I'm gonna say, Husbando. Does he even give Husbando vibes? Ba Balesabub? Like, I'm just saying, like, Balesabub kind of better than just, like, a little, a little stinky, little stinky troublemaking boy. <gasps> I think I'd date Monica first. I'm putting him here. <laughs> She's baking cookies in there. In where? She's baking cookies in her muscles? La la la. Oi! You're, you're a fan of Boku too? Wait a minute. Is this, this is just the Boku VT waiting room. We're just waiting for Boku to go live. As soon as I, as soon as they do, then I can raid them. Finally. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. So, two characters left, and then I will do the final adjustments. Okay, one of these is from Hayaku, which is... Okay. <laughs> Hayaku. Hayaku, is that the... Is that the swimming one? Or is that the... Is that... <laughs> This is not, this is Turbo Wiki. I want the Hayek. No, I want the. Did I spell it wrong? Did I say Hi, Hi, Hi Yaku? Hi, no, it's Hi Q. Hi, Hi Q. What? Hi Q. Q? Hey, stop kissing me. <laughs> stop. Stop. I spelled it wrong. Okay, listen, I know I spelled it wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, so which I just want to know what character he's the evil one? He's a baddie? He's a baddie character from the show? Hey, what's what's up, Calico? <laughs> what's up, Calico? And thank you for the follow. Hey, Visual Zen is back. Did you make a new account? Visual Zen, welcome back. I saw that you jumped into the I saw that you jumped back into our into our our Discord. Welcome back. I hope that you're doing good. Characters. Okay, let's let's look at the characters. Which which one is this one? 
I don't think that I'm going to agree with this pick. I don't think I'm going to agree with this pick. This is not the best character. This is Toru. 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 Where are they? Are they evil? Where are they? Hello? I don't even see them. I think they're just a bad guy. Okay, they, this is some secondary looking characters over here. Okay, here we are. This has got to scroll to the bottom of the page. Oh, it's the same account. You've already you've already got biddies on there. Hey, welcome back, Visual Zen. Uh, we are ranking waifus and husbandos right now. I'm about to make the final list, and we're going to save it. I'm about to make the final list and save it. We're here, here at the end of all things. So it's the opposing team. Lobby likes the opposing team. But they're all turds. I, I don't like I don't like their attitudes. They're all stinky and mean. Uh, I think. He has a flirtatious nature. Well. Yeah. Hey, boy! Thank you for the year of sub! Oi, 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 oi! Thank you so much. Can we get some hype in the chat? And the tier list is almost done! I'm almost done uh, 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 picking on your characters. I'm almost done roasting these characters. I have not been roasting these characters. I have been very nice to all of these characters. Almost too nice. I'm pretty sure that y'all are disappointed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that y'all are just disappointed. You didn't bash my husband too. Have this. <laughs> I ain't done yet, boy. I ain't done with this yet. Uh, let's see. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you for the hype in the chat. Boy, I appreciate it. Uh, Caesar's uh, ambitious, one-track minded, but sh but but is it's shown that he has feelings of inferiority towards those he deems naturally better than him. <laughs> Ooh, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Hang on. Also holds grudges. Holds grudges and feel and has an inferiority complex. Hmm. Don't know about that. Don't know about that. I remember watching this show and that character was there. I like this character, to Tobio. He's very, very reserved, very cool dude. I really like Koshi's design. I really like, uh, the main character is just like typical shonen, but I like him more than, you relate to him? But Lobby, you're not mean, are you? I'm pretty sure that this character is mean. I'm pretty sure that he, he he doesn't get played off as a very nice character. Though I suppose this is a sports anime, and they are children. Like, it isn't it isn't played off as a literal villain. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to be with them. I'm going to say that they're C tier. Maybe... Uh, why is Danny so low? I feel, I feel a little hateful. I feel a little hateful towards Danny. He might go up a little bit. Now, this character is from Critical Role. I'm, I'm about to do the final adjustment, and Toru might move. Toru might move. I'm not I'm not comfortable with that spot yet. Okay, this is Percival Frederickstein on blah 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 blah. This name is so long. This name is c comedically long. Okay, this care. Okay, they've got their own wiki? All right. All right, they're, 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 they're very studious, very studious, have their glasses on. Where's the, where's the other images? I want to see some more pictures of this character. Okay, where's the, where's the fan art? Okay, kind of a, kind of a baddie. Kind of a baddie. I like the, I like the glasses. I like the glasses, the strong, strong jaw. Strong jaw, sharp features. All right, all right, I kind of like him. I kind of like him so far. Uh, oh. Oh. Wait a minute, is he like a vampire hunter? What's his class? What class is his character? His character is ooh, a, a gunslinger. A gunslinging human in their mid-twenties. Same though. He's a custom class. He's a gunslinger. A young human. A young human. Why does that sound suspicious when they put it like that? He had brown hair, but it turned white as a result of trauma. What? <laughs> What's this? What is this uh, pseudo biology going on here? <laughs> his, his hair turned white as snow. Oh, no, I don't know about that. That's interesting. He's either nearsighted or farsighted, so he has trouble seeing. That would explain the glasses. I think I'm figuring out this character. Okay, I ha he has a prim and conscientious exterior. 
though he showed himself on multiple appear appearances uh, occasions to show the signature eccentricity of a tinkerer and escapades as far as a cannonball contest. Okay, so he's like, he's like an eccentric, tinkering, quiet, gunslinging, white-haired, old-looking man. I like, I like this character. But not as a husband. Not as a husband. This is this is not husband material for me. A meticulous tinkerer, a quiet nerd. I don't know about that. I need some. I need some excitement in my life. Like I listen. I'm not that exciting of a person. I need somebody that's gonna that's gonna like that's gonna bring the party. Okay. I, I don't know if this character is really bringing the party. I'm thinking B or C. I'm thinking C or B. This is my husbando. He has a lot of trauma. Okay, now that is a little attractive. I do I do like boys with trauma. So maybe definitely definitely could maybe fix him possibly. Possibly. I'm not sure. He seems he seems too confident though. He seems too confident to be fixed though. He seems too confident to be fixed and that's why I don't like these eccentric types cuz they get they get stuck in their in their crappy ways. I feel like he would he would have to have like extremely crazy situations to ever change Zen. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, welcome back for 6 months. Oi! It would have been more if problem or oh didn't my okay you, but Thank I've you so much Visual Zen. Can we get some hype in the chat? My oh my goodness. So sweet. Thank you for that prime. I appreciate it. Oi, Visual Zen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you're back. Oi, 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 oi. All right. I think that these are all ranks. So now I just need to make adjustments. Human one is here. Hey, can we get a shout out for human one? Oi, 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 oi. Fellow, 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 totally human. Fellow, totally human. I promise I'll get my intro submitted soon enough. <gasps> Don't tell Nessie. Don't tell Nessie. I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't like describing myself. I don't like writing about myself. I have to write a biography intro and I'm just like, I don't have enough confidence in the way that my stream is going right now for me to be writing a like biography for people to read. Like I'm not that confident. Okay. I, I don't know what I'm going to do in a month. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn into something else. Who knows? I might turn into a monster in 10 minutes. Uh, you you ask OT to edit it. Aha, that's smart. That's smart. Maybe I should send it to Opsty. I, I need Opsty to help me out because I don't know how to describe myself. I think that I'm somewhat difficult to describe just because I, I seem, I, I feel very inconsistent. I feel like too inconsistent of a person. So maybe just chaotic, right? Uh, okay, time for some adjustment. I'm going to say uh, Blackbeard is false as far as husband. I'm going to say Blackbeard's going down. Blackbeard's moving. Uh, Taika Waititi has Blackbeard. I'm going to move him down, especially because he's in a relationship right now. And you know what? He seems really happy. He seems really happy and really silly. I would love to hang out with Blackbeard like literally any day. Literally any day. Absolutely love this man. But I don't know about a husband, though. I don't know about a husband. Like, I don't know if I want him to be a husband. I'm going to say... Okay, okay, okay. What, what else needs to be moved? I'm going to try to... Okay, I'm going to go by real-life characters first. And let me make sure that they're all at the right ranks. So, real-life characters. We got Loki, Geralt, Blackbeard, Ghost, Ghost, and Rick. Okay, Rick is a real father figure. I like that. He's come back to a dolphin with limbs above Rick Grimes. This is... This... This character, this is a meme character. This is a meme character. Let's be honest. Formulando, I don't wanna I don't wanna read behind the lines for you. I don't wanna give you the backstory. I don't wanna give you the deep lore, but this is a meme. This is a meme right here, okay? This, this doesn't count. I'm gonna say uh Okay, so Mango's S tier. Oh, okay. Uh <laughs> I'm Loki, Loki Geralt, Rick, Black. I'm I am i am thinking honestly, Rick. Is a better husbando than Blackbeard. I'm thinking, ah, I don't know. This is so hard. How is this so difficult? All right, we're putting the cock at a number one. Number one, just kidding. Uh, can I put anything in F? I'm just gonna put that there. I'm also, I need to put one more on S tier. We, I mean F, we need an F. What is an F-rated husbando? What is an F- Hey, Ricky Tiki T, what's up? <laughs> what? There's gotta be one more F. There's gotta be one more F in here somewhere. Who? 
Uh, I do like I do like Fat Gum being being very wholesome. He's very wholesome. I feel like he cannot be F. I, I don't think that that's F. Danny's not that bad. Danny's not that bad, but he's kind of a little turd. Man, screw Danny Phantom. <laughs> Freaking baby. Freaking baby loser. Baby loser chump. Absolute garbage. I can't stand his attitude. Danny, get the heck out of here. F tier. Uh, I'm putting him behind the chicken. <laughs> You'd rather marry a chicken. What a what a little stinker. What a little stinker. Such a bad attitude. Such a whiny boy. Also made by Butch Hartman. No surprise that I don't like him. I'm gonna say okay, okay. Can I pick one? Is there another F in here? Is there another F that I didn't think about it totally logically? Because I had to come up with like all these all, all all these characters at once. This has been difficult. I'm gonna say Tinkering Guy, he's going down to C. He's going down to C. I, I'd rather have a cat boy. I'd rather have a cat boy. Let's see. Let's see. Trump, Trump, Trump. I'm putting the troublemaker here. Okay. Who's F tier? Who's F tier? I'm. I'm gonna say uh, ghost. Ghost wife. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about this. Bell. Little literal fly demon. I think. Okay. Okay. I think what my rule is gonna be now is that I can only change. Maybe I can only change tiers. I can't change positions. Positions don't matter that much. What really matters is the tier that they're on. I'm gonna say, Angelina Jolie, you're going down. Angelina J Jolie's going down. I, I listen. If it was 13 year old me, this this one would be number one. If it was 13 year old me, but it's not. It's not. It's the fully renovated, 100% modern Earl. Modern Earl's putting them in. Actually, do I have to be modern though? Because if I'm modern, I'm putting them in B. Because Angelina Jolie is really annoying, and this character is kind of a try-hard, kind of cringy, kind of cringy. Not gonna lie. If I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, she's kind of a try-hard. She's kind of a try-hard. I'm putting her in B. I, I, she just went from S to B. I'm putting, let's see, let's see, Catboy. Catboy, kind of, kind of typical, kind of typical boy. I'm putting him in A. He's moving down. He's moving down. He's, he's, he's too generic. He's too generic for me to put him in S. Uh, these, these are all uniquely interesting. I, li I like these. I almost feel like I can only have one of these dads, but I'm going to leave them both up there. Um... Link is right where they belong. I do not feel bad about Link being an A. Link Link is a good character. I, I especially like him if... Now, they said Twilight Twilight Princess Link, though. They did say Twilight Princess Links, and they were very adamant about that. Twilight pr pr Princess Link. Never finished that game. Probably my least favorite uh, Zelda game. Probably my least favorite Zelda game. I'll tell you what, though. They should have they should have put this little gremlin in here. This little gremlin is my favorite character. That's the only good thing about this game. That and and it's one of the best things about Zelda in general. I do I do like the little goblin. The little goblin has a great design and I love her giant hat. But this link is like the worst link. Just a couple of cutscenes. Look at cutscenes of this game. Okay, let, let let's 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 take a little peek really quick at like twi twilight Princess cutscene. Why did I actually spell it right? That's crazy. Ah, uh, this little baby's gross. I hate this little baby. I didn't even know that I could that I could hate a child so much, but that little that little child is so frustrating. This is just literally all cutscenes. Where's the? Oh, wait a second. He's kind of cute. Wait a second. He's kind of cute. Hate these children. You also <laughs> look at that little granny-looking baby. There's such a stinker. Oh, I bet their diaper's always dirty. I bet you they've always got a fully loaded diaper. They certainly run like they do. Okay, let's let. So Link looks cute at the beginning. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, Link, will you teach me how to be a sword master? Okay. Oh, that's not Link. <laughs> I got a little confused there for a second. 
My bad. Uh, all right, show me Link. Stop looking at this Link looking other person. Uh, where? Show us the man. Oh my God. Oh, he did. <laughs> uh oh, goblin attack. <laughs> this animation is pretty wild. Isn't it? Oh! Link dies. This is actually the end of the game. But we'll let let's see what he looks like whenever he's a big kid, though. How about big kid Link, best character, easy. Only good thing that came out of Twilight Princess. So sorry, so sorry to inform you. Sorry for your lots. Wait, what? I'm oh, <laughs> what's happening? Why is my favorite character dying? Show me Link. Oh, she dies at the end. That's a bummer. Okay. Well, he seems to be mostly the same. He doesn't look like he has, like, a downgrade. I thought that he might turn into, like, an edgelord at the end of the game. Maybe I need to finish this game. He, he seems pretty sweet. I don't know. He looks like a wholesome boy. Uh, a pretty, pretty wholesome Link. I thought that he was going to be, like, an edgelord. Ah. Uh, Nah, he's actually not that bad. Okay, maybe I misjudged him a bit. Uh, let me see. I just saw another clip in here. They talking to each other. Yeah, he's he's not bad. He's not bad. Spoilers. Okay, has has anybody not played this like thirty year old game? Okay, so uh, with all that in mind, with all that in mind, this is Twilight Zelda Link. I'll I'll keep him in A. I'll keep him in A. Though I'll tell you what would make him S immediately. I, if it was Link in the in the Gerudo outfit, Link in the Gerudo outfit is S tier, 100%. Actually would be top of the list. So this is honestly just a slight miscalculation in the best Link, okay? So this is Twilight Princess Link is A, but if it was Gerudo outfit Link, it's it would be S tier first first slot, okay? 100%, no, no, no doubt. Um, I'm gonna say that I don't know Mashishi enough for it to be S tier. Sorry. I, I just don't know this character well enough. I'm gonna say A, they seem great. They seem great, but I don't know. But I don't freaking know. Um, okay. I'm gonna say slight adjustments, only slight adjustments necessary. Let's watch Mashishi soon. Okay. I'd be down to watch it. Looks adorable. He talks to like spirits and he brings them. Uh, like comfort in the spirit world or something. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move up Monica. I want to get freaking murdered. I want to get murdered by Monica. If Monica, but she's so confident, but she could kill you. She's an actual Yandere though. She is like a real, I will stab you. You are in danger, cutie. That is hard. How do I feel about that? How do I feel about how do I feel about that? There's no other Yandere. There's no other Yanderas on this list. I'm putting Monica on the. I'm putting Monica in S tier. Put Monica in S tier, and then slight. Why am I putting them there? Because they can kill you. You don't realize. You don't realize how how uh, how alluring that is. Okay, a sense of danger, a sense of danger, but also wholesome wholesome vibes. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie. Who is Yoru Ichi? Yoru Ichi is that this character here? S tier. S tier would happily kill you or a wizard or a shark with human eyes. <laughs> yeah, I S tier has to be either kill you or daddy. Has to be. Has to be either I'm in danger or you're my dad, like a very hot dad. Like these are these are hot dad characters, and then I may die. I like both of those two options. Um, that's her. I've not seen Bleach, so I'm literally doing my best. She can turn into a cat. Wait a minute. Wait a what? Wait a what? You you what? Cat? <gasps> Where? Hang on. Let me look up some. What? She just turns into a black cat? That's adorable, baby! Becomes a literal cat baby? Oh, a cat with a knife! Or is that a plate? <laughs> wow! Wait a minute! 
She's super powerful too. I watched, I was watching a clip of her beating up another character and I was kind of enjoying it. Um, She's like captain level of a squad. Ni ninja lady. <gasps> Ooh, that's so cute. What a cute drawing. I'm gonna, ooh, I don't know. I don't know, but S tier, S tier for cat girl, for dangerous cat girl assassin. She would definitely, she would definitely be a character that would scoop me off of my feet and like carry me. But what, but would she, what would she ever be attracted to in me? What, what would, what would she ever be attracted to? I feel like I would never have confidence in this relationship. I feel like she's too cool. She's also from a rich family. What? You mean that I can marry up? Oh, dang. Hang on. I'm thinking... Oh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, cat girl, but I don't know if our relationship would ever... I don't know if our if our relationship would work out. A trust fund baby? No! <laughs> no, she's on the run. She can't access any of that money, I don't think. You know what? I kind of like this list. I kind of like this list. Is there any? Is there any gross, any gross negligence that I've had on this list? Is there anything horrible? She's she's already an A tier. Like the rankings of the tiers don't matter. Okay, the rankings don't matter too much. Die just doesn't want anyone else cat per person above his. What? Listen, he's he's such a typical character. I feel like Fruits Basket, the 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 thing that's good about the show that I do want to watch it for is not because of the characters being particularly unique, but probably how they use them, maybe how many there are, maybe the writing. Uh, but the but the basics of his character seems pretty freaking generic. Blackbeard being above Rick doesn't sit right. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, but who, but which one's, I, I don't know, Rick looked like an old man right here. Uh, you'll take A tier? Stormy, you're the one that posted, which, which one did you say? Okay, yours was on S from the very beginning because I only adjusted them because of how many anime characters I had on there and I thought that it was trouble, but I haven't watched a show yet and from the clips that I watched, Stormy, I'm going to watch that show. Like, I'm absolutely going to watch it because this character is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Um, but I had to put him down because there were too many. There were too many, uh, too many anime, too many anime girls up there. So I had to get rid of one of them. Uh, no ageism. I mean, it's not, it's not about ageism. It's just literally the, uh, these two that I'm comparing. Again, I'm having trouble comparing all of these different styles of characters from different mediums. I'm not I'm not saying that he's too old. I'm saying I'm trying to compare these two and which one I would rather be in a relationship with. I don't know. It's tough to say. Rick is a little Rick's a little chaotic. I feel like Rick's going to shoot me. I feel like I'm going to get shot. All right, Rick's F tier. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm. I'll put. I have not seen much of Blackbeard. He seems very funny. He seems very funny. I like him. I think I actually a swap of them would. I think I do sit better with that. I think I sit better with that. To be honest, I I think that these work better. I do really like the character of Rick, but I also have only seen one season, so I I feel like we might be describing different characters. But Blackbeard being in, in B as like a normal tier person, I don't know. I, I think that he needs to stay in A. No, I don't think that they're switching. I think that they're both A. I think they're both A, A. Okay, can I, can I sneak like, there's no live action characters at the S tier. Okay. That's just because uh, cartoons are always more attractive than people. Sorry, sorry, it's cheating. It they're they're literally cheating. They can be drawn into the perfect form. Okay, these are these are all the perfect forms. These are perfected human beings. All of these crummy old real life people, they're all gross and they have organs and blood and stuff. And like they have opinions and probably some bad opinions. And they probably said some nasty things and have real relationships with people. Ugh, gross. Also, not to be that guy, but Rick canonically, uh, what is it? Rick canonically bad in bed? <laughs> Die! Die's taking this list even more seriously than I am. That is, that is too bad. Die, you should be doing this list. I think that I'm happy with this. 
I think I think we're good. All Might Superman looking character. I don't know. Okay, let me let me see if I can bring out some hatred in myself. Let me see if I can pump up some hatred. Okay, let me let me just build my hatred for a moment. Can y'all say some things that will make me hate some of these characters, please? I can save this tier list so that y'all can actually all uh, do this list if you want to. I can send y'all the link if you wanna if you wanna do your own list, <laughs> and we can post them. We could post them in the tier list as well if we wanted to. That'd be funny. I'm gonna say. Okay, what kind of hatred can I build up? I I'm trying to be mad. I'm trying to be angry so that I can so that I can fix some of this. I'm I'm on really like low low brain capacity today. I'm like on I'm I'm like on 50% brain knowledge. My brain's only at 50%. Monica's a bit too needy. She's needy. Move her up a little bit. I like that. I like listen, okay? Neediness just means that I get more attention. I like that. I like that. That's nice. Very funny for you to be picking on somebody being needy, Anne. That's really funny. That's really fascinating. Do you want me to pull up our, our Discord logs for a second? Do you want me to label the amount of days that you've sent me things? I'm just saying, like, neediness is okay with me. If neediness was not okay with me, I'm pretty sure that a lot more people would be banned in this chat, okay? Monica does kill off everybody that you talk uh, out of jealousy. I love that. I love that. That's the best part about Yanderas. It's true, it's true. When did this turn into Rick Slander? A Formulando, I did say that I needed to build up some hatred. So which character of these do you hate? Who do you think is in the wrong spot? Come on. I need some anger here. Monica. Monica actually is fantastic. Okay, let me let me see. Let me let me go into husbando waifu mode really quick. Let me just access my database and decide. Can I just say this link is bothering me so much because they picked the wrong link. It's angering me because I know a good link, but Twilight Princess Link is not the best one. Breath of the Wild Link is better than Twilight Princess Link, period. Besides being in a Gerudo outfit, this is upsetting. Can I can I break my own rules? Ugh. I wanna put I wanna put Gerudo Link at the top. Okay, this is Gerudo Link. Gerudo Link goes up there. Uh Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Yuri, I do like Yuri. Yuri's got a stinky attitude. I, I don't know if I could bring Yuri into this though. I don't know if I could bring Yuri into my life. They're just, they're just too troublesome. And they're too attached to their sister. I feel like I'd get, uh, I feel like I'd get jealous. I feel like I would get jealous. I think that this is right. I think that I'm done. Twilight Princess Link is one of the worst links. I, I think, I think so. But that being said, not that bad. Not, not too bad. None of the links are abysmal, I don't think. I can't think of a link that I hate. I think I'm done. I think that this is it. I'm just trying to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes. Yeah, Danny, Danny, F tier. Is there any of these characters that I would actually hate in real life? I feel like, I feel like there's at least one of these characters that I would hate. Who would I hate? Hmm. I feel hatred towards one of these. It's just a vague hatred towards some somebody up here i can feel it who's sat sat sadako loki will probably plot against you i don't think so i think that i'd be loki's friend i i'd be loki's minion if anything if anything i listen if loki was my husbando i would be i would be loki's i i would be loki's minion i i'd do whatever he says okay loki loki would be the leader causing trouble and mischief and i would be i would be behind loki 100 percent of the way supporting him and I would be the person that he goes back to where he's like, everyone's turned against me. Every, everyone, literally everyone is a, is has left me behind except for you. And I'd be like, I'd die for you, Loki. And he's like, that's why I love you. <laughs> She'd show up to kill you after seven days. She'd be distant and cold. Yeah, she would go. Uh... She's a little, she's maybe a little too dangerous to be on B. I, I feel like she doesn't have any love for anybody. I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for her and I want to fix her. I want to fix her. I'm going to put her under here. I'm going to put, okay. 
Okay, that feels better. That feels better for them to be C. I, I'm thinking that that's about right. B tier for, for, the, for the ninja cat? I don't know, this has been a lot of changes. The Witcher is in a committed, awkward relationship with Yennefer or Triss. Good point. It's a good point. Best scenes? That sounds scary. The Witcher main... Can I watch this main trailer? This would be safe, right? It's safe to watch a trailer, correct? I'm gonna... I'm gonna just see how he acts. I don't think I've even seen the trailer for this, have I? Okay, this trailer should be safe. I want to hear him I've talk. I've heard tales of your magic. Roaming the continent. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters. For a price. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. Not appropriate. Okay. <laughs> I thought that the trailer would be fine, but it doesn't look like it is. Video game or Netflix? That's a good question. That's a good question. But they did submit... They did submit the the live action one, but it's Henry Cavill, right? He's got white hair, but he seems like a douchebag. He seems like a, he seems like a, uh, I don't know. He seems he seems like a quiet, reserved guy. I don't, I don't know about The Witcher. I don't know. Would I really want him as a boyfriend? Yeah, 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 I would. He's troubled, he's troubled, he's troubled! Stop trying to convince me otherwise! He's troubled. I like, I like his troubledness, okay? Uh... I'm gonna put All Might down here. All Might's moving down. Um... Velma, she's such a twerp, though! She's such a twerp! She's like, jinkies! Golly jeep! Actually, actually, hang on. Hang on. Velma? Velma? Wait a minute. I forgot about this character. She's such a... She's so... She's such a know-it-all. I don't know. She's kind of a know-it-all. But she's... But she's at least capable. She's way better than Daphne. That's for sure. She's better than Daphne, but she's nothing compared to Scooby or, or Shaggy. Like, in personality. Mm, I don't know. Velma? Is she really... I think Velma's going down. Velma, she's such a she's such a stinker, and I'm sick I'm sick of fighting her in multiverses. Honestly, she's a narc. That's a good point. She'd only criticize your choices after you make them. That's true. Report. She's a narc. I didn't realize that she is a narc. She's going down to C tier. She just moved two tiers. <laughs> she moved two tiers. She's a narc. She's she's gonna expose me for all my crimes. She's literally, she's just a little troublemaker, a little troublemaker. I don't, I don't like the aesthetic of that, of that era anyway. I, I don't like, I don't like their attitudes. They're all very, they're all too wholesome. They're too wholesome. She works with the police all the time. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. All, I almost want to move Yuri, but I feel like he's more evil than the police, which makes them go around all the way around. It's a horseshoe. It's a horseshoe effect. <laughs> She's friends with Shaggy and she hasn't turned him in, in for anything. Shaggy doesn't canonically do anything illegal. Not canonically. I definitely, I definitely like the Magus Bride guy. I really, I really like him. He's super sweet. He's super sweet and he's very curious about, he's very curious about humanity. He's very adorable. He's a very adorable character. I like him. Um, Okarin, maybe Okarin needs to move down. I think Okarin is a little too high. I think that he's been sitting on his high horse for a little too long. Would he be a good husband? Would he be a good, yeah, cause he's, cause he's so chaotic and he's always coming up with new gadgets. He's always coming up with new gadgets and gizmos and he's so, would I like that he's so, he is, it, for those of you that haven't seen the show, he thinks that he's a mad scientist and he's always saying these ridiculous phrases and he's always making up, wait, wait, he's a conspiracy theorist. He's a conspiracy theorist. He thinks that the whole government's out to get him. <gasps> I just realized that Okarin is like 
Alex Jones. He's a conspiracy theorist. He's going down to C tier. I didn't realize that. He's a great character and I love the show and he happens to be right, but he's a conspiracy theorist and he thinks that everything is done by the federal government. And uh, no, no, he's going down to C. I forgot, forgot about the conspiracies. It's Brad, hey, what's up Brad? Oi, just by the way, your waifu is uh, top tier. Top tier, top tier, come on sis. Oi, oi, Brad, how are you doing? I am trying to rank these. And I'm having immense amounts of problems. I am constantly thinking about different parts of these characters that I hate. Like, Okarin, actually, conspiracy theorist? Isn't his conspiracy theory right? Part of it's right. Part of it's right. But still, having a conspiracy mind, he believed... The thing about Okarin is that he believed the conspiracy before he had evidence. That's what I don't like. I don't like that Okarin. He just assumed that the government was doing it didn't have any evidence. He did go out and get the evidence, but he believed it without without any reason. Ocarina is not a liar like that other guy. Wait, what other guy? Where? What guy? Where? Who's a liar? Who's a liar? I see no liar. There's no liar on this list. What are you talking? What are you talking about, Brad? Who? Loki lies. What? Loki would never lie to me. Loki. Loki wouldn't lie to me. He's a. He's a. He would be very sweet to me. No. 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 He wouldn't need to lie to me. Loki wouldn't have any need to lie to me. The only time that Loki would ever lie to me is to protect me. And that's totally fine. Hey, what's up, Ender Spark? How are you doing? How are you doing? Deception is Loki's thing. I mean, it's true, but... Well... Alex Jones? Huh? Oh, yeah, no. Oak Arena is not that bad. <laughs> I was... Listen, that that's called comedy, Brad. It's called comedy. He's more like... Who's a conspiracy-minded person that exists that's not a scumbag, though, Brad? Can you think of one? Like, is there is there, like, a middle-of-the-road conspiracy theorist that you can think of? I only mentioned Alex Jones because he's, like, a piece-of-crap conspiracy theorist, but... Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely not comparable, but I can't think of a decent conspiracy theorist. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm thinking, what's the alien guy's name with the the one with the hair? Oh, the guy that's like aliens. <laughs> that guy seems kind of wholesome, to be honest. <laughs> Loki's only flaw is kissing the female version of himself. What? He does? Wait, I'm thinking, you know, but it's Tom Hiddleston. I can't put him down to B. Why are y'all trying to convince me to put Loki in B? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Y'all aren't going to fool me. I stand, I stand by it. I stand by it. Hot take incoming. I can feel one coming. I can feel a hot take. It's getting here. Oh, Sunny Sola, how are you doing? Oi, 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 Sunny Sola, we're people of taste in the stream. Sunny, didn't you submit three characters? <laughs> I said one. I said one and you fooled me. I didn't realize that it was you sending all of them. Was it was it you, Sunny Sola? It was! Sunny, you sent me three characters. You sent me four characters! Sunny, you sent me four characters. How was I supposed to pick from all those? You wouldn't kiss the female version of yourself? Y'all are vanilla. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, absolutely. I would, I would kiss the female version of myself. Absolutely. Listen, all my self-loathing would go out the door, all right? Scream said, bye, panic. Ah! Listen, I I have panic. Okay, it's it's difficult. I think I have a pretty good I have a pretty good mix of genders here. I think I think that all of these tiers are actually pretty pretty even, which they don't need to be. They don't need to be, but they are, which is interesting. Except for B, there's a, most of the Bs are dudes, but they're also mostly villains. I guess All Might's not a villain, but listen, he's kind of he's kind of basic. He kind of basic. Hello, I'm a superhero. Save the world. A tier has two females. Oh, bum, bum, bum. Wait, what? Where? Huh? A tier has two females. You mean this one? No, this one only has one. This one's only got one. Um, until you see the F tier. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this Among Us character. Okay, so you're probably right. I do need to pick an F tier. Maybe there should be like an F tier. What? 
You said mixed genders until you see the the A tier. Look, female, female, male, 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 female, male. It's literally even. What the heck? Why is Mike Overmall and Rick? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Uh, how high do I go on the waifu chart? What, Ollie? Ollie, do you have a character that I can read? <laughs> read it again. I don't think so. No, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> that looks like bait. That looks like freaking bait. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, are you talking about Rick? Are you talking about Rick here and uh, Taika Waititi? Is that what you're talking about? Do you not know? No, I don't. Are you talking about Rick? I haven't seen barely any of The Walking Dead, okay? You have a character, but the submissions are closed. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, Innocent Alex, listen. Just just DM me it. Just DM me your Taika. I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't know who that is, RX. Uh, do you have the guy from the way of the house husband in S? He's the best, and it sets an example. He's literally a husbando. This is literally the perfect husbando. I honestly, I could put him first because he's he's literally the definition of a husbando. Like absolutely perfect. There's not a definition of a wife who in here. I don't think, unless I was gonna say they're trying to get you to say something stupid. I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Uh. Now, wait a second. So, slight. here's a slightly different way of looking at this. So, we have the perfect husbando right here. Right here. Now, we need the perfect waifu right after it. So, who is the perfect waifu here? We got the husbando. The perfect waifu is either this one or this one. I think. Because I don't think... This is not a waifu. I, I, I mean, it is a waifu, but I'm saying like they, I feel like, I feel like they would carry me around. Like, I would love that. I would love that, but they're not, they're not like quintessential uh, waifu. I'm thinking it's, it's between these two. These two are both wholesome, wholesome waifus, which I love. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. One of them has like a somewhat dark past. The other one is entirely sweet. I think that I'd go for the more complicated character. I think. I think. Yes. She's the perfect waifu. She. She's the perfect waifu. This is the perfect husbando. I think I understand. I think I understand. Marie. Maria has a sad past. Yeah. I did read a little bit about the sad past. Did I keep it up? I think I think I may have closed it, but I did I did read about it. it. Maybe I would change my mind if I watched the whole show, but just going off of what I know, it seems it seems like this character is more complicated. I'm putting him up there. Okay, this, this is starting to look pretty good. I think I think we might be I think we might be good because we have the perfect husband and perfect waifu. But I need I need a garbage tier waifu though because I have a garbage tier husbando. This is this is garbage garbage kid cuisine take i need what is the garbage waifu take i'm kind of feeling velma a little bit kind of feeling kind of feeling a little velmy about it you know could i ever be happy with velma could velma ever complete me ghost this is a meme this is a freaking meme. We're putting it next to the chicken. That's a meme. That's not a real person. That's not a real person. That's a ghost. They don't even have memories. They don't talk. This is this is a meme. This is listen, we got three memes here. Chicken, ghost, and uh and and mango. Those are the three memes. Those are those are not real, but these these are how I put them. Why is Velma in C tier? Velma might get moved down to F. I'm not gonna lie, human one. They're they're frustrating. And we already talked about how they'd be a narc and they'd like, they'd, they'd tell the police all about what you've done. And they're like, they're always saying chinkies. Oh, golly. They can't see without their glasses. Okay, let's let's watch like two seconds of, okay, okay. I'm gonna say, let's, let's give them a chance. Velma best clips. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a second, ch Velma's sass. Okay, that's, that's what I wanna hear. I wanna hear Velma be sassy. All right, let's see. Just cork it, you see this badge? Is that Patrick no Warburton? It came with the shirt. The first documented case of the curse of Crystal Cove is from 1630, 
when a garrison of Spanish conquistadors mysteriously vanished from the harbor. Oh, that is so scary. Where did they go? What part of the word mystery didn't you understand? And who could forget the terrifying stylings of... Space Kook, not me. Oh, how frightening. Oh, absolutely blood-curdling. Mm. Not really. We ain't got no rooms. But your sign in the window says vacancy. This is the different Velma. Okay, let's uh, let's let's look at let's look at like classic Velma, I guess. You grew up This is the Mystery Mystery Incorporated version, right? I'm going to say like classic. <laughs> is that a word that you could use for this? Uh there we go. Best of worst Velma. Everyone hates this version human one. Not me. I'm not saying me. I'm just saying everyone hates this Velma. Here we are everybody. Hillside Manor. And just in time for something. Look. See, Here's she's a dork. Room. I like that. But I don't know what to expect to find. She's a dork. She's not Neither a jerk. We, new, new version is but a jerk. She's it. just like a cute oh, dork. No. Hmm. I guess we'll have to look for clues. <laughs> then we'd better get back to looking for clues. We'll see about that. The shadow creature. It's disappeared. Where okay. The most grapes. So I was I was kind of thinking of the modern Velma, but the classic Velma is just dor dorky and kind of cute. I I do like classic Velma. How am I supposed to decide? Is this classic? I think it's classic. Right. Okay. We, we're just gonna say classic. If it's classic, she's just like a cute dork. She's just a cute dork. I'll I'll put it back in B. If if it's classic. If it was mystery, she'd be F. If she was, if, if Mystery Incorporated Velma is F tier, but I think the dorky, dorky cute. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But I still need a female in the F tier. We need to, we need to kick one of these whammons out. One of these waifus. It's, most of y'all submitted men, to be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. Most of y'all submitted males. Okay. I, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm going to say... You'd constantly, uh, you'd constantly be helping her get her glasses on her face, though. Yeah, but she's cute. Yeah, that the, the gla my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. And then Johnny Bravo's like, my glasses. I can't be seen without my glasses. Ghost is an F tier. That's a woman. This is not a woman. Also, I love that it's two ghosts. <laughs> There's a ghost, ghost hunter and ghost. Did she count? But she's dead. She's not real. She's not real. She's fake. I guess there's, there's just not there's just not enough bad there's too many good takes on here okay like just godlike 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 uh absolutely excellent almost s if I watch Bleach she might be an S okay I, I just I just cannot put them in an S with confidence I can't do it confidently but they may be an S tier character and then the, the Velma's pretty cute Velma's Velma's cute and dorky I think that this is good. I think that it's, uh, you know, I, I would have to watch some voice into this character, but they seem really annoying. They seem super annoying, tinkering, troubled, gunslinger, quiet. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just have to watch it. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to fry him, but I feel like frying him. I feel like frying him and put him in the garbage tier. I feel like doing it. I feel like doing it. <laughs> Percy is a little annoying. I know, right? Isn't he annoying? I don't know. Did you listen to Gr uh, Gria Tears' voice? I did. I did not love it. I did not hate it either. It was just middling to me, Alchemic. I don't know. Like y'all can y'all can be the decider. Let me let me play a little bit of this. Let me play a little a little bit of this voice. He sounds like a he sounds like a he sounds a little bit like a um a little bit of a uh, let me let let me go to Google really quick. Or uh, YouTube. Let's 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 YouTube YouTube the boy. I I I, I don't know. I don't know about this character. I'm not, I'm not sure about him. Uh whoa, that is not the name that I wanted. Hello. I want this name right here. That's what copy paste means. Hello? Hello? Good evening. All right. Pyramid head. <laughs> is, is that true? Are we going we're going with English, right? Speak to me. Speak to me, my cat boy. I want you to make me a promise. Be it across time or space, our promises have always connected us. And so I ask that you indulge me once more, that this won't be the end. 
<laughs> no response. Warwick, yo! <laughs> we were just... <laughs> Warwick, oh my god. Oh my god, how was your stream? Thank you so much. Hey, bring on the husbandos. <laughs> We've already got us betas on the list. What the heck, Warwick? How was your stream? Oh my gosh. You're so sweet. What the heck? Hi, everybody. What's up? I hope you enjoyed Warwick's stream. Hi there. My name's Earl Suds. I'm on a stream team with Warwick. We're both uh, totally human. Totally 100% human. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hope you had a great time over at Warwick's. Oi, could we get some... Could we get some shouts out for Warwick? Warwick is an amazing human being and is super duper cool. Actual streamer, real streamer, big. I will say Warwick is a big inspiration. I'm just saying, I'm just saying you're a very big inspiration. You're working super hard. Warwick streams are always really impressive. Always, always doing new stuff. I'm, I'm so impressed with you, honestly. Honestly, between you and Nessie, like I've got I've got so much so much encouragement to like make my stream even crazier. I'm just saying Warwick is super cool. Always, always a fun time over there. And dresses up and dresses up, which I love. I have a lot of outfits that I haven't cracked out in a while, but I'm starting to I'm starting to feel like it's about time again. But hi! Hi everybody! If you came over from Warwick and haven't met me, my name's Earl. I uh, I do not have a video to show you. <laughs> it's just me playing uh, playing ridiculous games. Today we're not even playing a game. We were supposed to play Cuphead today, but instead I decided to rank uh, all of Chats, Husbandos, and Waifus. <laughs> and this is this is the list so far. You can you can judge me if you want to, but you'd be wrong, obviously. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this list is looking pretty solid so far. I'm just saying, we're playing a game of husbandas and waifus. We may, you know, we might do a visual novel after this. I feel like w after all of this, I feel like we need a visual novel. <laughs> hey, thank you for the gifted sub, Yuki. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the for the gifted sub for Innocent Alex. That's so you generous. I appreciate it. You need to ask about Mango? Okay, now listen, Warwick, this this character, this what we were talking about is that is that Mango can hug you with all four of their arms. They can hug you with all four of their arms. They can cuddle you, they can cuddle you to sleep. Isn't it adorable? Hey! Yuki, thank you for the gifted sub for Nikki Rabbit. Oi! What's up with all that generosity? Oi! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. I hope that y'all enjoy the emotes and the ad-free viewing. Nice. Uh, the other Ted, thank you for the follow. What's up? I've seen you around. I've seen you around. What a coincidence. My sleep paralysis demon looks shockingly like Mango. <laughs> This is Mango in their ultimate form, all right? This is a fully evolved Mango. The regular regular Mango is just the baby form. This is whenever you get them to up to level 80. It's a level 80 Mango. Uh, you've been away. Well, welcome back, the other Ted. No no worries. No worries. People people go away sometimes. I don't know. What are y'all what are y'all thinking? Do I do I have do I have the uh, do I have all these characters numbers? I feel like okay, I'm putting this man down. This man's going down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a this is a character from Final Fantasy, and from what I've seen, I really like their voice, but they got kind of a stinky attitude. They got kind of a stinky attitude. I'm not, but they do have vampire vibes, so they go into the top. Is Okarine wrong? Innocent Alex, send me another uh, husbando or waifu. A submission. Oh, it's from over from Overwatch. A Yassified Reaper. Yo, Reaper's kind of scary, though. I don't, I don't know about Reaper. A Yassified Reaper. I don't think that I can add it to the list, but Innocent Alex, just for your knowledge, I put them in A. I put them in A, okay? I'm not going to put them on the list, but I appreciate the submission. And I almost forgot. Warwick, please go get yourself some food. Get the heck out of here. I know that it's late where, where Warwick lives, so you better... You better take care of yourself, okay? All right? All right? You better get some water and some food. You should not be hanging around in this. It's only 1 a.m. Have you eaten? Have you eaten, Warwick? I bet I bet you haven't. Have you been snacking? Chat, has he been snacking? People coming over from Warwick stream, have you been have you been snacking this whole time? Because I don't think so. I think you need some food. I think you need a waffle. That's exactly right. Thank you, thank you, King. Yes, yes, yes. A waffle would be perfect. I am a snack. Don't eat yourself! <laughs> don't 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 suck your thumb. Sucking your thumb does not count as nibbling on a snack. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, Kyo and Loki are only A tier? Listen, we were talking about Loki, like if this, again, what I said earlier is that if, if this was Tom Hiddleston, they'd be top. But this is not, this is not Tom Hiddleston. This is Loki. Loki, Loki is a little dubious, a little dubious. Can you really trust this man? He's literally, he's literally the god of deception. Also, Audrey, you want to hang out, but you're recovering from an injury. I hope that you, I hope that you get better soon. Audrey, thanks, thanks for coming over. Thanks for saying hi. Oi, oi, oi. But you get the heck out of here. You get the heck out of here and take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. He's by listen, I, I'm not I'm not ranking these characters based on if I think that they would be attracted to me. Okay? A lot of these characters are straight. A lot of these characters are straight. Uh so no, we're not we're not we're not having to go with that, thankfully. Otherwise, this would be a horrendous tier list. Put down all the straight straight people F tier. <laughs> Where was he? Where was he? Up here? Yeah. All the straight people go to F tier. Um <clears throat> Just kidding. Uh, you love Loki, but he's a bit overboard. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Loki would easily like throw me out a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Eat the straight. No, 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 no. No, I'm just kidding. Tom Hiddleston is S tier. Absolutely, no doubt about it. But the rest of this feels right. It feels it feels good. A lot of these characters I don't actually know, so I just did my very best. I did my very best, and do I have any other hot takes? Perf this is the perfect husbando. This is the perfect husbando right here. He's from House of the. He he's from uh, the House Husband Show. Visuals in. Thank you for the gifted sub. What the heck? Hey. Visuals Thank you so much, Zen. So generous. Oh, I. So generous to Kawei. Can we get some hype in the chat? No, 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 no. I missed click. He's on the bottom of the sea. Oh no. Oh no. See, like I haven't seen this Blackbeard show yet. I don't know if he's actually a stinker. Would I want him as a husband? I don't know. You didn't even add anything to the tier list. I could put McDonald's fries on here if you wanted. <laughs> Sorry, awkward. <laughs> What's up, awkward? How are you doing? How are you doing? I feel like it's right. Honestly, put Rack, put Rick in an A tier. No, Rick's not an A tier guy. Listen, Rick backstabs people all the time. Rick kills people all the time. Rick is is unhinged. He's unhinged, and he cares too much about his son. He cares too much about his son. He's too protective of his family. I don't like it. I don't like it! He's too protective. He gives me conservative vibes. He gives me conservative vibes, did they? I'm just saying, maybe. Listen, again, this is season one that I'm talking about. I haven't seen the rest of it. I have to go off my knowledge. I have to go off my knowledge. He's, yeah, look at him. He's got guns and stuff. He's not protective of his family at all. <gasps> He abandons them all the time? Okay, back up to A tier. Thank you. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. What about Maze Hughes? <gasps> Maze Hughes is such a sweet man. Aw. Human one, why didn't you submit Maze Hughes? Maze Hughes is such a such a good father. I Maze Hughes is very, very sweet. As a husbando. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, alright, alright. I'm thinking. Human One is kind of the only reason I talk in chat. Aw, Human One encouraged you to encourage you to talk to people in chat. That's awesome, Zippy. I'm so glad that you found a community that was cozy enough. That was cozy enough that you that you felt comfortable talking. That that is awesome. That is awesome. It's it's so much fun to to hang out on peep streams and just talk to them. Oi, oi! Oh my goodness, can I show y'all off the fan art that was made of me today? Oh my goodness. It was made, it was made by silver. And it's so, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Just look at this. Oh my God, it's Earl T. Earl T. I can't believe it. I can't believe that Earl T has been made into an official, into an official character. It's, it's an O, it's OT as Earl. It's Earl as OT. Amazing. They didn't even intend to. Isn't it so cool? It's so well done. I, I honestly almost want this to be my profile picture because it's so freaking cool. It's so good. And they said it was a sketch. They said it was a, they said he was a quick sketch. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Silver's not here right now, but they did such an amazing job. It's Sickly Silver. Sickly Silver. They're on my, they're on my Discord. I don't know if you're in my Discord, but the, it's, it's posted in the fan art. 
Uh, Sickly Silver. Yes, they're super cool. I met them through. Uh, I met them through Minecraft. They just raided me one day, and they. They're so freaking good at art. It's amazing. There's so many wonderful artists in this community. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I, I need to get money so that I can buy art from all of them. From all of them. Do I have any more hot takes? Any more hot takes? Hmm. hmm, hmm, hmm. I think. I think that we're good. I think that we're good. Honestly, I didn't have a lot of plans for after this tier list. Maybe we could come up with a game to play. It's only seven. This took me almost three hours to do. Kenny, I was gone for a while. Why is Karma in B tier? I submitted him, so I was just wondering if you got a chance to see the fan art. What? You did fan art of uh, this character? Of me? What? Where's the fan art of me? I don't see it. I don't see it. Did you post it in the fan art category? Did you? I don't see it in the fan art category. Is it somewhere else? You could always get devoured. What? <laughs> uh, can I DM you a sneak peek? Of course you can. Of course you can. Isn't it 2 a.m. with Warwick? Warwick said that it's 1 a.m. <laughs> but yes, I do need to get sleeps. Much love, Warwick. Thank you so much for trusting your community. Warwick. Warwick. Ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries. This is Warwick. Can we get one more shout out before they get out of here? Thank you for thank you for rating my chaotic mess of a stream. I super appreciate it. You just got back. Why is Lincoln S tier? Okay, listen, Orca. I have decided to change to change your submission. I am now ignoring your submission. Your submission of Twilight Princess Link has been ignored, and I am now thinking of this as Link in a Gerudo outfit in Breath of the Wild, because that is the best form of Link, and nobody will tell me otherwise. And for that reason alone, they are on S tier. If they were any other link, they would be in B, A, an A or B. But I am just going to round up to the best link. You're just, you're just wrong about what's the best link. That's all. That's all. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Uh, oi, oi, oi! Well, I step. Well, I, well, I say sleep. I'll probably stay up for a bit longer because you need to clean up your mess. <gasps> Have you been making a mess? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, messy human, messy human hours. Actually, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that I've just got boxes out and also maybe trash behind me. Maybe. So, uh, so you know what? You take care of that, will you? <laughs> I am currently dressed as a waffle. <laughs> Warwick, you're the best waffle. You're the best waffle. Uh, but I'm not wrong. Well, okay. Let's agree to disagree. Um, <laughs> the rest of this seems right. I don't know. Did somebody... Somebody was complaining about who got moved. You said, um, oh, Lincoln S tier. But also somebody was complaining about somebody that moved down. But I literally... Karma and B tier. I don't know who they are. This character here, this little, this little troublemaker, this little dubious creature. This character right here is like a delinquent and i just have not seen the show i just i cannot move them up to a tier they are standard standard troublemaker standard troublemaker i don't know how to feel about them okay don't know how to feel about them they're okay the fan arts in the art channel oh oh it's in the art channel <gasps> it's cute oh that's me that's me this is adorable look at me and the baby Look at cute squirrely. Meep, 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 meep. I love the the mouth is perfect. The mouth is perfect. There's no other mouth that should ever go on squirrel. This is the perfect squirrel face. <laughs> the little colon three. Colon three baby. Baby. I wish that squirrel was that big. Actually, squirrel is quite small. Squirrel is just a little creature. Beep, beep. Little baby. Little baby. This was made by Lemon Berry. I love her so much. I love this baby. Hello? <laughs> Have y'all been doing a tier list? Y'all smell disgusting. Very sweaty! Very sweaty! Have y'all been looking at all the pictures of the hot characters that I've been showing off and getting sweaty? Unbelievable. Squirrel is very strong. The way that the way that Anne draws them, very strong. What <laughs> And sent me a picture of Squirrel earlier that is absolutely heinous. It is. <laughs> this is Squirrel. <laughs> ah! Your ace? Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me, Zippy. Oi, oi, oi. We got some we got some ace friends in the chat. 
We got some ace friends in the chat. Okay, Squirrel now has a new opinion. Except for Zippy and Ann and all other ace people, y'all smell great. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Squirrel, squirrel can correct themselves. Okay, so sometimes squirrel's wrong, <laughs> but but will correct themselves. Let me see. <laughs> Y'all smell great. Uh, let me see, butter squirrel. What is that? <laughs> this needs to be a pillowcase. No, that a pillowcase. No, no, no. Not the not the squirrel sleeping pillow. No. You want this? You want this hunk of squirrel? You want this hunk of squirrel? <laughs> As a pillowcase? Oh no. I don't know what it is and I'm not Googling it. <laughs> Actually, I heard it. I heard it recently, Alchemic. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that Felix mentioned that phrase. Is that Anne's art? It is! <laughs> I was just showing off a little bit of fan art just because, I mean, I thought that I could I thought that I could show some of it off. Y'all's art uh, gives me life, gives me absolute life. And lemonberry, and I've been I've been puppeting around lemonberry's little creature that they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon, I hope that you're doing good. What's up? We've been doing a we've been doing a tier list. We've been doing a tier list. I don't think that you submitted any characters to it, but I think I think that we're done. I think that we're done. It looks right. I, I still, I'll tell you what though, because of this tier list that y'all made, I want to watch Ancient Magus Bride, Mushishi, House Husband, play the Zero Games, play Doki Doki Literature Club. I want to watch OKKO. I, wa I want to watch, uh, I want to watch Yuri on Ice. I want to watch Fruits Basket. Uh, I want to, actually, nah, the rest of these I don't care about. <laughs> A lot of a lot of the top tier ones have made me really want to really want me to do more. We get that screenshot for Twitter. <laughs> can I save this as a screenshot? Like, can I just like download it or save it and then post it? I could I could post this as a tweet. Is this is this my first tweet in like four days? Um, you said, have you have you watched Assassination Classroom? I have watched part of it. I watched part of it and I enjoyed it, but it didn't it didn't stand out to me a super lot, honestly. But I also watched it as a kid. Maybe I would enjoy it more. Maybe I would uh, get more nuance from it. But it was it was good. But there's so many good shows out there. It's hard for me to pick. I don't have a lot of time to watch shows, to be honest. Uh, the Walking Dead gets insanely good after season three. Really. Really, Formulando? I don't think I've ever heard that take. I mean, I will literally not argue with you because I literally do not know. But, and by literally, I mean not metaphorically. Um, yeah, I, d I did not, I did, I've not heard that take. I've heard that people dislike it the further it goes on. I've heard that fans dislike it more and more as time goes on, but I haven't watched it, so I don't really have an opinion. Uh, doing tweets in this economy? Do you know how much it costs to do tweets these days? Ancient Magus Bride is my favorite. You love it so much. It has season two, two three. No, not more episodes. I wish it was just 12. I wish it was just 12. I like animes that are 12 episodes. Watch Assassination Classroom. It's very good. I love that one. It's very nostalgic. Mm, yeah, it does. It does seem like a lot of people have nostalgia for that show. And I was enjoying it. It seemed it seemed like a lot of fun. It was like death game mixed with school life, which is which is fun. I like both of those genres and they mix them together and it's interesting. <laughs> Aw, Zippy! No, you're lovely. How dare. Zippy, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that, that you're finding people on the internet that are being sweet to you. The internet is a, is a stinky place sometimes, and real life is a stinky place, but there's tons of people that will love you and accept you for who you are. So I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you found Human One. You said, you said that you hang out with Human One, right? Human One and OT are some of the most wholesome people that I've ever met. I honestly, honestly, I want to visit them so bad. So bad. Because they're, they just seem like such sweet people. Uh, the Devil is a Part Timer. Ooh, I, yeah, I want to watch that too. There's there's so many good shows out there. I I am I'm gonna be just I'm never gonna finish any of these. I'll never finish any of these shows. There's too many. You posted a character in the art channel that's one of your characters from your stationary business and a squirrel named Fred. You have a you have your own squirrel, <laughs> your own version of squirrel. Oh, 
That's so cute. Can I show this off, Visual Sin? That's so cute. I love it. I love it. It looks like a cat. Is this a squirrel? It's so adorable. Uh, you want to visit so many online peeps? Someday, Kim, when the world is normal again, then we shall be able to see our friends. But today is not that day. Made in Abyss has a new season dropping. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that on uh, on on Mal, on my anime list. I haven't seen the first one, but man, the art in that show is beautiful. It's so beautiful. In fact, let me look it up. I want y'all to see how beautiful this art is. Made in Abyss, the art style is just, oh, it's so clean. It's so clean. It's so pretty, and the character designs are so cute. Let me see, let me see. They're so cute! Look at them! They love each other! They're adorable! And it's so soft! The shading is so soft in this show. What the heck? Or in the game? It's a game and a show, right? They're adorable! Oh, she's a strawberry cat. Oh, you got Fred. <laughs> Fred's the squirrel. I want to show the strawberry cat. Oi, if y'all want to see the strawberry cat, just go to our Discord. Our Discord is for posting art that you make, uh, for posting pe pets that you have that are adorable, for posting any food that you make. We got a meme channel. We got a positive vibe channel, fan art channel. And that's also where you can uh, submit for the next tier list. I think that the next tier list is going to be rating streamers that I know. But I don't, I don't think that I'll need to accept submissions for that, though. I don't think I need a, uh, submissions because I'll, I'll be picking people that I know. Be picking people. You can show her. I want the. I want to sucker them on the Discord. <laughs> I'm trying to sucker people on the Discord. Ooh, Kim, that looks so good. That looks like some of your most complicated work. Kim, that line art's looking so clean. You've really been improving. You've really been improving. Your art is just getting better and better. I I remember art that you used to that you used to post, Kim. Being a lot more simple, being a lot more simple, a lot more, it's still adorable, still adorable, but now it's its getting so much more complicated and it's so much better. I'm impressed, Kim. I'm impressed. You should you should see the progress in your art and know that it's getting better. Kodak Zach, what's up? You just made it here. Now, now you can see the real tier list. The real tier list. And by the way, I might literally adjust this before I put it on Twitter. I need some time. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. After the stream, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to hang out with my roommates for a little bit. I'm going to maybe eat like a snack, like an apple, and then I'm going to relook at this list and I'm going to bring out the hottest takes that I have because I am not feeling any hot takes at the moment. Uh, my sassiness level is about, I'd say like 60% right now. I need extra sass, and then I'll post this on Twitter, and you can see my really hot takes that I was just too shy to tell you. Tee -hee. Too shy to roast your characters live. My bad. Rick actually went to F tier. Or did he? I just have to check my Twitter later. Uh, then Salty came in with Salt, and I found you. Oh, Salty's so sweet. We love Salty. Salty is probably my num... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just teasing for you, Lando. Maybe. Uh, by the way, I have some good news. You got a higher level job. Hey, welcome back, Rosera. Oi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And you got a new job. Oh, lots of new jobs around here. I'm so glad for y'all. I'm so glad for y'all. This is a tough market to be in. I'm so glad that peeps are getting their jobs. Kenny, you say you have all these channels, but where's TV shows and movie recommendations? Hmm. Well, you know, I didn't say that I had one of those, did I, Awkward? Hmm. <laughs> It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Would y'all would y'all want a TV show and movie one? Kenny, raise your hands. Why? What are you? F Felix, are you? Felix, are you? I don't know about you, Felix. <laughs> no, no, Felix. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid, Felix. You're not gonna trick me. Dang it, Felix. Don't mind me. Just gonna go put on a coat. Felix is here. Um, <laughs> what's up, Felix? Can we get a shout out for Felix, please? The most, uh, the most perverted streamer that I watch, right? I think. I think the most pervert. Yeah. Yeah. The the biggest pervert that I watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess I'm thinking about everybody else. Yeah. No. Felix is number one. Number one. <laughs> 
<laughs> so work with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yay! I'm number one. Thank you for the shout out. Fantastic. <laughs> Amazing. Felix is uh is a very a very dubious little creature. Very much troublemaker. I use Felix's emotes literally everywhere, and uh, they are very funny. They're very funny, and they have a cute voice. You should check them out. Um, now we also love the Earl. Hey, Zippy. I'm so, I'm so glad that you found all these nice places to hang out on the internet. You got so many, so many sneaky places to hide. Perfect. Little safe spots. Uh, Kim, you said no, but I've seen improvement over, uh, no, I have been, oh, you have been seeing your improvement in art. You're actually, you're happy to actually love your own art again. Aw, that's so sweet, Kim. That's so sweet. I'm so I'm so happy to hear that. That's that's really good. I I feel the same way about my art to be honest. I I do have these little spurts, these little these little times that I'll get like super super arty where I'll just want to like draw a lot and whenever I draw, a lot of the time I hate it. If I'm being honest, a lot of the time I hate the art that I'm making. I think that it looks bad. I compare it with other art that I look at. And I just just feel bad, but there's these little times. There's these little times that I'll draw something and I'm just like, whoa, did I draw this? How did I draw this? It's normally whenever I take a lot of time. Normally, I just need a lot more time for my art. And I, because, because I'm not practiced. I'm not practiced, so I need to work more and like refine more and keep adjusting it. Uh, but yeah, there, there are times where I'm just like, that doesn't even look like something that I drew. Like. <laughs> It makes me disassociate it with me, uh, but uh, definitely, definitely something that I wanna, I wanna practice more. I wanna, I wanna draw more things. Uh, I love your art. Can you just look at my Discord? Aw, <laughs> Nesimi does have a doodle that I made on there. <laughs> Aw, you love the Moogle I drew? Yeah, the doodles. Some of the doodles are really cute. I do, I do like some of the doodles. Doodles are very simple though. They're very, they're very simple, very simple shapes. Uh, like you keep uh, you keep around your first art piece of the click OT and human one just to see how far I came Kim stop crying. You're making my salt. all. you're making my rug all salty Just kidding. I'm, I'm so glad that you've seen improvement. I've seen listen every artist that I know if I look at their their original artwork I'm like sheesh sheesh what an improvement, but I'd still, I'd still encourage that child. I'd, I'd encourage, I'd encourage uh, off of, off of art that I'm just like, it's not the best, but you know what? You see a lot of, you see a lot of potential. There's always just limitless potential with people's art. Um, Visuals in. You posted Fred. You've been looking. Uh, you feel you've been the same, hating your art for years. But after drawing little characters from concepts, there's been so much improvement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's always it. It really is like. I remember I was talking to my therapist about it, and they were like, um, they were saying, don't say that you want to do, don't say that you want to get better at art. Don't say that you want to get better at drawing. Say that you want to draw more, because that is really what you need to do. What you, what, if you want to draw, draw, because that's how you get good at art. Like, don't, don't be just like, I want to have a skill. I want to have a skill that I can just magically do anytime. No, it's about you want to draw more then, because that's the only way to get good at art. Uh, let me see, let me see. You try to avoid comparing stuff? Yeah, that's that's much healthier, Felix. It is tricky with the internet. It is tricky. I, I find myself comparing my own stream to other streamers all the time because I have to I have to raid people. I have to I have to say hi to people. I get raided by people and I check out their streams, and it is just impossible. It is almost impossible to not compare yourself to others. I'm working on it. <laughs> am I your husband yet? Am I your last tier? Felix, I am going to do I am gonna do a a streamer tier list and you will be on it somewhere you'll be on it somewhere somewhere but definitely definitely felix will be on there definitely human one definitely i mean like all i have so many friends i have so many friends uh wait how can you put danny phantom danny phantom is a little whiny boy he is whiny he is he is he's ugh, yucky we watched some we watched some clips of him felix Mm -mm. Danny Phantom is whiny, and his his girlfriend is way better. His girlfriend is way better. He's like, oh man, you made me look bad in front of my friends. Uh, don't compare yourself to others. That's that's true, Zippy. You really shouldn't. You really shouldn't. It's not it's not very useful. It's not very useful. It's not a useful thing to be doing. You don't need to look at other people to be deciding what you are. 
You should be proud of yourself all by yourself. There's no comparison because the other thing that happens weird with, um, the thing that always happens whenever you compare yourself to other people or other streams or stuff like that is that you're always cherry picking. You're always cherry picking a certain thing that you want that that person has. You're always like, well, I wish that I had this thing or this skill or, or this, this like, uh, I don't know, hobby, this, th this skill, this hobby, this, this, uh, part of their personality. It's always cherry picking. You never, you never look at somebody and want to actually be them because then you'd have all their problems too. It's totally, it's totally cheating and life does not work that way. You don't get to cherry pick good things. Good things are always, always come with bad things. It's always, it's always just a big mixture, big pot. And, uh, you can't, you can't be cherry picking good things that you see in other people. Uh, you don't mind comparing yourself to others because you're always better. Yeah, Dai, I mean, to be true, you're you're pretty much the best. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, who's going to bed? Is Anne going to sleep? Hey, Anne, we'll see you later. Ooh. <laughs> Anne, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for your beautiful art, as always. As always, I, I hope that you had a wonderful evening. Get yourself some sleep and pet your, pet your buns for me. Pat those buns for me. And Midoriel, I didn't say hi to you directly, but hello there. Hello there. Uh, I I like how I don't need to compare myself to others to be. <laughs> Nesami, Nesami, if there's things that you want to change in your life, I totally understand. We've all got we've all got improvements that we can make. But don't put too much pressure on yourself now. Don't be putting too much pressure on yourself. A lot of stuff just takes time, to be honest. A lot of stuff just takes, it takes time and mistakes, and that's just how it is. That's just how it is. You can't, you can't speed run life. Not, not really, anyway. Uh, <laughs> shaking my head. Can you not see me calling him an S tier friend? Maybe he's an A tier after all. <laughs> just because I don't read every message <laughs> makes me an A tier friend. I mean, that's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. That's a passing grade. That's like a, that's like a 90, right? It's like a 90, 80. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> and you don't need to tear your friends. Uh, although I was just saying that I was going to do that. <laughs> and thank you for the sweet words. As always, how dare you now get out of here or else you used to compare yourself to others. But then I realized that I'm good at art too, just in your own way. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's got their own little, their own little skill sets and humans are so complicated there's always there's always stuff that you'll be good at uh that you'll be better at other people at that you'll be worse at other people it's always like that you love uh followers yes every everyone here is is pretty amazing zippy honestly honestly everybody's here is so sweet is so sweet and i've met a lot of these people uh in real life i've, I've met um at least 10 people I think I've met 10, 10 people in real life and like hung out with them or got a coffee or visited them and they're they're all awesome. They're all awesome. I actually I've never had a bad experience with anybody that uh, that's in this chat. Honestly, I've, I haven't had a single one. There was a few that I was nervous about. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I was nervous, but but that nervousness was not was not founded well. European tour win? I would love to, but I mean, I don't, oh, this is a good time for me to announce that I am very likely not going to TwitchCon. Uh, I have already, I've already canceled, I've already canceled my plans. Uh, I have not bought, I have not bought my ticket. I don't think I'm going. It's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. It's, it's not worth the risk of getting sick. It's not worth the time that I'd have to take off. We're gonna be doing some. We're gonna be doing a lot of fun things in October, like a lot of spooky games and a lot of Halloween events. And I'll have this whole place looking spooky, and I'll get to wear outfits. I don't think that it's worth it. It's not, and it's doubly not worth. I, I would be away for a long time. I'd have to spend like a thousand dollars to go. I would have to, um, and then if I get sick, then I'm off even more. And I just don't wanna. I just don't wanna lose that time. And it's not worth it. It's too risky. It's too risky. So I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking negatory on TwitchCon. I've already canceled most of my uh, <laughs> most of my plans. Yo, girl who bakes. Thank you for continuing your sub. Oi, oi, oi! I appreciate it. Oi, 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 oi! The girl who bakes. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, almost knocked over my water. I was so excited to see you, girl who bakes. How are you doing? What's up, Erica? Oi, oi, oi! 
Uh, Arrow Simp somehow. Sleepy. Good night, Earl. Oh, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Arrow, thanks, thanks for being here. I hope I didn't miss you. Hope I didn't miss you. You need a UK tour eventually, but you're Southern US. I actually am too. I'm in Texas. I am in Texas. You do not need to tell your location, and it's probably not a great idea to tell too much about your location. So be, be safe. Be safe. But Texas is a big state, so <laughs> it's fine. It, even if I say the city that I'm in, it's it's huge. You can refund your... You're in Texas too? Wow. Hey, we're neighbors. We're neighbors, eh, Zippy? Hey, hey, hey. We're in the stinkiest state in the union. <clears throat> I mean, did I say that? I'm sorry. I meant... um, I meant... Texas is great. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but it is it is cool to be nearby so many cool people. There are lots of cool people in Texas, but it is the worst state. Um, the worst state, but lots of lots of really nice people here. Lots of really good people that I love a lot here. So definitely, definitely not picking on anybody from Texas. Um, you can refund your flight. You can put that money towards something more fun, like flying out to Elves. Exactly, exactly, Die. Thankfully, did not buy a flight. Um, but yeah, it was, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. We could do, we could do, I could buy things for the stream for that money. I could go on a visit somewhere else for that money. Like, it's, it's, it's just too much. I could even buy a plane ticket to Norway. There's a lot of states battling it out for the worst currently. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Aren't flights super expensive? They they're a little bit they're a little bit expensive. Yeah, it it is really dependent on where you go, Felix. It's where you go at what time from where. It's very odd. Like there was um, whenever we went to Vegas, uh, my boyfriend in Florida was gonna fly from Florida to Vegas, but it was way more expensive to fly from Florida to Vegas than Florida to Texas. So he flew to Texas. And then we drove to, to Las Vegas <laughs> because the flight was unthinkably expensive just just during that time. But it really it really does matter where you're flying out of, where you're going to, and and what time it is. Like if there's if there's an event like TwitchCon's making things more expensive. But yeah, flights are flights are very stinky. Uh, from my desk to my toilet, you don't have to tell me where you are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't blame you for not going to TwitchCon. Yeah, Kim, did you did you go to the actual TwitchCon in um in uh? Why am I saying? Why am I thinking New Braunfels? That's in Texas, <laughs> Amsterdam. Did you go? Did you go to the actual convention, or did you did you stay out of it? Because I think that Elfie was saying that they got sick and they didn't even go to the con. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, no, honestly, I'm just not the kind of person that picks on people for their own decisions. It's absolutely people's decision if they want to take that risk. Um, I personally have lots of other considerations other than getting sick, uh, including, I mean, not including, but I I've also gotten COVID before and I really don't want to get it again. So, I mean, if people want to go, they can go. That's, that's totally, that's totally their, uh, that's totally their decision, so... I'm not the kind of person that's like, I'm not going so nobody should. It's just, it's just that uh, it's not worth it for me. That's near Austin, sweetie. It's true. It also has an amazing water park that I love. New Braunfels has a place called Schlitterbahn. Schlitterbahn, which is a, uh, it is a ger German owned or at least like German based water park. And the coolest thing about that water park is that they have slides that are using the natural water from the river. And some of the slides are really, really long. Like they take like 20 minutes to go through the slide. Like. It's basically like riding on a little custom made river that has like lots of twists and turns and lots of lots of cool stuff that you go through like tunnels and things. But it's all it's all like relatively controlled but huge. Like they aren't they aren't your average water slide even though they have those too. They have some like world record water slides on the other side of the park. It's so big that you have to take a bus between the two parts of the park. And on the modern side, they also have the world's biggest uh, river rapids, which are wild. Everybody rides in their own little tube. And it's so, it's, the waves are so giant. They'll like knock you over. It's so much fun. It's so fun. Uh, you want a custom made river? I want a custom made river in my backyard. How do I get one of those? Shucks. Uh... <laughs> Netherlands? Oh, yeah. Did Kim... Uh, you said you went both days, but you didn't get sick. Wow. Nice. That's... Well, that's good anyway, Kim. I'm sorry that you had... Uh, I'm sorry that you had issues, though. I'm 
Sorry that you had issues with uh, other things, but I'm glad that you didn't get sick. That's good though. We're just looking for water out here. That's what I'm thinking because my, um, the, the pool, the pool at my, um, what's it called? The apartment, it's been closed for forever. It's been, it's been closed like 24 seven since we moved here. And I'm just like, please, it is the hottest time of the year. It is how hot? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, let me, let me check. It's a hundred degrees right now. It's a hundred degrees at 8 p.m. Please, please, we're frying out here. I need, I need to swim. I need to swim. It's the only way. It'll mess up my hair, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't care. So do we need to, now wait a minute. We're good with this tier list, right? Nobody's got any complaints. Cause I think, yeah, I think we're gonna let this one stew. We're gonna let this one stew. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let my hatred flow back. I'm gonna let my sassiness flow back flow back. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna come back with some hot takes uh, and post this to Twitter. Do I do I have a link to my Twitter? Cause um, it's not something that I've pushed a lot recently. But uh, I've been getting on Twitter a lot more recently and been having some fun and posting some stuff. So if you want to follow my Twitter, you're more than welcome to. You know what? I'd be super thankful if you did it because I need people to be looking at my weird, my weird takes and my bad jokes. Uh, you have a Twitter? It's uh, it's been largely inactive, but I've been using it more. I've been using it more. I don't. Oh, I know that you do, Kim. Kim's Kim's always there. Kim's got good tw tweets as well. You'll be closer to Fort Worth, but even that's far off. You'd be closer with Fort Worth? Hmm? Oh, I'm in, um, I'm in Dallas. I'm in the Dallas area, yes. Oh, did, did, did I say where I was? Yeah, I'm, I'm like in Dallas. Those kids were not allowed to out today during recess, so you, you had to put them in the multi-purpose room. Oh yeah, it's been super spicy. California has kind of miserable, kind of miserable weather as well, unfortunately. I wish that, I wish that y'all's weather was as good as advertised so that you wouldn't be on fire. Oh. Uh, yeah, you like you 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 like followed me back on Twitter. What? I'm pretty sure I did, didn't I? I'm pretty sure that I did. Are you about to call me out for not following you back, Kim? Not not while others are watching. I'll be exposed. I'll be exposed for the phony that I am. <laughs> what is this tier? Let me. These are all characters that have been submitted by by people in the chat. These are all of y'all's takes for best husbandos and waifus. Okay, these are. Velm upgraded to B tier. We changed it, Innocent Alex, because Human One pointed out that the Velma that I was thinking of is not the only Velma. I was only thinking of the Mystery Incorporated Velma. Mystery Incorporated Velma is F tier, 100%. She's got an awful voice. She's sassy in the worst sort of way. She's just, she's she's words that I can't say. She's words that I shouldn't say on a PG-13 stream. Um, but the original version of her is like kind of dorky, kind of just just being cute. She's just a cute character. She's just like, whoops. She. I also like her design back then better too. It's uh, she's actually quite sweet. So that's so I put I put her in the B just because this is classic. But again, like some versions of Velma are are literally like cheese graters to the ears. Uh, XP. <laughs> XP, XP waste, please. Ah, that is that is very funny for you. <laughs> Just the way you put that. Listen, she's in B. She's in B, okay? She doesn't really for me either, but you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> Excuse me, that gangster has bando. Good choice. He's number one. He's the perfect version of a Hezbando. He stays at home. He's edgy. He's got good, he's got a good like dark history. He's overly serious, but also fun. And then the best uh, waifu that I could, that I could find in this list is from a video game called, uh, well, it's, there's, there's like three of them, but they're the, uh, the zero, zero something, zero games, zero, zero escape. I can't remember. I'll think of it a sip. I actually haven't had a sip like this whole stream. I don't think. Cutest Mystery Inc. Uh, member is Shaggy? What, of the like four or five that there are? Is that true? Shaggy's the cutest. Yeah, where's the, oh, this is just Mystery Incorporate. Do you mean like the actual show or do you mean Mystery Inc. like the, the do you mean the like version of the show? Like the later one? He's the cutest one? Is that true?
999, uh, yeah, nine rooms, nine doors, nine, nine ways to die or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she seems, the thing that I really like about this character is that she's really wholesome and that she can be like a little bit of a doormat, but apparently she's got way more to her character and she just hides it strategically. Like she actually uh, does exactly what she wants to. And if anything can be like a little manipulative sometimes, like she she's totally doing what she wants to. And I like that. I like that empowered character. You know, I like a little bit. Of, I like a little bit of that empowerment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, Jackson, what's up? How are you doing? We we just raided these characters and we're just hanging out right now. Nine hours, nine people, nine doors. Yeah, I think you're right, Lemmy. You would know. You would know. You're a real gamer. Uh, I'm waiting to hear if you dislike. What is that? Should I should I be should I be showing whatever that is? I, I don't know what that is. Let me look let me look this up. Uh oh, is this is the character from uh yeah. I, I've seen this I've seen a little bit of this show, the Inuyasha. I that's that's a little before my time to be honest. I never got to watch Inuyasha as I was like that that seems like a great show that people would like watch first. Uh, like, um, Inuyasha and, um, what's the magical girl anime? I literally have a puzzle right there. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon and Inuyasha seem like a lot of people's first animes. And it, those, those just, uh, they're just before my time. I never, I never got to watch television as a kid because my, my mom didn't pay for it. Because <laughs> my family didn't pay for it. So I haven't seen the show, but it looks, I love the designs. I love the designs. I, I think I'd love this show. Are they the one with the cat ears? Cause I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, I, I do, I do love some, some Neko Mimi. Kyo is definitely a husbando that has anger issues. Cat boy can beat down anybody who ticks him off. Dang. Your first, your first anime was Gundam Wing. Ooh, a little bit of, a little bit of mecha anime. Sounds like mecha. I mean, it's Gundam. Gundam, uh, my first anime uh, a little bit of a weird, a little bit of a weird situation, but I didn't watch any anime until I was, I think 14, 14. I was in high school. I was in high school just barely. And some friends of mine were just like, have you seen the show Attack on Titan? And I was like, what the heck are you talking about? And it was whenever it had just come out, there was like one episode out and they were like, have you seen the show? And I was just like, I don't really watch a lot of TV. I, I don't watch shows. I only watch movies. And they were like, you gotta watch this show. It's crazy. And I was like, all right, I'll, I guess I'll check it out. I'll check it out. And I freaking loved it. I loved it. And then I immediately watched, um, I watched Full Metal Alchemist. And then I immediately after that watched, um, wasn't Death Note. I watched Sword Art Online and then Death Note and then Steins Gate and then Kill a Kill. And it's just... It's just gone on from there. Jackson, you see my tattoo, right? It's sitting right here. I've got a tattoo of it. Did you not notice? Arr. Did you not see? Hello? It's right here. <laughs> it's my favorite show. It's my favorite show. Of course I gotta put it on my arm. I, I've been wanting to get some more tattoos recently though. I wanna get some more anime tattoos. There's an artist that's visiting Texas and uh, I just need to save up money and get some more. I need to save up money and get some more, some more anime tattoos. Some really colorful ones. I need some pink ones. I think pink is not the best color. Red, red and black stay really well. I think, uh, I don't, don't know about blue. I know that white's really painful. There's, there's like each, each different color of a tattoo. It, it reacts differently. It hurts differently. Uh, oh my god, Kenny Japan is releasing some awesome FMA merch for the anniversary. What? You really want the limited edition pocket watch? But money, I know, right? I would buy everything, Lemmy. I'd buy it all. But money, but rent. Oh, bother. I've got a lot of rent to pay, but I love Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, get some card cap for Sakura pink dress tattoo. Dang. Candid Caleb. I, I actually had... I actually had a figure of that character, but I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. It's somewhere around here. It's somewhere around here. What's up, Caleb? How are you doing? I want to get I what I was going to get. And I literally, I was, I, there was an anime tattoo artist that was close by when I had like some extra money and I was ready for a tattoo, but their books closed in, in less than five minutes. And I took time to make sure that I wrote like a good, a good message. Cause I know that tattoo artists, like they need a lot of detail. 
so that they can figure out how big it's going to be, where it's going to be, what character, stuff like that. So I was trying to be a good customer, but it was closed. Like, and they didn't even have a page to let you get ready or anything. But I was going to get Megamine because Megamine's probably my favorite anime character. Even though FMA is my favorite show, Megamine's my favorite character, I'm pretty sure. So it was it was either going to be Zero Two or Megamine. It was going to be one of those two because I love their aesthetics. I don't... It doesn't need to be my favorite show to be a tattoo. Like, it doesn't have to be my favorite. I just want... I just want really pretty art. I want really good art. You want to get a tattoo from Hell Girl, but needles scare me. Needles are somewhat scary. I actually don't love needles too much, Lemmy. Uh, but tattooing... Tattooing, it doesn't feel like a needle. It doesn't... It doesn't feel good. <laughs> it feels very bad. But it doesn't... It doesn't give you any sensation like a needle. Because it really isn't... It, have you seen slow motion of, of tattooing? It's very interesting. But it's just like... It basically looks like a relatively flat bunch of little, like, spikes. And they just go like, boop, boop, boop. They don't... It, it doesn't stab you. They just kind of poke at the skin. They just go... Boop, 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 boop. It just It's just kind of pushing it. Uh, your tattoo tickled? Okay, now listen. Now, now let me, uh, these, these experiences that you're hearing right now are not all standard. Mine hurt a lot. Mine hurt a lot, and it took eight hours. So, it is, it is a little painful. It is definitely painful. It does, but it, again, it doesn't feel like a needle. To me, see, like, all of this, they did, they did the line art. The line art did not hurt much. Um, and then they started doing the other thing that's weird about tattoos is that whenever they're whenever they're poking in a, in specific spots, it makes wrong areas hurt. Like it, it, they can do like stuff in the middle of the arm and it hurts in your armpit. And if you like close your eyes, you'll think they're tattooing your armpit because your nerves are really weird. <laughs> they're very strange. So like you can you can feel different things in different parts of the body. <laughs> it's it's very odd. But um the uh, yeah, so they did the line art, and then the coloring started to hurt. They did white on this glove, that hurt. Then they filled in this black, that hurt. But the thing that hurt the most and the last thing that they did was the red inside of the black. So like this, this skin had already been, had already been worked over three times because it already had line, shade, and then they did more lines in the middle. And oh my God, it hurt a lot. It hurt a lot. It had also been eight hours. <laughs> it'd been eight hours in a chair. And I will not lie. I could not even speak. I was just, I was just sitting there like gritting, just gritting. Because I knew that it was almost done, and it was totally worth it. But uh, it did, it did hurt. It felt like I don't want to, I don't want to describe it too, too, uh, too frighteningly. But it, it definitely doesn't feel like a needle. It feels like a knife. It feels like a knife sliding along your skin. That's, that's what it feels like to me. It does, it does not feel like getting poked. It feels like getting like stabbed like not not stabbed but like a blade run across your skin it's, it's very weird uh but oh, oh, oh what's up monster hey did you see this list oh monster how are you doing how are you doing monster didn't submit any husbandos or waifus if you tell me who it is though i'll put it on the list in my brain uh, color over color kills. You can't deal with dot work. Oh, yeah, it hurts. It hurts, but it's worth it. It's it's a hundred percent worth it. I love my tattoo so much, and I only want more. Like the I I feel like once you get a tattoo, you're gonna want more. Like they just they're kind of addictive. They're kind of they they have an addictive nature to them, and they've been bothering me. They've been it's been bothering me because I want more. I want more, but it's just it's just a little expensive. Uh, you said nerves are wacky. They are. They are indeed. The one that you had on your rib hurt. Ah, that makes sense, Zippy. I've heard that that's a really painful spot. Mine mine was in one of the least painful spots. Arms, arms, forearm, legs, thighs. Those are supposed to be the least painful. And I think some parts on the chest, I'm not sure. But this is this is like baby mode, thankfully. I think shoulder actually hurts a little less, but I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's, it is a little bit different for everybody. So there's, there's, no, there's no one sure way. Oh yeah, you're obsessed for life now. Ah! I mean, I, <laughs> Jackson, you take naps during your tattoos. I mean, just don't fall off the table. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> I don't want to scare you because it didn't feel like a needle. It felt like I was being stabbed. 
<laughs> I misspoke, Nezumi. I misspoke. It feels like it feels like you're being sliced or cut. That should be the word. You have three design pieces that you've been waiting to get. Waiting for money or artist issues. Oh, I see. They are an investment. That's true. Yeah, tattoos are just a, a, an investment. I'll tell you what's next, though. Tell you what's next. Before a tattoo. Before a tattoo, I'm thinking... I'm thinking about getting my, my uh, nose pierced. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about a, um, about a septum piercing. That's, I, that's, I've been thinking about it for a while and I want to sucker my roommate into getting one with me, but we'll see, we'll see if I can sucker him into it. I may wait until I can get him to come, uh, with me. Just, just for his benefit, not for me. For him, because he's scared to get it. Me, I've, I've already gotten my nose pierced twice. It just fell out <laughs> because I'm so clumsy. Because <laughs> I'm so dumb. Because I went to bed with the wrong ring in and it just, just fell out. <laughs> so dumb. See, what I've heard is that for bisexuals and pansexuals, um, actually getting a septum ring really helps you ground to the earth. Like, really helps you keep your... Keep keep yourself on the ground because otherwise it is it is widely known that bisexuals and pan people will float away unfortunately because because there's nothing left holding them to this earth so hopefully that will help weigh me down and keep me safe so that's that's what i'm thinking uh you're getting ready to head to work have a great rest of your day hey much love lemmy oi 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 thanks for hanging out let me such a quick cute sweet person lemmy do you stream I know that you're leaving, but if only Lemmy streamed, if only Lemmy streamed, then I could, then I could watch Brad and Lemmy at the same time. Crap, I better tie myself down somewhere. You better, you better, you better stay indoors. Don't go outside. If you're seeing the sky, you might as well say goodbye because you're floating away. Well, you've just fully convinced me. <laughs> you used to stream, but you're getting used to your new work schedule. Ah, oh, Lemmy, stop being cute. Stop it. Stop it! You are under arrest. You're under arrest for acting too cute. Wee woo, wee woo. Oi, oi. But yeah, once once you get used to your new work schedule, I would love to watch some Lemmy streams. Oi, oi, oi. But yes, you need to get ready for work. So get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here or else. Oi, is Brad still here? I edited, I edited some more audio that I'm still thinking about giving y'all. Oh no, I forgot that I saved this piece of audio. These are so horrible. I really don't know how audio works on streams anymore. Like there's there's a lot of sound effects that I want to give y'all power to use, but I can't think of scenarios where you'd ever use it. I just find it hilarious. Uh, it's chaotic right now because you're getting ready to open. It's almost time. It's almost time. You've seen a lip piercing ring that has a chain that goes to a ring piercing in the ear and it's so cool. Ooh. I, something that I would also like is some, some rings that go up as well. Some rings that like go, uh, upward onto the ear, like either septum or like an industrial piercing. That would be dope. Industrial is the one that has a bar, right? Between, between two parts of your, uh, car cartilage, not, not cartilage, top, top of your, top of your ear. Don't. Don't know what it's called. Don't know what it's called, but I like it. I think it's really cool. I think the bar is really cool and like piercings up the ear are really cool. Uh, just so long as I don't get too many and I look like uh, look like that guy from Tiger King, <laughs> right? Okay, I think I was right about it. Booking your septum appointment as we speak. Hey, nice, Formulando, let's go, let's go. You have an industrial and it's a long bar at the top of your ear. Yeah, those are those are super cool. Those are super cool. It really it really pull off my metal appearance. It'll really improve my my metal credentials because I definitely I definitely need to step it up. Look at what I'm wearing. Look at this. Does this look metal to you? I look like an Instagram aesthetic. I I look like a Pinterest board. A Pinterest board, very metal. Oh, thank you, Lady Monster. That that means a lot, a really lot. I appreciate. It. You've always wanted an eyebrow piercing. Listen. Besides this one sliding down. Hello. Okay. I think I think they look kind of dope. I don't know. Is this what? Is this how you want to look? <laughs> like this? <laughs> I can see why you're on the fence. Uh, oi, it's your body. Do what you want to do. No! I have to let society make me feel things. Just kidding. Uh, you can get real dangly chains. What? 
dangly. Dangly chains? That sounds distracting. That sounds distracting. I don't need any more distractions. Uh, but yeah, I would say if you want one, get one, you know? You've been uh, contemplating a daith piercing mostly because it helps with migraines. I've heard that. I've heard that it actually does help. I mean, I think that there's like scientific uh, reasons for that too. Yeah, the daith is like the, is, is an inner ear piercing for anybody that doesn't know. It's like, it's on one of the helixes, I think, like in the center. It's really out of the way. It's not very visual, but it, but yeah, it's supposed to help with uh, migraines and stuff. And, and it looks pretty cool if you notice it. Uh, you might get your nose ring on your right if you do an eyebrow piercing on the right. Yeah, that's the only thing that I never knew what to do with Formulando because I had a, a nostril piercing and I never knew which side I should put the, the, the eyebrow piercing on because it's like, do you want them to be asymmetrical? Do you want them to be symmetrical? Like, I don't know. I don't know what, 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 what's sexier. That's what I kept asking them. I went to like several artists and I was like, which one is sexier? And they were like, I can't tell you that. That's for you to decide. And I was like, tell me what to feel. Help. Help. I don't have opinions. Hello? I'm a, I'm a shell of a human being. I'm just, I'm just an empty shell. I don't have opinions. What about lip piercings? I... I don't want anything. Listen, the only reason that I didn't want to get a septum piercing is that I don't want it to affect my kissing game. I don't want my kissing game to be affected. So I, I think that lip might be a little too far because I don't want it to affect my smooching time. So I might I might not ever go for that. But snake bites are kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if I'd get them, though. Snake snake bites are really neat. Uh, they're really neat. But a, but a lip, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Also, it messes with eating. So it's like, that's that's starting to get into more inconvenient territory. Not too inconvenient. Uh, it doesn't affect, trust me. <laughs> okay, Visual Zen. Listen, no judgment. I, I'm just saying it is slight, slight inconvenience. Some people love that. Some some people love that. It's not, it's, it's not, not 100% true, but I'm just saying. Uh, you want a lower lip piercing? A lip piercing where? What do you mean? Like down here? <laughs> like, you, would you like to get those cheek piercings that I've seen on the internet where people can see your teeth? Uh, I have no game files in the category of kissing, so getting a lip piercing would be a problem. Hey, awesome, Yuki. Boom, you can do whatever you want. Let's go. Let's go. You can do whatever. You can customize your entire character. You can customize your entire character model. I say go for it, Yuki. Do what you want. Do what you want. I mean, that's true regardless. That's true regardless. Just do whatever you want. What is that? What is that face for, monster? <laughs> What is that? No, like closer down near your bottom jaw, like here? I don't know if that's your lip anymore. Decorate your temple as you see fit. Yes, if it is a temple to the Lord, then where are your bedazzlements? Okay. Christians are always saying that you're supposed to take care of, of your body because it's the Lord's temple. But I think that that temple's not got enough drip for God. I think that God would want more gold and silver on that thing, don't you know? Don't you know? God loves style. Uh, you said, is that like a dimple piercing? Dimples? What if you don't have any dimples? <coughs> you said, oh my lord, I might have to see if I can get a pick. Throw it up on Discord. You are, you are welcome to do whatever you want. Just, just at your own discretion now. At your own discretion. Yeah, no, that's too far. Too far for me, Zen. Not too far, not too far for me for like somebody that I would be attracted to, but too far for me, me. For me, 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 me. Like I would, I would never. I would never. Listen. My, my beautiful forehead, I could never touch it. I would never let it be touched. It's too, it's too big. It's too, it's too boisterous. It holds too much, too much knowledge. What if, what if it made less room for my brain? What if my brain felt a little bit of pressure? Wouldn't want my brain to feel, to, to feel like it, it couldn't grow. Wouldn't want my brain to feel like it's, it's house was smaller than normal. Uh, help! Now I want a septum and an eyebrow piercing. I'm too impulsive for this! Listen, if being impulsive is the best part of being alive! You know what? I might just mess around and shave all my hair off again. Who knows? Listen, we all live in fear. We all live in fear of what we may do. Uh, you could get a big horn and use it as a weapon? What? As a weapon? I don't need a weapon! I get along with people. What do you mean? What do you mean? My only weapon is the pin. Listen, I write mean letters to, to managers. Oi, your employees are being very troublesome. Uh, I've lived through that Earl era. It was fun. I know, right? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hi there, step lonely alt. Uh, you've noticed that you were here. You don't know how long you've been. Hey, welcome to the welcome to the chat. I hope you're doing well. Did you come over from Warwick? 
Uh, Warwick raided us earlier. Oh my goodness. Warwick is such a such a sweet such a sweet bean. Such a sweet, sweet kidney bean. Oi, oi, oi. But yeah, it's nice to meet you. We were just talking about nothing. <laughs> we were just talking about uh about piercings because we finished we finished the tier list that I was gonna do. The tier list is done. You remember being in the mousy stream. Aha. Mice. Mice. Sounds like you're saying Warwick. Warwick. I love Warwick. Warwick is an amazing streamer. An amazing streamer. Everyone love Warwick. I have 124 followers. Thank everybody. <gasps> Astolfo! Where were you here all of my life, Step Lonely? I wish that you had, I wish that you had put your husband or waifu in here. Ah, uh, see, this is not my taste. These are submitted. These are submitted by everybody in the chat. These are submitted by people in the chat. I didn't get to pick any of these. Maybe, maybe I should make another list that's that's made by me. Maybe I should. No, cause then it would just be me picking all my favorite characters. That's cheating. Wait a minute, that's cheating. You can't just pick your favorite characters. Astolfo is is among my very favorite characters. Uh, and Felix. Hey, we like we like the femboy energy. Love love the femboy energy. If there's a femboy in an anime, I'm like. Sign me up. Sign me up. I'm watching this anime. I don't care what it is. I do not care what it is. If it has a femboy in it, I'm watching it. Because uh, also, character from uh, Blind S. Blind S. Oh, I don't know if I'll remember their name right now. But uh, Blind S also, also has a femboy. Uh, can't, can't remember their name. Oh, but whatever. Yes, absolutely top tier stuff. Top tier stuff. Yes, there is indeed a chicken. Is that a chicken? I didn't submit this. This isn't me. I didn't make any of this. <laughs> I didn't make any of this. He daddy. He daddy. Is that, uh, yeah. Uh, he daddy Kansai. Really? He daddy. I do, I do remember them saying he daddy chan, I think. <laughs> you keep changing it. It's getting updated. The name is changing every day. We have to get updates. Uh, but yes, that character is amazing. Um, if I had to pick some, like, I mean, the thing is, is that what what are we describing as a waifu? Like somebody that you want to marry? Or are we just talking about like standard waifu rules where there are no rules? Is it standard no rules waifus? Or is it, or is it like actually wanting to marry somebody? That's, that's, a real, that's a real question. Waifus, women you like. You know, on second thought, I don't know if we're going to make that list. <laughs> second thought, it's probably a bad idea. You know what? Pro probably not the best idea. You know what? I, my my taste will remain a mystery to you. My taste shall remain a mystery to you all. Astolfo's waifu? Uh, on God. I mean, I'm with you on this one. I'm with you on this one. I would say, I would, I mean... Yeah, I think that I think that waifu is not like a character that you want to protect. I guess. Yeah. You glad that Yuri and Victor made it though? Yeah, they're they're super cute. I haven't watched this though, monster. I haven't I haven't watched it, but I did watch some clips. Uh, the one on the left is like super shy, very cute, very funny. Uh, the one on the right is like much much more of a troublemaker for anybody uh, for anybody else that has uh, not watched the show. But it is it definitely watching those clips made me super interested in watching it because this they it looks like an adorable show. Uh, it's okay, Kenny. I have questionable taste too. What? <laughs> it's so pretty. Didn't they do actual Olympic? Didn't an actual Olympic team do ice skating to a uh, Yuri on Ice song? Right. I'm guessing it was the Japanese team, right? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, so tier lists. Anybody have any other ideas for tier lists? I mean, we normally come up with ideas for tier lists whenever I, whenever I, like, either make a real, like, a real edgy take on something. What? What? What would be a good tier list? Because I've already got two ideas. One of them is favorite streamers. Actually, I've only got one idea. One idea is I want to give I, I want to give all my streamers rankings. All all the streamers that I watch. I want I want all of my and put all my friends on there. I want all my friends to be on there and to and to rank them. A tier list of anime that that sounds difficult to decide which which animes. I mean, because tier lists really aren't supposed to be like favorites. Like, I could give you my top 10 anime. Maybe not off the top of my head, but I could give you a top 10 anime, top 10 movies, you know, stuff like that. But a tier list, 
should be some sort of like a, a, either a wide array of characters that are always put together or the submission thing worked really well. I could do like a, um, I could do an Animal Crossing tier list, but that would take forever and it would have to be 100% aesthetic. Like it would have to be 100% because they're, those characters are all exactly the same. They're, they're just copy paste of each other. Like maybe I could use their, like I could, I could rank them a little bit based on like their, their personality, maybe for tiebreakers. For tiebreakers, I could use personality. Formula One tier list because they're all hot. The cars obviously only when they're running Formulando. And I don't know anything about, I don't know anything about Formula One. I just put them all in F tier, sorry. <laughs> because I don't know them. A tier list of skill level in a game. In game? Uh, what kind of, what kind of skill level? What do you mean? Uh, for what game? Uh, tier list of skill levels. It would be cool to do a tier list of superpowers. That sounds interesting. A tier list of different types of superpowers. And also could, could allow submissions. That's interesting. Superpowers are a really interesting discussion because there's so many different things that you can do with them. There's so many different stuff. Uh, like we could include ones from the boys or from Marvel or DC or make up ones. I think uh, I think a superpower list would would lead to some interesting discussions and some angry words. I like the sound of that. A tier list of tier lists. Oh, a tier list, tier list. Wait a minute. But whose tier list will we we be rating? Okay, so he has an idea. I can give you all this tier list, and then I can rank them. But you'd already know what I'd rank it because you already know what mine is. You could just cheat. You could cheat! Shapeshifting would be an SS tier, again, for a totally cis reason. Oh, of course. Of course! Yes, yes, yes. Listen, you don't have to make any excuses to me. That would be... Shapeshifting would be amazing. It would be super cool. But you'd have to use it for good. You'd have to use it for good. Don't be de don't be deceiving people. <laughs> don't be pretending to be uh, married to people that you aren't. Superpower is a great idea. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Skyrim tier list? Mmm! Skyrim tier list, like... You mean like Elder Scrolls? Or do you mean like skills in Skyrim? What games do I play? We, we were supposed to play Cuphead today, but we ran out of time because we were doing this tier list. But I'm gonna be playing, um, what am I playing tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll play Cuphead, that's what it is. There's no special stream tomorrow. We're gonna be doing that on Thursday. So tomorrow we're playing Cuphead, beating some more bosses. The next day I'm playing Fall Guys with Origination, who's a friend from my, um, from my, uh, uh stream team the next day i'm going to be playing with nessitopia and salty the alien playing raft and then on friday we're going to be playing marbles on stream uh yes okay we've got we've got a plan we've got a plan and a schedule and then i think saturday some friends are going to come over so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna take off saturday and sunday again i'm i'm kind of liking this this week stream thing like streaming each day of the week is kind of has been kind of rad yeah raf taste it or what's up oi 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 stinner who's your favorite husband or waifu Hmm. Can we get that information? Is that forbidden? Forbidden game tier list. What? What kind of game? Like, like between genres, like or between a like a publisher? Man, I put every U Ubisoft game on the very bottom. That's F tier gaming for me. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but yes, I play actually lots of games. A Step Lonely Alt. If you want to look at something crazy. My freaking stream overview and stats is is bonkers. I've played so many different games. I just, I love all sorts of different games. I used to play like tons of, um, tons of Flash games when I was a kid. I played GameCube games. I, I love retro games that I haven't ever tried before. I love brand new games that just came out so that I can like test if they're any good. Uh, I love playing Switch games and Nintendo games, but I also love indie games that are on the computer. Uh, and I love like uh, lots, lots of indie games, definitely. Um, some of my most streamed games, <laughs> Animal Crossing, Skyrim, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Fall Guys, Phasmophobia, Marbles on Stream, Stardew Valley, Minecraft, Breath of the Wild. Like the list is just all over the place. True, uh, truly, mostly, I'd, I'd say that Nintendo's a kind of a big focus. Subnautica, Hades, Raft, uh, Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Wind Waker, 64. Man, I want to play 64 again. I'd love to play that. Uh, so you're gonna buy some games? Yes, I, I play a I play a lot of games. My uh, my Steam 
What is what is my Steam, what is my Steam account right now? Oh mama. Uh, my Steam account is at oh no, thousand one hundred and six games. A thousand one hundred and six games from Mama Mia. I I was looking at the survival games. I was thinking about getting Rust. Has anybody played Rust? Do y'all like Rust? Is that any good? Oh, Melty Blood? <gasps> this is the show that, this is the game that has Nekoark in it. What? I want to get this game just to play as Nekoark. Good and you. Good and you. Nekoark, where are you? Where are you? Good and you. Good and you. Uh, I kind of want to buy this game just for that, but it's thirty dollars. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not not worth the money just for one character. I'll just I'll just rewatch everything on YouTube. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Darn it. Rest is a fungal disease. No, no mushroom gal. Not the fungal female coming with the facts. With the facts. Have you played The Last of Us or Detroit Becoming Human? I tried to play The Last of Us and I got a little bit bored. A little bit bored. I like the story, but I don't normally play games for story, if I'm being honest. Uh, I did I did like it, though. Good story, good gameplay, uh, but it just just wasn't enough for me. Just wasn't enough, if I'm being honest. Uh, didn't didn't grip me that hard. But I, I am notoriously bad at sticking with story games. The only one game that I've played that's kind of like that is that I have played um, Heavy Rain. I really did like Heavy Rain, but I think it was mostly because I bought the PlayStation Move, so I was like waggling remotes the entire time, and it was so funny. It was it was so great. Like I still got engrossed in the story, but like to open up doorknobs, you had to like twist the PlayStation Move. It was so funny. It was so funny, and I I totally enjoyed it. <laughs> Detroit Becoming Human is kind of like Heavy Rain. Yeah, I think that it's made by the same director. And so is uh, Beyond, uh, what is it, Two Two Souls? Beyond Two Souls, I think? It had a, a Elliot Page in it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that game I would like to play, and I would like to play Detroit at some point, at some point. But I, I, I haven't gotten around to it. I just don't get in a story mode too, option, uh, too, too often. That's why I did not play Stray, because I'm not, I'm not crazy about story, but it does look fun. It does look fun. Definitely, definitely no shade. No shade towards those games. I just, I just really care about gameplay. Like I really enjoy a really tough, really tough game with lots of skills and difficult combat, stuff like that. Detroit, but only pacifist. Is that the hard way to play it? Mm. You like games where choices have consequences. I have definitely played some games that it was awesome that your choices made consequences. But like I tried to play the Walking Dead game and that felt a little too stripped down. That felt like a visual novel with some decisions that were always like unrealistically bad. Uh, where would be the best spot on the server to put a pick of the piercing that you were talking about? Is it a pick of you or just a pick of the piercing? General is okay for general stuff. Um, but uh, I'm guessing it's just a normal piercing, right? Uh, bring on more scatty games. Well, a game that I was thinking about doing is what about Mortuary Assistant? I was watching Nessie play this and it looks spooky. It looks spooky. You have to you have to work in a in a in a whatever a morgue. You have to be a morgue worker. It looks spooky as heck. I'm kind of tempted to get this. It looks kind of fun. Does it have? <gasps> it has achievements. <laughs> Achievements! Jess! Oh Jess, we're just we're just chilling right now. We're just chilling and talking before we're before we before we're in the uh before it gets too late. Before it gets too late. You've seen so many playthroughs that you're no longer scared. Ah oh, nice. That's good, Alchemic. That's good. Cause uh Alchemic don't do horror all the time. You used to work in a cemetery? That's cool. Were you act were you actually like a, a mortician or were you like uh working uh, for the um for the what's it called like the services or, or what was going on? Warwick played it and it's spooky. Ooh, Warwick played today. Eh? Well, I'll tell you what, I got a pretty good scream. <laughs> and uh, I gotta say, I was watch I was watching a spooky movie last night and it reawoken fears that I didn't know that I had. It wasn't even that great of a movie, but man, I actually got I actually got spooked recently watching a movie. It was called we watched it on Shutter with friends, uh, and it was called. The Dark and the Wicked. 
I watched The Dark and the Wicked, and, you know, I, I don't know if it would scare you, but it scared me. It scared me. I finally, after all of these years, I finally found a movie that could scare me. That one, that one really spooked me. Uh, it helps when people make fun of it while playing it. Oh, yeah, well, I, that's, that's the only weird thing about me playing horror games, is that I do make fun of them while playing them. So it makes it more comfortable for people that are too scared. But uh, I feel like it does kind of ruin the atmosphere, right? It kind of ruins it, but I can't help but make fun of it. Like, that's that's my coping mechanism. My mechanism for being able to stay calm is by making fun of the game and just being, and just like kind of goofing on it a little bit. I don't know if I could ever do anything else. Uh, Dark and the Wicked, making a mental note. My boyfriend isn't phased by scary movies. He might not be. He might not be. It may have just touched. It may have just been me. Also, I maybe had a lot to drink that night, but it was scary. Okay. Whether chemically induced or no, uh, your coping mechanism is not playing scary games. You know what? Legit. Honestly, I barely played a scary game before I streamed. Streaming is absolutely cheating. It is scary games on easy mode because you are half focused on talking with people and you're half focused on the game. So any streamer that says that they love scary games, the real question is if they play them alone because uh, playing them with y'all makes me feel way safer. Like I know that if a monster really crawled out of my monitor, then that means that y'all could crawl out of my monitor too. And that means that y'all could, could crawl out and defend me. So I don't have to worry about that. But if I'm playing alone, I know that if it crawls out of the monitor, I'm toasted. I'm toast, I'm dead. Hey, yeah, Cody, I, I noticed that. I noticed that like immediately. I, I I played, there is one exception though. There is one exception of a game that scared me way too much, way too much. And that is Phasmophobia VR. Phasmophobia itself is literally not scary at all to me at this point because I played it too much. But, but VR, that slaps different. It is totally different. It feels like you are literally there. And the janky controls were half of the scary part because I could barely move around. So I couldn't get away. <laughs> it was because it was broken. It was broken, but I felt like I was actually there. So it was the worst of both worlds. It was it was horrifying. VR, VR, different, different story, different story. Uh, I'm not crawling through anything to protect you from a monster. You're on your own, lad. Thanks a lot, Die. Knew you'd have my back. Uh, Tango Down, thank you for the follow. What's up? Uh, also, Skylar Page, thank you, thank you. I feel so much safer already. I feel safer already. I mean, if I crawl out of the monitor and it's over 100 degrees outside, you may be on your own. Listen, it's, it is, whoa, it's actually, oh, it's 80 degrees in here. It's kind of hot in here, what the heck? It's, it's 80 degrees in here, okay. Um, it's gonna be a little toasty. Is our AC running, what the heck? Uh, there's one that you want me to try. It's called Wick. It's basically a candle spinoff of Little Nightmares. I played both of the, the Little Nightmares games, and that was fun. That was fun. You said uh, Wick. Wick. I've never heard of this. It's like Little Nightmares. Well, it's it's first person. It's first person. That that definitely makes a difference. Oh, this is the wrong one. It's a different game. Okay. Yeah, because this just looks like a Slender clone. Man, whenever I was a kid, with I'm sure that most of y'all remember whenever Slender was popular, and it was like, I mean, it's before Five Nights at Freddy's or the or the 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 current one that the kids like, uh, the 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 funny hand monster, funny hand monster. What's the what's the name of that character? What's the name of the character with the funny hands that goes like whoop whoop whoop? It's uh like like taming lucy or something i can't remember the name of the the name of the game but we got oh poppy yeah poppy playtime not not taming lucy but yeah poppy playtime before poppy playtime before five nights at freddy's slender was an indie game that got released for free and everybody played it everybody on youtube and everybody in school like i used to play it with my friends in the same room and like we turn off all the lights we take turns trying to get all the pages never beaten it Never beaten the original Slender. It's it's kind of broken, uh, but it was so much fun. And like just watching your ki your 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 kid friends getting scared, boy, big fun, big fun. Just giant giant jumps out of the chair. And I have the best memories of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like 
instead of me watching YouTubers play Five Nights at Freddy's, instead of me playing Five Nights at Freddy's alone, I brought Five Nights at Freddy's to my friends' houses and let them play it whenever it was dark. That was fun. It was fun. And also we, one time, I've already told this story, but we went to a camp that had a big projector, big sound system. And at night they let us go into the gymnasium. And I was like, can I hook up my computer to the projector? And they were like, it's totally fine. So I hooked up Five Nights at Freddy's to a giant projector. And we would take turns like getting people to play the game and people would like freak out and jump out of their chairs and get super scared. And then we'd be like, now you have to play it. And they'd be even more scared and they were all awful at it. So it was jump scares everywhere. It was so fun and it was so tense and loud. It was, it was literally the best way that you could have ever experienced that game. Like that's, that's good memories. And, and without all the like, <laughs> We didn't know any of the lore. There was only two games out at the time, and it was it was fun. I was, like, almost an adult at that time, and I was just hauling around my computer like, let's scare some kids. Hey, kid, you want to play this game? <laughs> it's funny. You put a trailer for Wick in the gaming channel? Okay. It's, it's So what is it? So what? So what is it? Something else? Aw. Aw, the fan art was uploaded. That's so sweet. Uh... Thank you for the high quality, horizontally spinning Neko arc step lonely. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of those videos, me and my roommates. Like, they, they're, they're a little older than me, so they don't get zoomer humor quite so well. But um, I, will, I will put on videos like horizontal spinning rat that gets faster as time goes on. And I'm like, this is peak comedy. This is the highest quality video I've ever seen. Hey, it's mythical water. Ah! Oh my God. Mythical water in the channel. How are you doing? What's up? Oi, oi, oi. Mythical water. I've, I've seen all your YouTube videos. I'm so proud of you. Mythical water is so cool. Oi, oi, oi. Mythical water out there making moves, making moves on other people's channels. Got a second channel. Dang. So proud of you. You're doing so good. I love what you're making. I love what you're making. And uh, you'll go very far. You go very far. And I saw you. I saw you in the the, in the video that that other person made with like all the different animators and you were like you were like alongside like Jaden and and all these famous people that I know and I was just like there's myth there's mythical water there's mythical water right there get it get it front and center with a big sword it's so cool it's so cool honestly I would mix you up with those with those sorts of people as well but it was cool to see it animated it was cool to see <laughs> So freaking cool. Ah! Uh, you said, apparently it says you're not allowed to send links. If you want to send links, put it in shameless plugs. We, we just put, we just put all links in the shameless plugs category. That's, that's where you can like link websites or your Instagram or like your Twitch channel or whatever. Uh, because we don't really want like links in general anyway. General, general is absolutely a mess. It's absolutely a mess. Sometimes it's like two people talking to one another <laughs> for a long time. And you're like, shouldn't this be in DMs? And then sometimes it's just like pictures of, of I don't know. It's, it's a mess. Okay, listen, the Discord's a mess. But it's got channels for you to put things in. And it lets you talk to me whenever I'm not live. So it's, it's something, okay? <laughs> it's something. It works. It works. Uh, okay, yeah. So you, you were posting a game, Wick? Oh, let me see. It's actually over here. So it is not, is it on Steam? Why can't I not find it on Steam? That's what I don't understand. Like, is it, is it on Steam or no? Yeah. This is not the same game? This is a different game? Is it not out yet? What is this from? <laughs> what's up with all the, what's up, up with all the nodders out there? Look at all those nods, dude. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't reply, but you can talk to him. That's true. I will not reply to DMs. I, I, I have a very, I have a very, um, very troublesome, very troublesome habit of leaving people uh, on unread. I don't read the messages, <laughs> but I get, I get. Sometimes, listen. I, I am somewhat antisocial at times. I, I have not been properly socialized. I was homeschooled, so I'm not used to this many people talking to me. It is, it's a lot. It's a lot. Streaming makes sense for me because I could talk to y'all like right now. Being in real life makes sense to me because we can talk right then. Being on, being on like call, that feels very normal. But messages and texts, 
those I'm not very good at responding to because it just feels like if I if I answer them immediately, then I feel like I should always answer them immediately. That's that's the weird thing. And it isn't true. It isn't true. I could choose what to respond to, but I feel like people deserve a response if I actually read the message. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> Feral Kinney, you hate texting. It makes you so much, uh, uh, you hate it. Oh, calling makes you more comfortable. Yeah, because, um, because there's so much more information in a call. Like, you can hear their tone, like, you can re-explain things, you can make mistakes. But with text, it's like, it, it has, like, a finality to it that makes me a little bit worried, and it makes me, like, over-obsessed about what I'm sending. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Messaging, not, not my favorite. <laughs> but I am definitely feral. I, unbelievable. Unbelievable. He doesn't reply, but you can talk to him. Oh, I'm special then. Listen. No, 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 no. Mythical water. Listen. I I was so beyond honored and absolutely just stoked to do a voice for you. Just absolutely stoked. It was like it's one of the, my favorite things that I've ever done. If I'm being honest. It's something it's something that I'm most proud of. Even though it was just a little voice in in a video. I don't know. This is something about it. Like I love, love doing voice acting. I must do more of it. I must do more of it. But that was that was one of the most fun experiences that I've ever had. It's so much fun. Uh, the name of the game has been changed to Flicker of Hope. Okay, Flicker of Hope. Thank you. Flicker of Hope. There you go. It says free. What the heck? Is it a free game? What's going on here? Uh, bro, what does B? Boy, you tell me you get to be a candle. <laughs> You get to be Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Jack turned into a candlestick. <laughs> boy, you about to get eaten by that demon. About to be a, about to be demon eated lick boy. <laughs> Litwick. Uh, this looks kind of cool. This does look very much like, uh, like Little Nightmare. Same perspective. Um, is this just a free game? Join Gene Wick. Gene Wick, huh? Gene Wick. Uh, Gene Wick on his quest to restore hope to a dying world by, while, by carrying out a dead monk's mission to fill the cathedral with light. Use Gene's doubter in a mix of waxy tricks. <laughs> waxy tricks. Overwhelming tides of plague victims. What? What is light going to help those people? Huh? You're just going to you're just going to let them see better as they're dying. Not gonna lie, it improves the animation so much it absolutely wouldn't be the same without your part, Shesh! <laughs> Mythical water! I would literally do anything. I would literally do anything for you. Okay, okay. Uh, it is, it is true. It's true. It, it was so much fun. And I was happy with how it turned out, which is which is good. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't ashamed of it. Because, <laughs> I mean, sometimes, like, I'm sure that everybody can relate with not loving the sound of your own voice or not loving um, the recordings of your voice, really. Recordings of your voice, they sound weird. They sound really weird. But I was, thankfully, thankfully, I didn't actually hate it. I didn't hate it. I was just extremely, extremely, like, dubious as to whether it was good. <laughs> But then, but then you said that it was good, and I was like, all right, I guess I'll believe you. <laughs> Apparently, the game can be completed in 30 minutes. It's a 30-minute game, lighten these wicks. Seems kind of fun. Seems kind of fun. Flicker of Hope, suspense thriller where you play a small candle, and it's just free. It's a free freaking game. Dude, do we just want to play this, like, really quick? Y'all just want to play this spooky game really quick? It could be done in 30 minutes. What do you mean it can be? Like, how long does it normally take? I, I, I'd be down to play this. This looks kind of cute. We'll still be playing Cuphead tomorrow, though. Uh, your voice is too high and nasally. You need a voice train it lower? Really? Is that true, Dai? Do you need a deep voice? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a deep voice. A deep voice. Uh, Divey, do you want to talk deeply? All you have to do is get a better microphone and adjust your bass level because your voice itself is not bad. The microphone's probably bad. It's probably just not picking up on like the deeper tones of your voice. Like honestly, honestly, what you're recording it with really matters. Um, night night, oh, I'm Midorio. We'll see you later. Get some rest. Get some rest. Hope you sleep good. I'm gonna download this. This looks kind of. This looks kind of fun. I'm, I am curious about. Um, about how long it would take though. Like if it's less than an hour, then it'd be fine. Good job, Steam, you're doing great. Uh, it's probably because it's a free game. 
I'll just, I'll just give this a minute. It'll, it'll respond in a minute. There it goes. It's done. How fast can it download this game? Do, 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 do. It's only a gig. It's a gig. It'll download in like two minutes. Should we play it? Should we play it? Go, Steam, go! Yeah, look at it go. <laughs> Good job, Steam. You're doing great. Do, are y'all down for a flicker of hope just in stream game? That sounds kind of dumb. It sounds kind of dumb. What kind of streamer plays a game at the end of his stream, bro? Uh, when you check how long to beat, it says 37 minutes. What kind of what kind of streamer promises Cuphead and then does a tier list all day and then just talks to people for a long time and then plays a horror game out of the blue that they've never heard of? <laughs> what is this? All right, bet I'm gonna play this game. This sounds fun. <laughs> let's let's get a let's let's get a little flicker hope, shall we? Let's try it out. Free game? What the heck? Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? I got my controller plugged in. Nice. Okay, looks like we're playing a game tonight. <laughs> That's unexpected. <laughs> unexpected for me. Oh, does the game start? Oh, I thought... thought the game just might, like, hard start. Sound effects a little loud, right? A little loud? Uh, we'll leave all this on where it is. Free game. Free game review. What the frick? What the... What the who? I want it to be full screen, please. <laughs> what the heck is going on? What what's happening? Hello? They don't they don't have the resolution option that I need. They don't have the resolution of my monitor as an option. Okay, full screen. Doesn't work. Okay, let's let's restart the game. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. It's free game. It's free game though. It's free game. Might be good. Might be good. Don't be scared now. If this is scary, I will cry. It doesn't look scary. It just looks a little spooky. Yay, I can watch while eating some breakfast. Hey, yo. All right, go grab some food. Mythical water. Go, go, go. Okay, full screen again. Excellent. <laughs> okay, let's just start the game before I break it again. It'll probably be like Little Nightmare Spooky at worst. <laughs> Grabbed a baby. Not my candlestick. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's loud. Sorry. He just caught. He just coughed in my earlobe, did. Okay, I turned it down. I can't. Oh, I was about to say I can't see crap. Do I have little boobs? <laughs> kind of do. Kind of do. I'm just a little drippy. I'm just a little drippy. I'm all dripped out. This candle looks kind of fancy. Oh, it has its little face is cute. Its little face is cute. Oh. Wait, what the frick? Oh, okay. We're moving now. Oh, I love this little face. It looks so nervous. Looks so nervous. Please help me. Please help me. Somebody, somebody's got to help me. Get lit. Get lit with Litwick. Okay, I'm just testing these buttons. Doesn't look like the, uh, let's go so we can jump. Da -da -da. Yo, step on that hand. I'm getting a little drippy. What'd you say? Uh, because as you walk, you drip wax. Oh, so I got to rebuild my health. Oh, look, I'm getting taller. Getting taller. Tall boy, tall boy hours only. Oh, Gene Wick is always melting. Regain your wax at Wax and Pools. I want to read some of the lore though. Is the lore up here? Man, I want to learn. All Can I burn it? <gasps> I can't burn it. I'm so mad. Burn the religious artifacts. Destroy them all. Hey, right, rebuild my, rebuild my Wick. Boing. Actually, I, I guess it would be Wick. Kind of. Not really. Uh, what's over here? Door. Okay, let's, let's hop, hippity hop over here, boyong, boyong. I just heard a noise. Who's breathing? Who's breathing? You shut up. You're dead. You're not allowed to speak. How soon do I die, though? <gasps> They're still alive. I did notice that that was their head. Burn him. Burn the body. 
Yes. Burn the body. No evidence. Yes, he tried to kill us, but unfortunately we won. So far, so far, do you think it's pretty wicked? Oh! Oops, wrong button. I meant to do. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, press A to jump. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, a little candle. Little, little candle. Hold RT to grow your flame. What? To grow my flame? The camera doesn't stay with you? Yeah, I kind of, kind of, oh, you mean the, the zoom? Yeah, the zoom is not, does not work properly. So this just burns more, but you go faster. Hold RT to grow your flame and run faster. But surely that burns your flame faster, right? It's got to, right? Because it burns hard, hotter. Sorry, the quality of my joke doesn't hold a game. Shut up. Oh my god. You know what? I take back all those nice things I said about you, Mythical. <laughs> take them all back. You know what? Just imagine I said nothing. <laughs> I see candles up there, right? Can't you see those? Man, I want to burn all these beds. All right, we're just going to keep moving. Keep moving. I see some spooky artifacts in the background. Do you see that? Gotta find our little candle way. Aww. It like kind of lights it. That's cute. There's books. Books for crawling. This is a really pretty game. I wonder how they made this free. Was there like, did they get some sort of a, is this like a project or did, did they get money? How, how did they, how did they make this game? Cause it's really, it's pretty dull. Man, we just got extinguished. Just got extinguished. Uh, change the stream title? I guess I could if it won't break this game. Probably break the game, if we're being honest. It'll probably it'll probably ruin the full screen aspect of this. Uh, if a mod wants to change this to to the title to just um trying new spooky game or trying spooky game. A, a stupid title will do. Okay, so now we have... Now we can kill kill ourselves? Is that what that's for? Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Gotta, gotta get lit till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm guessing that this lets you walk farther, right? No, it doesn't. It uh, it seems like it just slows down your... Oh, it's for sneak. I thought that it might let you live longer. Oh, oh what? What was that animation, bro? Man, my, my light. My light. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, it's to hide. That's too bad. I thought that I needed to light all these uh, these little waxen pools, but I guess not. I guess I don't. Okay, uh, well, uh, message received. Message received. I will be a sneaky candle from now on with my big dumpy. Look at, do you see, do you see this candle's dumpy? <laughs> I hate to point it out, but it's true. It's true. Look at it. It's a lumpy dumpy. Our candle! It's extinguished! Yes, yes, yes. We shall schmoove this way. Aha! Oh, it lights even if you have a uh, even if you have a cover on. Looks like we got a friend coming down here. Uh-oh. Are they just moving? Or are they gonna look for me? You can't see me. You can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm practically invisible. I'm incorporeal. <whistles> I fell. I fell down. Candle doesn't have them thighs, though. What? What, Cappy? <laughs> what, Cappy? Why did you have to? You're safe underneath things. Mostly. Ooh, spooky. Mostly. That's true. Their little legs are scrawny. They've got scrawny little legs. Their legs weren't made for working out. Their legs were made for running. For running very uh oh. Ah. Oh, they almost grabbed me. 
<laughs> it was scary. So stop that. <laughs> None of that. None of that, you rascal. Press B to make a buddy use our what? Oh, make a buddy. Oh, what the heck? You can make friends? What the frick? How do I control him? Press R S. Right stick. Ah. Oh! Wait. <laughs> Feed the monster. Oh, is this so that I can escape? Is that bait? Oh, my little guy was bait. Poor little fella, he did his best. He did his best, and we love him. We love him for what he's done. Why throwing people up? He was just, make, he was just making a, another candle. He wanted to share the love. He wanted to share the light. Where do we go? Where do I go? Oh, you're gonna head out? Hey, not because I'm scared, but because I'm tired. I'm a big boy. Hey, we'll see you later, die. We'll see you later, die. Thanks for hanging out. Oi, oi. Much love to die, B. I'm going to die. I need more wax. Man, you really can't survive. Oh, dead. Dang, I'm dead. I've never seen a candle go out this fast. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. The realism's really, really questionable. Uh, teasing mostly, but. Yeah, okay. I, I gotta find my stuff better. Oh no. What if I just, like, sp speed run? Speed ran. What if I ran with speed this way? Hello? Monster? Monster not know where I am. <laughs> I'm free. Little Wick. Little Wick is free. This is the way up. Huzzah! Now light those candles and light them good. Now put on your little hood. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> little candle be zooming. I know, right? Speed run. Speed run, anyone? All right. I guess we go up this way. Let's let's recharge for a second. There we go. Uh, oh, I like that the stairs are actually physical objects. You can't just walk up them. You gotta hop up them. You're gonna get going? Hey, we'll see you later. Nighty night, Nesmi love. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for chilling with us. Hope you had fun. Thanks for all your sweet encouragement about my drawing. I appreciate that. That's very sweet. I'm glad that you like your rat. Don't ever feel bad about, about changing your profile picture, though. I will not be offended. Oi, oi. Now you go to sleep and enjoy your rest. Da, 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 da. Now light up the sh... Ooh, the lighting's so pretty in this game. Uh, I love I love how it's lagging, though. That is so good. That's so good and incredible. I love it when it lags for y'all so you can't see 60 frames per second. Hello. Hello, I do not want to die. Down we go. Adorable little baby. Adorable baby. A little baby made out of wax. <gasps> oh! They kind of move. Why can't I move? Oh, is it a cutscene? They, yeah, they were giving me a little cutscene. Mm, la 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 la. Gene and his buddies' lights attract legions of Mara. Okay. Guessing that's them? The bats? The bats and the bats and the bugs. My dad told me about them. <laughs> Gotta get lit to lighting up this candle, boy. <laughs> oh, I want to light that fire. Not sure if we're allowed though. Oh, looks like we can sneak past. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No touch, no touch, no touch. I'm hidden. No touch. I'm a hidden boy. He's dead. <laughs> he freaking died. Ah, so it's the candelabras that have a missing candle. It's the candelabras that have a missing candle that are actually checkpoints. That's so clever. That's so clever. I love it. What if I just went? Speed run, speed run, speed run. Oh no 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 no. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 mosquito. No, 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 mosquito. Oh, no, 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 mosquitoes. Run away. Run away, nasty boys. Checkpoint. <laughs> Checkpoint. It worked. 
<laughs> Did a bad job of being a candle. You got fired. Dang. Oh, I hear breathing. Heavy breathing. Your butt. La 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 la. I'm a little candle boy. Don't kill me right now. I can hear breathing. Labored breathing. Oh, game lag. I put the hat on. Put the hat on for safety purposes. All right, we are now tall. We are now tall and powerful. Oh, bugs. We gotta zoom. Too many bugs, too many bugs. Get out of here, you nasty old... Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Can I die while I'm sitting on this? Oh, they attack you and they disappear. Oh, I think it shows where they last saw you. I think there's little, there's like little red things that pop up on the screen that show like where the enemies are looking for you, I think. Hey, no biting. No biting. You remember what mom said? Mom said no biting. Ow. Ow. No, 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 no. Must live. Must live so close. Oh, nice. Speedrun's going great so far. All right. I guess I'm just gonna walk, because I don't need to sneak, and I sh probably shouldn't run. Oh, there's lights way up there. Oh, I'm not allowed in the rain. It'll kill me. I, I forgot that I was made out of fire for a second. Yeah, 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 no, no water. Oh. Yeah, look, there's, there's one that didn't get lit, so I guess this is a, this is a checkpoint. Oh, wait. No, it lit them all. Huh. Don't know if that's a checkpoint then. Oh, another light. This one I did not light. Is this a friend? No, it's just uh, it's further. I want to look at my little face. I want to look at my... Oh, look, it's crying. Oh, it's got tears in its eyes. It's melting. It's melting wax and tears. Um, hello? Hello? I I do not know who that was, but it appears that somebody walked into my chamber. You can move this book out of the way. Oof, scoot it. Get scooted. Oh, bother. Ah, now are we gonna go into the, what's this? Is this the nothing? Oh, it's the nothing, I knew it. It's like a seat, kinda. Should I sneak? Should I be a sneaky baby? <laughs> oh, I hate thunder. I hate thunder, it reminds me of nature. This poor little bean's gonna die because I can't find a... Dang it! Why'd they make the level so big? Where's the wax? Where's my wax? No, I'm gonna die. I can feel my controller thumping. Thumping with danger! There's no, you have to walk straight across. There's no discovery in this game. Okay, one, one, one small complaint about the game. Definitely not, definitely not too bad, but they definitely don't encourage exploration. I guess there's nothing to look for, right? I guess there's nothing that you need to find because it's just like a little game. It's just a little, little fun game. A little proof of concept, but uh, yeah. I guess since there's nothing to look at, it don't matter. But, uh, yeah, you really do not have to, uh, really do not have to do all of this. You just, you can just zoom. Oh, hide. Nice. Oh, are they attracted to that light? Were they attracted to me? Did they see me? They did see me. They did see me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No touch. How are they seeing me? I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. There's also water. Don't touch me. They're not following. We're good. We're good. Run. Get that out of here. We got to light all the lights. We got to light up the lights. It was the last wish of the sage. The sage that created this magic candle. He's the one. Ooh, I love, I love it. Just jumping around lighting everything. Hey, Malice, what's up? What's up, Malice? How's your day going? Feels easy compared to little nightmares. Well, this is just a little free game. I, w I wouldn't really compare the two. Yeah, they look kind of similar. Hey, Tay! 
Thank you so much, Tay, for the sub. Let's go. Welcome back. 15 months. I like candles. 15 months. Oi, oi, oi. Tay, what's up? You like candles? You like eating them? Mmm, wax for dinner. Hey, thank you for the hype in the chat. Is the stream lagging or is just my, um, is it only my preview or is it lagging for y'all? Because it says 60 frames a second down there and the game looks smooth. So maybe, maybe it's just my preview that looks bad or is it lagging? Uh, just Kappa seems to be laggy. Okay, okay. Not, not a big deal then. No, not eating. What? You don't want to eat a candle? What if, what if the candle was yummy? Uh, but I'm doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. We did a tier list earlier. And we just randomly chose to play this game. No! Now my candle is dead. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I'm a, I'm a candle. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Existing is scary. We need to exist. Okay, so they can catch up with you. Even if you're running. Cause I was just gonna try to like skirt around him, but you can't do that. Maybe you gotta, maybe you just gotta sneak. You just gotta sneak. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little free game, Tay. It's a little free game. It was suggested by uh, Jackson. Jackson just randomly was like, have you heard of this game? And I was like, I'll look it up. And then we found that it was free. And I was like, what the heck? I really want to speed run this part. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, you can, you just gotta go back. Existing is scary. Reminds me of a meme that I've seen with a uh, with a goose. It's a goose that's flying through space, and it says, "We need to exist." <laughs> it's great. Oh, hello. Oh, that's that was good. Good staging. Good staging. I like that. Stood there with the light behind it. Nice. I wanna. Oh, I wanna live. I wanna live, live, live. I wanna. Oh no! My body. <laughs> Why? Why would they kill this little, this little thing? Why would they kill this little creature? This is one of God's creatures. This is God's favorite creature. They killed him. They killed him, and they didn't even think a second thing about it. Oh! Oh! No! 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 <laughs> Run! Let's go! No, Litwick, no! Oh my god, nice. Whew. The little lamp lighter. Yeah, it says it says in the lore that you're supposed to you're supposed to light all the candles. Because the monk that created you or like the good monk or, or something, you're supposed to you're supposed to light all the candles, all right? It's supposed to help somehow. It's it's during uh, like plague times. These are these are the plague times. Lots of uh, lots of bubonic about bubonic, bubonic, or like poobonic. Ah, uh, you you survived the bubonic plague, but get ready, get ready for the poobonic, poobonic plague. <laughs> That's such a Horrible joke that I couldn't even deliver. <laughs> the Poobonic Plague. You better look out, Christopher Robin. You'll never survive. Oh, I fell down. I fell down. Look at the cinders and embers. There's a lot of wax down here. What happened? Oh, lurk for real? Hey, we'll see you later, Jackson. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. Da, 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 da. Going down the steps. Uh-oh. Bother. I heard, I heard a door. I heard a slam. I'm still gonna assume that there's no secrets in this game because they really do not incentivize you to look for anything. Ooh, it's blue over here. Very spooky. So I'm the only thing that's lighting the environment. That's extra scary. You can't grab me. I'm invisible. Oh, maybe they they might be scared of this blue light. Or, or not at all. Or they, they come right towards you. Shh, everyone. I'm sneaking. Shh. Shh. Here they come. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good now. 
All right. <laughs> we live. We're fine. Oh, go away. Oh, all right. The next spotlight. We can make it this time. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can reel it. Oh, this is only a hiding spot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die anyway. My poor little wick. My poor little wick. Oh, no, I got stuck. Darn speed running tactics didn't work. It's 4 a.m. So you should get some sleeps. Hey, Yuki. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oi, oi, oi. I'm pretty sure that you came over from from Warwick stream. Thanks for thanks for chilling with us, Yuki. I hope you had a great time. Get some good sleep. Get some good sleep. Oi, oi, oi. Much love to Yuki. Oh, this is the stair part. I forgot about this. They, they kind of kicked me back. They kind of... Kind of gave me a scoop. Look, it's it's a femur. Wow, look, I found this humerus. Are you still there? Are you still there? Searching, searching. <laughs> Those poor turrets, they sound so sad whenever they die. The, tu the, the turrets in Portal 1 and Portal 2, <laughs> they're so sad. I think that they say, like, I'm sorry at certain points. <laughs> That's cheating. You or you spawn camping. <laughs> You spawn camping, you old witch. Man. Man, that's baloney. What did I say, Mythical Water? Did I not say I found this humorous? Did I not say humorous? What did I say? Did I mess up the joke? What did I say? How long can humans survive without chocolate? All their all their life. They don't need chocolate. What did I say? Oh, I did say humorous. Okay. I said hubris? No, I just have a, a horrible accent. Oh, mythical water. Don't you know that I'm just hard to understand? I may not keep saying y'all all the time. Two days max. A human survived without chocolate. Are you kidding me? I haven't had chocolate in weeks. Months even. Dang, boy, you kind of dumb. Dang, boy. Oh, you kind of dumb. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. See you later. See you later, Susan. I can live here. I can live here for a year. Oh, they went back. Nice. You can only you can under, only understand Australian. What about New Zealand? You can't understand New Zealand. <laughs> I can't do the accent. We're alive! A skull. A skull. Beware! The bones have been removed from their body. Or maybe... Maybe they died. Maybe they died and their bones just came to be more realized. Ah, oh, look at all these dead people. Whoa, look at the corpse. Ah. Nobody put corpse husband on the husbando list, shaking my head. Uh, quit playing with those bones. They made them have physics. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Look, these don't have any physics. Hey, thank you for the raid, Eldritch Fell. What's up? Oi, Eldritch. Thanks so much for the raid. How was, how was Dead by Daylight? Oi, oi. I hope you enjoyed your Dead by Daylighting. Did you kill everybody? Or did you survive the killer? I don't know what you were playing, but... Oi, oi! A pair of raiders! Huzzah! Two friends! We're, we're playing this uh, new game. I, uh, new game. It's just a little free demo. It was mentioned It was mentioned by a friendo in chat, and I was like, what the heck? Let's play it. But you play as a little candle, and you're trying to light up all the candles in a monastery while a plague is ravaging the land. Behold. The beasts. There's some beast around looking for me. Oh! He's grabbing. Oh! Oh, he's a killer main. Nice. Did you kill all the noobs? Did you did you snipe all the losers? What the heck are they sensing me? Oh, oh, there's an invisible wall. There's an invisible wall. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. There's an invisible. Oh, my. Come on. What the heck? Oh, he did pretty well. Nice. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed your games. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Boy, my name's Earl. Hi there. 
I play a variety of games. I'm, uh, I have been playing Cuphead recently. I was trying to think of what I've been playing, but I've been playing Cuphead. This week we're going to play Raft. We're going to play some Fall Guys. So yeah, I just like to play games and uh, talk to peeps while I'm playing them. Use your, use your what? My what? My throw up? Yeah, I could use the throw up friend. I'm trying to like not use it because it seems kind of annoying. I could, I, yeah, I could totally like lead them away by going like this. What is a what is the button again? What's this? Blub. Look at him. Wee! Oh, he got yoinked. Time to get out. Time to leave. Boink, 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 boink. He was a sacrifice. We sacrificed him for the greater good. <gasps> bone Town. Welcome to Bone Town, everybody. Hope you're ready for physics bones. Physics bones. Only a few of these are, are physics enabled. Okay. Recharge. Recharge. Recharge myself. Is this a spider web? Yeah, I think there's a spider web there. It looks kind of weird. Look kind of funky that spider web do. Hello. I cannot see. I cannot see for uh there we go. Regrow. Oh, and by the way, you have to you have to stand in the wax and then it reloads your character. So like your character is slowly dying anytime that you're off of wax. And you have to you have to make it to the little wax piles to be able to recharge yourself. Ooh. Ooh. And I think if you run, it makes the it should make your your wax go away faster whenever you run. I'm not sure. It it brightens it up and it makes you run faster, so <laughs> ah, none of that. No touch. No touch, bad touch. All right, we're good. We're good. Your little friend got eight. I know, right? I sacrificed him to the animals, to the dogs. Also, hi, Agent Lady Hawkeye. What's up? Welcome to, welcome to Little Litwick. Little, little Candle Nightmares 2. Whoa. Hello. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm too shy. Too shy to be seen. Too small to be perceived. Oh, I think I have to sneak through here. Yeah, I gotta walk past them. I think I gotta wait. Hello? Hello? I cannot see anything. It. This game is super dark. I am the light. Ta-da! Guess I'm gonna just run. Hey, we made it! Oh, it looks like they're going in a big circle. They're kind of singing. Pretty song you got there. Oh, they're sensing me. They're si How are they sensing me? How do they know? How did they know? Somebody must have told them. This game is not Little Nightmares. If people think it is, it's probably just the Candela effect. Oh. That's pretty good. That's not a that's not a groan kind of pun. That's just a hmm, clever. Like <laughs> It's not funny, don't get me wrong, but it is, it is very clever. The Candela effect, eh? Oh, uh, is that a monster in front of me? Hello. Um, um, excuse me? Um, hello? Uh, what are you doing? Um, please go away. Um, oh my god, how do you see me? How do you freaking see me? I had my hat on! Oh, uh, yucky lady, stay away! Did anybody think that all the residents of this building were just normal people? But their ah, oh, their eyes are just not well adjusted to the darkness. Oh, their eyes are just well adjusted. Yeah, they just don't want this little stinky candle ruining their eyesight. You're probably right. Never thought of it that way. Uh, you did not bring snacks. Welcome back, Jackson. I am so sad that you did not bring snacks. I am. I'm very. I am livid. I'm livid. They could probably see me here, right? La, 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 la. So you just gotta carry him, right? Everything else is creepy, except for the candle. Yeah, the candle's pretty cute. I like the candle. And a kind of a cute little, cute little creature. No snacks? Eat candle. <laughs> Eat candle. Make sure that it's lit for extra spice. Extra spicy. Mmm, spicy candles for dinner. Already? I thought we just had this last week. Can't believe we had leftovers. Mmm. 
Then you can eat the last part that you eat of the candle is the wick. And you can you can slurp it down like a noodle. The noisier that you eat your wick, the uh, the more you enjoyed your food. That's just that's just tradition in my family. Guess we hopping up. The lighting's so pretty in this game. I know that they're probably just using Unreal Engine and just like using some base assets, but it's still impressive. I still like it. Would you would you rotate it as you eat it like a corn on the cob? Yes, and avoid the middle. You could also the real more barbaric humans will just snap it in half and then pull pull the string out and save it for last. But that's awful. The the candle does suffer less whenever you do that though. So it's kind of your call. It's kind of a moral dilemma thing. Ooh. This looks like the most lit place in the whole church. Shucks, man. Look at all these candles. This looks like a boss area. What would what would be a boss to a candle like a water monster? Oh, hello. What the frick? Game crashes. Oh, it is a boss, I think. Neener nee 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 nee. Bone lady down! Hey, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good game. <laughs> hey, not bad. Not bad. I enjoyed it. It's a great, like, proof of concept. I thought it was really fun. Uh, the, 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 I would definitely have some notes if I was asked about the game, but, um, I thought it was really enjoyable. I thought it was a nice, nice little, nice little bite size, cute little game. There's a lot of people that worked on it. What the heck? I, I have a feeling that this is a project. Was, was it a project? I mean, it's free. That's the most suspicious thing about it. Had voice acting? Kenneth Morrison and Hannah Shea? How do I get that job, huh? Uh, good timing as I've been summoned elsewhere. Hey, we'll see you later, Mythical. Thanks thanks for chilling. Thanks for chilling. Always feel special to have you about. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Oi, oi. Have fun. Have fun. Do good things. John, John Wick, not Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I get it. It's developed by Whip, a group of students. Oh, it was students. I thought it was. It, this is a really good student game. This is like really well made. And it is like, yeah, I'm I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. It's very, very finished. Very finished, very full, enjoyable from start to finish. They should be very proud of themselves for this. They should be really, really proud. Because this is this is a fantastic project. Uh, group of students at Florida Interactive Entertainment Academy. Uh, over the course of eight months, it is... This is impressive stuff. I have a feeling that they are going to go on and make some good, some good games in the future. Because that's, this is really impressive. Well done. Well done. Abs absolutely no, no complaints from me. This was a really good game for, especially for a project. And it's, it's free. Good stuff. Also, thank you for the follow, uh, lady, uh, agent lady Hawkeye. So sorry. I almost forgot your, your rank and never midnight. What's up? Oh. Thanks for the thanks for the hoo hoo. I think we might call it to, we might call it a night. You found the stream randomly. Hey, what's up? How are you doing, Dees? What's up, Dees? I hope you're doing well. We we were just uh, playing Flicker of Hope just for fun. It's uh, apparently a game that was made by a bunch of students, and it it felt a lot like uh, Little Nightmares. It was very enjoyable. I totally suggest this. I totally suggest y'all to to try this out. See if it see if it works on your PC. <laughs> but uh. Did I just start the game? No, I didn't. Okay, I started the video. But yeah, this is this is very cute. Very cute. Just suggested by somebody in chat. And I want to play some more scary games. I definitely I was thinking that we could we could call it Monday morning. Like 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 crying about somebody dying. Like morning. I don't know. I don't know what we'll name it, but I do I do want to see if maybe I can like mix in a horror game like maybe once a week or something. Th something longer than this though. Probably scarier too. Something that I've really wanted to play, game that I really really want to play is Soma. Soma, I'm not sure if I'll play it on stream though. 
not not sure not sure i hear it's a little intense it's a little intense but it looks it looks really fun really pretty and i love the studio that made it it's um it's the people that made amnesia and i think i think soma is like widely considered to be one of their best games definitely better than rebirth i've not played rebirth but i've i've heard that that one is like the worst game that they've made kind of <laughs> They made the Penumbra series before they made Amnesia the Dark Descent, and then they worked with the Chinese Room to make um, Machine for Pigs, which I have not finished Machine for Pigs, unfortunately. Uh, hey, we'll see you later, lady. Uh, thanks thanks for chilling with us, Hawkeye. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I am going to be uh, eating some food, so I think that I'm going to actually head out, make some dinner, and, and I will also adjust my tier list that I made earlier, and I'll post this to my Twitter. So if you want to follow my Twitter, it's, I don't know, slash Earl of Suds. I don't know what my username is. I don't know what it is. Just if you want to follow me, you can. Yeah, it's just at the Earl of Suds. If you want to follow me, then you can see the uh, the updated, updated tier list. But don't bother if you don't want to. But this has been super fun. Thanks for chilling with me. Uh, thanks anybody that stayed through with the Warwick raid. Thank you so much for vibing. It was... Uh, Warwick made this even more fun. D's Nuke, thanks for chilling with us. And thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing Cuphead at 4 p.m. Central Time. And then, as a reminder, uh, after Cuphead tomorrow, on Wednesday, we're going to play Fall Guys with Origination. On Thursday, we're going to play Raft with Nessitopia and Salty the Alien. And probably play games after, too. Maybe open up a Fall Guys game so that everybody can play. And then on Friday, we're going to play Marbles. So we got a whole we got a whole week of stuff. We got a whole week of fun stuff. And uh, looking forward to sharing that with y'all. So take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your evening or the rest of your day. I don't know what time it is for you. And uh, let's let's find somebody to raid. Let's let's pass on pass on the love to somebody else. Right? Right? That's the best part of streaming is that I can raid people. I'm thinking, ooh, I see some people online. I see some fun people that we can hang out with. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I, ooh. What is Mr. Oh, ooh. We could go say hi to Snuggly. I don't think I've ever raided Snuggly, have I? Have I? It looks like they're just chatting before they move. They are a fellow team member of mine. I think we maybe raided them once, but I want to see what they're doing. I think they're just chilling. They've only been online for 20 minutes. We could we could hop in there and chat them up. You want to chat them up? Just for the birthday? The birthday? Is it their birthday? What? It's, um, I thought it was... Oh, is it? It's Miles' birthday, isn't it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, we will definitely raid Snuggly soon. But I think it actually is somebody's birthday right now. That's when you rated them? Yeah, I rated them for their birthday, but I think that it's actually... I think it's actually Miles' birthday right now. Oh, snap. I cannot believe that I forgot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me check my... Let me check my stream team thing. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it wasn't in their title, but I did say happy birthday to them earlier. Yeah, let's let's go say hi to Miles. Yeah, it's Miles' birthday. They are playing Dead by Daylight. Okay, I know that lots of y'all like uh, y'all all like some Dead by Daylight, right? Y'all are Dead by Daylight fans. We will definitely raid Snuggly though, cause cause they are super sweet. They are super sweet and awesome. Unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have to wait for them to move. All right, we're gonna raid Miles. Keep in mind that Miles' stream is 18 plus, so you know dirty language whatever i'm sure y'all don't care but i'll just tell you anyway uh they're playing dead by daylight as a killer which is super fun and uh i will see you guys tomorrow so thanks for hanging out we will go say hi make sure that we say happy birthday we're gonna ha say uh, happy squirrel day or we'll say happy borth okay this is i don't know why i feel like misspelling everything but i really do i really do it doesn't say that it's their birthday, but it is, right? It's the eighth. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. I don't know why they don't have it in their title, but regardless, thanks for chilling. Uh, adios, ev adios, everyone. Oh, I, <laughs> I read it the way it was spelled. Okay, let's let's head over. Say hi to Miles. Miles is super cool, super cool dude. I've got to hang out with him recently, and. Uh, He's kind of a vibe, kind of a vibe. All right, 
everybody have a good rest of your night and uh thank you so much mods for watching over the chat thank you everybody who submitted uh tier list stuff it was extra fun the stream was extra fun because of all the all the fun submissions that y'all made thanks for letting me trash talk all your waifus and husbandos i appreciate it i would do it again i'd do it again a million times and i'd be much meaner next time as well uh sandwich nom nom thanks for thanks for chilling with us bye bye what cappy see you later formulator tayaki thanks for chilling with us jackson thanks for the good game suggestion lemonberry much love <laughs> that took forever. Midorio, a player ninja nerd. Thanks for chilling. Uh, D's Nook, it's nice to meet you. And all right, we'll head out. I'll see you guys later. Have a good rest of your night. And uh, I'll be here tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Beep boop, bleep bloop.